drunk. Open wounds and closing doors Been here before, not again We cannot hide our nasty scars Too many sorrows What would happen now if you say You won't know if you walk away Only heaven will play our song now
I'm so bad at getting the music at the right level. My goodness! I keep turning it too low. Okay. Whatever. Let's get this show started, shall we? Happy Tuesday, folks. Giant snowy wave! For everybody hanging out already. How you guys doing? I hope you're well. And happy Tuesday. Thanks for being here already. I hope you're excited. We are potentially finishing the game today. We're finishing the story. But uh, welcome, welcome. I hope you're all healthy and stuff. Thanks for popping in. Cassie, how's it going? Galrad and good to see you. Nintendo Geek, welcome. Blazing, happy Tuesday. Vinny is good to see you. JR, welcome back. Raven, how's it going? Siren, thanks for joining us. Aeon, how you doing? Starx, welcome, welcome. Thank you all for dropping in. Smite, good to see you. Batch, how you doing? Uh, Socks, welcome back. Uh, Shin, good to see you. Hope I didn't miss anybody. <laughs> but welcome. Ooze, thanks for lurking. 46 Racer, hello. I might have repeated a few names. But welcome. Thank you all for being here. I'm gonna scroll back down. I think I got everybody. So, but nice. Uh, but uh, yeah, I hope you're all doing well. How am I doing? Uh, I'm, o I'm okay. Uh, I wouldn't say I'm feeling particularly great or particularly bad. I'm just, I'm okay today. I'm just okay. <laughs> I'm just okay today. You finished your Zoom interview, fingers crossed. Yeah, good luck, Raven. Good luck. But thank you all for being here. Um, so we are, as you can see, continuing Final Fantasy VII Remake today. Um, I'm actually possibly finishing the story today. We'll see how it goes. We are in the middle of chapter 17. So, we'll see how that goes. And then, um, today is actually not going to be the last Final Fantasy VII Remake stream because I do want to get the Platinum Trophy. And one of the trophies does require playing the game in hard mode. Which I assume just means we just gotta start a new playthrough in hard mode and I don't have to do everything. So I can probably skip like all the side quests and stuff. So that's the uh, that's, that's the idea, I think. But basically, uh, whenever we finish the story today, uh, we will discuss it. And then start the Platinum Trophy attempt. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's basically it. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's good. You give hugs to me anyway. Thank you, Nintendo Geek. I appreciate that. Yeah, I'm, uh, I mean, I, I slept okay. Um, I did a fairly easy, not, I don't, I don't want to say easy, but just, uh, light, I guess. Uh, core and abs workout today. I didn't go ridiculously hard or anything. And um, that's it. That's it. So, hey, Hot Shot, how's it going? Happy Tuesday. Thanks for dropping in. Yeah, we got. I know one of the trophies requires hard mode, so should be interesting as we uh, work on that after the game. You're excited for me to finish today, Hotshot. Thank you. I'm excited too. It should be exciting stuff. Yesterday was a really good stream. We had some really great moments in the game. Um, and we are kind of close to... We're very close to the end. I believe. So, should be interesting. Should be good. I'm excited. So... <laughs> You're doing good, Aeon fan. You got a PS Store card today, waiting for the two games you bought to download. Yakuza 0, Star Ocean Integrity, and Faithlessness. Isn't that three games? Unless uh, unless you mean Star Ocean Integrity and Faithlessness is the whole title of one game. I actually don't know. Doing okay and having a normal day is better than a bad day. Very true. Very true. So yeah, I'm just, uh, just kind of 
autopilot cruising along. More or less. Hotshot, you're good. You just plopped your butt down. You're ready to chill. Sweet. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. <laughs> I'm just okay. I was just saying that. Not uh, a particularly fantastic day or mood. Just uh, just here. Doing things. Hey, Pickleberry. Welcome back. Where did I leave off last night? Um, We were on the last little section in Ward 2. The second ward. Door number two. Whatever it's called. We didn't- we weren't able to get- I, we, we, we were trying to get to door number one from the central panel when I opened it. And then I couldn't figure out how to get down there, so the only way we could go was to door number two, the second ward. And we're on the last section of the second ward. Oh, that is the whole title. Okay. Gotcha. Welcome back, Vatch. To everyone that said hi while you were on your call. Nice. Welcome back. You didn't miss the stuff you wanted to see. Sweet. Sweet. Yeah, we should be good. Um, so today is a regular stream, if anybody's curious. Uh, six hours minimum with the option to extend to a seven hour stream if we reach one of our daily goals. Um, if you're not aware, usually I have a daily goal to meet one of the goals that we have set. Uh, and if we meet it, then I'll stream an extra hour to make today a seven hour stream. Um, so if you're curious about these goals, uh, first off, we can get at least 5,000 total bits. And if you don't know what bits are, they look like animated emotes. Whenever you use them in a streamer's chat, the streamer does receive it as direct support. And if we get at least 5,000 total today before the stream has been online for six hours, then we will extend and make today a seven hour stream. So that's what that's about. If you want bits, you just click on the diamond icon beside the smiley face in the chat box where you type your message. That is the bits menu. Click on the get bits button and then you, you proceed from there. So um, we also have the bit cup and I believe the minion is actually working today. We'll see. The issue was apparently resolved, but I'm not sure. We'll have to find out. Assuming we get any bits, we don't have to get any bits today. But if we do, I don't know if the minion's completely fixed. It was broken yesterday, so, uh, but we shall see. But there's that. Um, the second goal to extend is if we get at least seven brand new subs. If you've never subscribed before and you have five dollars to spare, definitely check it out. It's one of the best ways to support your favorite streamers on Twitch. And it helps tremendously and I seriously appreciate it. Plus you get a bunch of cool stuff in return for that five bucks. You get a, a snowflake sub badge beside your name in chat. You get to use all the really awesome snowy emotes all over Twitch. And you get access to my subscribers only Discord server. It's where I hang out off stream. It's where a lot of other people do too. And it's a great way to get involved in our community when the stream is offline. So if you're interested and you have $5 to spare, if we get at least seven brand new subs, people who have never subbed before, um, then we'll extend. Minion, are you working? Are you working? Shin, thank you for the hundred buddies. You splashed the big cut. Looks like it is working. Yay, it's fixed now. Yeah, I don't know what happened yesterday. Um, Benny told me that he couldn't figure out anything. It just it just kind of fixed itself. <laughs> so I'm glad it's working. Thank you so much, Shin, for the 100 biddies and for testing that out. You brought us closer to extending today's stream. Thank you, thank you. Hi, JJ. How you doing? You're playing with your puppy? Nice. Nice. Nintendo Geek! Every time I give bits, I'm gonna try to make you feel good. You are awesome, Snowy Orb. You're awesome! Thank you for setting off that special alert, Nintendo Geek! Thank you. You did damage to my minion. Brought us closer to extending today's stream. And splash that bit cup. Thank you. Seriously, appreciate that. Thank you so much. Heck yes! Heck yes. And the last goal that we can meet to extend is at least $50 in tips. It is through my tipping link, which does require PayPal, but otherwise, um, yeah, those are all the three different goals. They're all separate goals, but they are community goals, which means that any and all support contributed beyond just watching the stream today will count towards those goals. So, um, and the only thing is that if we want to extend today and have extra hour of time together, then we have to meet one of those goals before the stream's been online for six hours total. So you can check the uptime for the stream by typing exclamation mark uptime in chat and Snowbot will tell you 
Uh, if you have FFZ or BTTV installed on your browser, you should be able to see how long the stream's been online as well. Um, but yeah, that's what it's all about. That's what it's all about. Uh, hey, Jolo Bear, how's it going? And Dr. Rudy, welcome. I hope you're all well. Thanks for joining today. We're just in the intro, talking about intro things. And stuff. <laughs> we'll be moving to gameplay soon. Um... But yes, welcome, welcome. Feel free to let me know how you're doing. I also have had an ulcer on the inside of my lip. Like right down here. For like five days. It's been so annoying. It's the kind that like anytime anything touches it, whether it's food or your teeth or whatever, it just hurts. It's that kind of ulcer. I don't even know what caused it because I didn't like... I didn't bite, you know how sometimes when you chew too fast and you bite the inside of your cheek or the inside of your lip, right? And then that ends up, you know, turning into an, a mouth ulcer of some sort. It wasn't even that. I don't know what caused it. It just sucks because that's bothering me. Ugh, but otherwise, uh, yeah. Yeah, those do suck. You all know what I'm talking about. It's almost like a tiny little crater on the inside of your mouth. It sucks. How am I doing today? I'm doing great. I'm doing well. I'm doing okay. How are you? Your entire mouth is so bad, but dentists cost money. They do. They do indeed. And a lot of dental insurance doesn't even cover that much. <laughs> it's not even a win-win situation anywhere. Starx, thanks for the drink. Yeah, the tea's always too hot this early. It's best to wait till at least like 45 minutes to an hour after I've been online. Because I... During the intro section, whenever the pre-show is on, is when I'm making the tea. And usually I put it, since I put it into this container, it stays hot for a longer time than usual, so. But anyway, thanks for the water. Thank you, Stark. I appreciate that. Those are the worst JRs been happening to you lately? Yeah. I mean, I, n I like never get them. Luckily, I usually never get them unless I bite the inside of my cheek by accident from chewing too fast, but like, oh, it sucks when it's like, especially when it's down here, like in the front of your, uh, front of your mouth, it just sucks. Isn't that called a canker sore or are you wrong? It could be a canker sore. I just, I've always called them ulcers because to me, they're kind of the same thing. I always thought canker sores were on the outside, like outside of your lip, but I don't actually know. So, they never bother you that much? You blame the braces you had in high school? Yeah, I had braces too, but they still suck ass. <laughs> I had braces for two years. When I, was when I was 13 until I was 15. But, that doesn't mean that I like having them. So, don't have any dental insurance, not a single cent would be covered. Yeah, even when I had dental insurance, it didn't cover much for my dental visits. Because I would get my twice a year, you know, cleaning and checkup and stuff. And my dental insurance covered usually about 20 bucks. And I still had to pay $160 to the dentist. So dental insurance sucks. Especially if you go out and network. Which is what I did. Go figure. Hey, you hate biting your tongue with your lip? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it still really sucks. It's okay. I'll make it. I don't know how to make it heal faster. I could, like, rinse my mouth with salt water. I know that kind of helps. Because the salt kind of kills the bacteria. Makes it kind of heal a little faster, maybe. But I'm too lazy to do that. <laughs> so I just kind of just, you know, bear it. More or less. You need the braces, Cassie? You never got them? I mean, it's not too late to get them later on in your life, you know? There are plenty of adults, people in their 30s, 40s, 50s, who, ends up, who end up getting braces, you know. I've seen a, like adults, older people with braces before. It's, all, it's never too late in the end. So you never know. They know on the inside of your mouth you had cuts all the time with the braces, yeah. I don't know. I had, I had issues too, but my mouth is still sensitive sometimes. So, you actually got a bloody mouth due to braces cutting your tongue and mouth, yeah. Good old braces. 
good old braces. And I remember having, um, what were they called? The Invisalign stuff? I wore those for a little bit. But then I got really lazy after and stopped using them. Or wearing them. See, I never wore the headgear. My braces was always, um, just, just regular braces and rubber bands. I never had to have the headgear. If I'm not mistaken, the headgear part is to help your jaw alignment, which I never had an issue with. Like, if you have a really severe overbite or underbite is when you get the headgear, too, I think. So I never had that. I can imagine that really sucks. But I had just braces with rubber bands and stuff. So I have a slight overbite, but it's not severe enough to um, require, at the time, some sort of headgear. So. <laughs> anyway. Last announcement. Our May giveaway courtesy of Blue Microphones is still live for the month of May. Goes until the end of the month. Check it out. Hashtag ad. That's all I'm going to say about it. You had a spacer to make your mouth bigger. Oh, I remember hearing about spacers. I never had those either, but... Yeah. Those are the days. Going to the orthodontist. They really suck, yeah? All to have a nice smile. Get some nice looking teeth. So. That's okay. I remember I had braces. And then after I got my braces off, it was when they put in the, um, the dental implants. So I, I had braces from 13 to 15, so I was like, it was like, during, in the middle of 8th grade is when I got my braces, and then I got them off, like, in the spring of 10th grade, when I was 15. And then shortly after that, pretty much my senior year of high school, when I was, like, 17 or 18, I think I was 17, I think I was 17, is when I got the dental implants. Um, so if you all don't know, I actually have fake teeth in my mouth. It's really hard to uh, imagine, I guess, but it, I do. It's actually down here. They're these like, they look like screws, but they're made out of titanium and they're inside of my gums. And there's a crown that's, that kind of screws in on top of the titanium screw. Um, but there's two of them in my bottom, bottom jaw. Hi Lancer, thank you. Whoop the numbers keep climbing. Happy they do. Tuesday. Fake teeth are fun. Soon dentures. Soon? Do I look that old? Ah, uh, that sucks. Thank you, High Lancer, for the 41 month resub. Thank you for the three and a half years. And continue to enjoy your sub perks and those emails. Should I look that old? Do I look like I need dentures now? Do my teeth look that terrible? Shit, man. Hmm. Apparently you still have an overbite, so you have to get something in your mouth to stop your clicky jaw. Oh, really? I have a slight overbite. So. But yeah, I have uh, fake teeth in my mouth. And I've had them for... shit, if I got them at 17. It's been going on 15 years now. Yeah, going on 15 years now that I've had my dental implants. And my dentist that I've been going to here in Colorado has been saying how how good they look. So it's nice. But yeah, they um they were actually really impressed with whoever did my my implants, which were a long time ago now. Uh, because there's not a lot of space, especially at the front part of your jaw, like for your teeth and stuff and your gums. And there's so there's not a lot of space, especially within your gums, to hold the titanium implant thing so they were quite impressed so you would never have known Nintendo Geek yeah yeah I have two fake teeth down here it's this one and this one you can't tell they like what's cool is that with the with the crown that goes on top they usually kind of tint it or um, stain it I guess to match the rest of your teeth so it doesn't look like you have this like blindingly white tooth right if it doesn't match the rest of your teeth so they actually do color 
the the crown to match the rest of your teeth, uh, which I didn't know about. So that was really cool. But yeah, they're all down there. Bunny, thank you. You look great. I appreciate that. Thank you. You splashed the bit cup. You did damage to my minion and brought us closer to extending today's stream. Thank you, buddy. Welcome back. Welcome back. Having two dental implants in your bottom would be uncomfortable. Bottom jaw is what I was saying. So I look younger than my age. Thank you. I'm just saying, I think dentures are usually for the elderly folks. When your teeth kind of are just so eroded and they don't function well, right? I've only ever really seen dentures with elderly folk. And I just feel like if you're saying I need dentures soon, that means I'm old! <laughs> uh, these days you can't see a dentist? Yeah. Hopefully, hopefully things will get a little better soon. Is that a different dentist or is he just patting himself on the back? It's a different dentist. Yeah, whenever I got my implants like 15 years ago, um... I was not living in Colorado, so... Robotic snow is gonna take over! Fade? Thought I heard Fade. Whoops! But yes, welcome back, thank you. You have two fake teeth as well, Garada? Nice! Nice! Fake teeth club! High five! <laughs> It's actually really cool what they can do with fake teeth. They look so realistic that when people take them out, it's very surprising. Yeah, with mine, I can't take them out. It would be very painful and bloody if I tried to take out my my fake teeth. They're permanent. Fade, hey, hey. I see you. Come here. Baby, come here. Come on. Come on, baby. Yes. So today is... um. May 5th, right? Today also is the official three year anniversary of Diz and I bringing this little butt home. Three years ago today was the day we brought this little butt home. Right, little girl. You're so sweet. So today's the three year adopt anniversary. It's already been three years that we've had her. Hi DFG Dragon, you've missed being here so much. Well, welcome back. How you been? Uh, hey Bushy, you haven't been on Twitch in ages. Well, welcome back. <laughs> Thanks for popping in. It would be fun to take a row of fake teeth and put them in a jack-o'-lantern for Halloween. Yeah. Yay for permanent stuff. Oh, well, fades on the desk. No, no. Can you be good? Do you remember when you used to be a good cat? Huh? Okay, you can lay here. You can lay here if you be good, okay? Control your tail! She just hit the windows key. Stop it. Chill, okay? Chill. Oh, she is shedding up a storm. My keyboard's gonna be covered in cat hair. Oh! Fate is shedding! Thank you, Hotshot, for the 1500 buttons! Holy crap. Thank you. You did damage to my minion and brought us closer to extending. Hotshot, thank you. Yeah, it's a fate anniversary. It's not her birthday. Her birthday's in September, but today is officially the three year anniversary of us bringing her home. Literally. May 5th of 2017 is when we brought her home. I believe that was a Saturday. Cause we went, we, I took the day off of stream and I went looking around with Diz at cat shelters. So, yes! That was quite a jump from Fade. Yeah, she always jumps up. I always like let her jump up here like this. <laughs> Possible hype train. Possible hype train. Possible. Thank you, Nintendo Geek, for the 100 bitties. You did damage to my minion. Brought us closer to extending today's stream. Thank you. I know, three years already, Shen. Time flies, but I love it. It feels like I've had Fade for a lot longer than three years. Her stare at me is funnier than it should be, yeah. Hey, TJ, welcome back. How are you? Three years already? You remember when I was excited to get her, yeah. Hype yeah. train. Wait, is there a hype train? Did it work? 
Shim, thank you for the hundred buddies. I actually don't know if there's a hype train because I don't see it on my chat. <laughs> TJ, holy crap, folks. Hype train. Yeah, I'm not using the browser for my chat. I'm using a client called Chatty, so it doesn't show me when there's a hype train. But apparently there is. I want to join the hype train. So if you're all curious, the hype train is um, a Twitch feature. There's five total levels. Five total levels. Hype train. Hype train. And basically when you sub, resub, gift subs, or cheer bits, which is what's happening here, um, the hype train will increase. And there's a timer you'll see on the hype train. Uh, that current timer is counting down. And when it hits zero, the hype train ends. So in order for us to continue the hype train, we have to complete the current level. It will tell you what percentage we're at in order to reset the timer and, and keep the hype train going. So uh, at the end of the hype train, whenever the timer hits zero, whenever that is, um, depending on the highest level of hype completed, everybody that participated in the hype train will get an emote. That's how that works. We're already 60% through level two. What the heck? Look at that, folks. Thank you all. Holy moly. Hype train and let's extend what? too. What? Wait, wait, wait. Did you? Did we just extend? Shit. Thank you for the 900 baddies. You got us the rest of the way. To extending. Oh, so much hype right now. What the heck? Or how close are we to level three? Thank you so much. Strom has been officially extendoed. Cheerios. Hell yeah. Uh, hey, Rasat. Welcome to the stream. Yeah, with a thousand bits, you probably saw the Twitch celebration thing. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. It's not your computer. It's just a Twitch feature. They're testing it currently. But yeah, whenever there's at least 1,000 bits at a time, or at least five gifted subs at a time, the... Uh, Celebration thing goes off. But yeah, that's how hype trains work. Sub, resub, gift subs, or cheer bits to keep it going. Uh, if the timer hits zero, the hype train will end. So, get in on that hype train if you want some hype train emotes. What are you doing, Fade? Huh? What are you doing? It's Fade's gotcha day, yeah. You're going to say happy three years, Hotshot. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> That's okay. Are you leaving, Faith? She's going over there. No, 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 no. Faith, come here. No. Silly cat. I got her back. I got her back. She's being a little butt. She was gonna crawl over to my PS4. She's so curious. No, no, no. Can you be good? Huh? Do you remember when you used to be a good cat? Look at you, three years now. You don't even know. Do you remember what it was like before you found us? Before we found you? She has no idea what shelter life is like anymore. She was a year and like eight months, I think. She was, she was nearing two years old when we bought her. Not bought her, <laughs> adopted her. Uh, when we brought her home, I guess I was trying to say. But yeah, she was, uh, she was actually rescued from a, a kill shelter in another, in, in, out of state, in another state. And uh, a shelter here in Colorado rescued her and brought her in. And then we found her and we were like, let's go home together. We're at 96%. What? Yeah, the hype train's still going. Badass no. 96%. We're almost at level 3 then. What? Remember what it was like before you found Snowy? You call it the Dark Ages. <laughs> oh, shit. Thank you for the 100 pennies. The fat back of Fade's head is cute, isn't she? She has a really cute head profile. She's just sitting here. Look at her. Look at this cat. Level three! Thank you, Shen! We're at level three hype train, folks. Can we reach level four? But yeah, subs, resubs, give to subs and bids. Thank you all. Holy crap. This is awesome. What a way to kick off the stream. 
Especially for what I assume is going to be the finale of the story in Final Fantasy VII Remake. That's what we have planned today. And don't worry though, it's not actually going to be, like today's not going to be the last day, I don't think, for Final Fantasy VII Remake on my stream because I want to get the Platinum Trophy. I've decided I want to Platinum this game. So... You'll be good. You'll be back. You're gonna do some birthday shenanigans for someone. Okay, sounds good. Faye's just sitting here. Can you be good? Huh? Maybe we should give her a treat. Bunny and badass gnome. Thank you both so much for the 300 and 100 biddies. Oh, she's leaving. She might be leaving. Bye. She's leaving. She's going into her cave. Under my desk. Well, she's in the cave. She w I have a little cat cave under my desk. She likes to go in there. She just went in. <laughs> but thank you, Bunny. Thank you, Badass Gnome. I was going to give her a treat, but now she's in her little cave. But you splashed the bit cup. You did damage to Shen's minion. Thank you both so much. And you contributed to the hype train. Seriously appreciate this hype. What a way to kick off the day, especially for uh, something as exciting as seeing the ending of this game. Badass gnome! Thank you for the 100 biddies. Just splashed the pit cup. Did damage to Shin's minion. Sun Jupiter as well. Welcome back, Sun Jupiter. Good to see you. You did damage to Shin's minion. Splash the pit cup. Contributed to the hype train. Thank you all. I hope you're all well. Holy crap. It's good to see you. So much hype. But yeah, welcome. Uh, if you're all wondering, we are going to do a seven-hour stream. Massive thank you to all, all for all the support today. Holy crap. But we're going to do a, a, a seven-hour stream. Uh, I don't know when or how long this last bit of the story is going to take us. But whatever remaining time we have, I will be working on Platinum Trophy stuff. So we'll be doing achievement things. Because I want to get the Plat Trophy. Oh no! <laughs> your, your bit just went like... Whoosh, it completely whiffed the cu the cup <laughs> badass no thank you for the 45 minutes you did damage to shen's minions down to 55 hp someone's got to train that hyper it'll misbehave <laughs> mm. dfg dragon you're gonna play some pokemon moon you'll be back okay well take care enjoy thanks for dropping in there's cat hair all over my face now i actually brushed Faye today but clearly she's still Shedding. Ugh. But yeah, um, so that's the plan. If you missed it, yesterday we, d we did do more Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, we were on Chapter 16, and we made it to somewhere in the middle of Chapter 17. That's where we are. And we'll be continuing that today. Then the rest of this week's plan, tomorrow, Wednesday, I'll be streaming Animal Crossing New Horizons for the first time ever. It's also my first Animal Crossing game. I, I don't really play it. Um, never really played it other than the very, very brief dabble into um, Pocket Camp, which was the mobile version that one summer. But that's really it. Um, so I, I'm going to appreciate any advice people can give. It's going to be probably a pretty chill stream tomorrow. But uh, I'm going to be trying that tomorrow on stream. People have been requesting that I do so. Um, so there's that. And then Thursday I'll be off. I don't usually stream on Thursdays. Uh, and then Friday and Saturday we'll be continuing my first playthrough of Assassin's Creed Syndicate. I'm still working on my first playthrough of that. Um, we did finish GTA 5. If anybody's curious, um, I did my first story playthrough, uh, in Grand Theft Auto 5. And we finally wrapped that up last weekend. So if you missed it, the VOD is available. Check the video. But yeah, that's what, uh... That's what we did. Badass Gnome, thank you for the 95 minutes. You splashed the big cup. Took down Shin's minion. You have the current minion now, 40 HP. Thank you, Badass Gnome. Is the hype train still going? Oh, it just ended. Hey, if you contributed to the hype train, you should have gotten an emote just now. But thank you. Seriously, what a great way to kick off the stream. Freaking love it. Thank you. <laughs> thank you all. But yes, that's the that's the week schedule. Uh, if you if you don't know, I always post the week schedule for the upcoming week 
like what game to expect on which days and any adjusted schedule changes and stuff uh, every weekend. So anytime you want to know, just check my Twitter, which is public. You can see all my tweets. You don't have to even have an account to see my tweets. But I do recommend following if you do have a Twitter account. And then um, if you don't care for that, then if you're a subscriber, then um, in the announcements channel is where I post the week schedule. So that's the plan. That's the plan! Oh, your son's PlayStation won't stream. He came over here for a bit. No worries. Thanks for popping in, Bunny. Knowing me, I will join the Final Fantasy Remake Plat Club. Oh, knowing that I will join the Plat Club brings you great joy. I've platinumed a few games on PS4. My first plat trophy was Horizon Zero Dawn. And then... God of War, 2018 God of War, I think. Spyro 1 from the Spyro Trilogy. Spider-Man PS4. Is that it? Did I plot Assassin's Creed Odyssey? No, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, uh, I was like, no, yes, wait. Uh, it's weird because progress says 93%, but I do have the platinum trophy. I think I platinum the base game. I don't think I platted the, the DLCs. That's why it's 93%. Okay. Finished GTA. You started the story mode a few weeks ago. Today you played it again. Isn't it amazing? Yeah, I finally finished it. It took me about 60 hours. Um, a lot of fun so much hilarity and if you missed a lot of the GTA streams and even if you didn't um, I am gonna have a compilation of the highlights and clips from um, March and April soon and a lot of them are gonna be GTA clips so some of the best moments will be captured so definitely uh, look forward to that I, I anticipate getting that video compilation within the next at most within the next two weeks it should be a lot shorter than that it should be a lot sooner so look forward to that we'll be uh i'll let you all know so am i planning on getting plat for five bases and remake unit yes that's what we'll be doing after we finish the story hasha you can't wait to play more gta just gotta get this police pack done yeah you're still working on that are you gonna do the other emergency vehicles tonight mccadius thanks for joining us happy tuesday you bet I'll get plat within one or two playthroughs. Well, I'm going to get what trophies I can just by doing the chapter select. I know one trophy requires um, playing the game on hard mode. So we're going to pretty much rush through that, I think. But um, I don't plan to fully play the game repeatedly. So... I'm gonna do- I'm gonna get what trophies I can through chapter select. But yes. Hey Battlestar, how you been? Looking forward to that snowy Tifa shirt. I'm so behind on my sh on my shirt designs. I don't know if and when that'll happen. <laughs> but I, I appreciate the sentiment. It should be fun, you and I- yes. Yeah, I'm excited. Should be good. Should be good. Um, other than that, I think I finished all my announcements. Don't think there's anything else I need to talk about. Right? I'm trying to think here. Hey, Kanderson. How's my day? It's been okay. I've just, I've just been autopilot cruising along. I'm here. Um, it's been pretty chill, I think. I didn't do much. I got up, ate breakfast, did some ab slash core workouts, um, got cleaned up, ate lunch, got ready for stream. <laughs> so my day hasn't been, you know, I mean, this is just kind of the usual. So. Already working on the pack, just made a couple additions to the dispatch file. Added a new response unit for the highway patrol. You're currently extracting all the livery textures so you can make adjustments. Nice. 
Nice. Hey, Draconix, you just got back. Chillin'! Chillin'! Hell yeah, chillin' is good, Draconix. Thanks for popping in. Well, you're here, and that's all that matters. Oh, thank you, Canderson. Yeah. I mean, I'm not having a bad day or anything. Just, just kind of... Autopilot cruising along. Just existing. <laughs> Existence is good. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm super excited, though, for the ending of this, because it's been such a wonderful journey. And yesterday was so good. So good. I'm not going to mention it in case anybody doesn't want to be spoiled, because they're just here for the intro. Um, but yesterday was really good. I had quite a happy reaction to something in the game, so... Um, we'll be uh, continuing that, and I think we'll be able to finish this today. I think. Everybody's been telling me we should be able to, so. Especially since we have a seven hour stream ahead of us, that's about six hours of gameplay. So. Should be good. More or less. Bad as known, 35 minutes until you finish work. Nice! Well, you're almost there. Thanks for dropping in while you're at work. Don't get in trouble. I don't know if you're allowed to be on Twitch at work. <laughs> It's always nice when people pop in, especially during their work day, if they're allowed to, of course. But I never want people to get in trouble. So, thanks for dropping in, though. It's good to see you. And I hope your work day's been good. Hey, Velvet, how you doing? Welcome back. Welcome back. All right, shall we? We might have to dive into things, I think. mo o -less. Velvet, thanks for the host! Boopity boop. You did when you were working, Raven? Oh yeah? Thank you. Yeah, we're gonna dive in. This should be exciting. So, um... As a general reminder... Hair. Um... This is still my first playthrough... Of this game. Uh, yes, I did play the original. I played it as a kid um, on the PS1 like 20 some odd years ago. And then I replayed it roughly seven months ago on stream from start to finish. And we did all the extra stuff I didn't do as a kid, including both weapons and golden chocobo stuff and things like that. So we did a lot. It was a really good experience. And we are going to continue now with the remake. Um, even though I played the original, there's a lot of new content in Final Fantasy VII Remake, so please do not spoil. I don't even know where in the original story that the remake ends, so please do not tell me. Um, but yeah, no spoilers, no fake spoilers, no joke spoilers, no backseating, no hints, no advice, no suggestions, no foreshadowing. Sound good? You might hear me think out loud. So when I play, I do voice my thoughts as I play. So you might hear me go, What am I doing wrong? Can I do this? Am I allowed to go up there? How do I figure out this puzzle out? I don't get it. It's called thinking out loud. Please do not answer. Those are all meant to be rhetorical questions, which means you're not supposed to answer. Um, if I do need help or advice or a hint or whatever, I will directly ask. So if you hear me start my question with, does anybody out there watching the stream happen to know blank? Or can somebody in chat tell me blank? I make it hella obvious when I'm asking for actual answers. Uh, but otherwise, if you hear me just ask a question, don't just like type it in chat because you're an expert and you're so good and gold star for you. But no, you do that and my mods will boop you. And then you're going to get angry and butt hurt because that's what people do. So, don't do it. Just chill, right? If you find that you're unable to restrain yourself, if you're unable to just not backseat, if you're unable to not spoil, if you're unable to not be that person, then please kindly and quietly remove yourself from my stream. Sound good? Um, otherwise, I will be sharing my first playthrough experience, so you will hear my reactions and stuff. The reason we have such a strict kind of policy is so that I have very genuine first impression reactions versus being told what to expect, being told what to do, you know? Because uh, it's not my playthrough anymore if you're all playing it for me, right? So I'm glad we're on the same page with that. 
Uh, if my mods end up deleting your message or purging your message from chat before I see it, please do not argue with them. Be kind. They will warn you politely why. And you just got to be like, all right, cool, my bad. Apologize and carry on. If you can't do that, then again, kindly and quietly remove yourself from my stream before my mods do. <laughs> but yeah. That's uh, basically the gist of things. Hey, Exo, how you doing? Thanks for the host. Badass gnome, you're usually not. You got told to stop working 30 minutes ago. Oh, there's nothing else to do. Oh, okay. Well, it's good to see you here then. <laughs> Thank you. Do I have Final Fantasy X and X2? I have it on Steam. I have the Steam versions of Final Fantasy X and X2, the remaster. Uh, I don't have it on PS4. Yeah, I don't have it on PS4. I have it on Steam. I'm pretty sure it's on Steam. So. You love a good boopin', but not with swords. Yeah, the music is from the theme. It's PS4 theme. You never understood why people seem to get something off from telling the streamer how to play the game. There's, um... There's a lot of people who... I mean, I can kind of understand because there is this natural human inclination to help. And I think that's, you know, that's normal, right? But at the same time, there's the the people who knowingly, like, know that the streamer doesn't want help, but they get some kind of thrill from spoiling or from being that person who's just a shitty person. So I don't know. Some people, some people get some sort of thrill from being a shitty person. People are people. But when you explain to them, please don't, they get upset. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Well, that's why I plaster, like, no, don't do it all over my stream. Like, the tags, right, for the stream says no backseating and no spoilers. My title says first play, exclamation mark, blind. Anytime a streamer has a blind chat command, it means they don't want help. And they have rules that apply to their blind playthrough and what is or isn't allowed or tolerated in their chat, right? Pertaining to the game. So, usually that's the understood bit of it. But, you know, you always get people who still, whether they understand or not, they, they just cross the line. <laughs> yeah, just a big no. Exactly. Crazy Mo, good to see you. How you doing? Welcome, welcome. Thanks for joining. But yeah, I never understood it either. Um, my mods have been here with me for years. All of them, I think, have been with me for years at this point. So, they've seen... Like the entire spectrum of viewers on Twitch. Um, there are the people who uh, accidentally or unknowingly cross the line and they get purged. And then they, you know, they're good sports about it. They, they're like, they apologize and they're like, they just carry on. They don't make a big deal out of it. Then there are the people who they get purged and they get so angry and so butthurt. And they legit just argue with my mods. And then eventually it's a permanent ban. So... It's, it's really weird because, you know, you get some people who are chill and they understand. And you get the people who just have no chill. And if you have no chill, you probably won't last long here. You know? So, I never understood it. But there's this weird, like, spectrum of viewers. You get the really cool people. Then you get the shitty people. And then you get, like, all people in between who, who just want to start something. Like, they wake up on the wrong side of the bed and they're like, I'm going to get on a Twitch stream and I'm going to spoil and I'm going to argue with mods and I'm going to get permanently banned. That's what they're like. And I, I never, uh, thankfully they're rare here, but it does happen here. It does happen. And uh, it is what it is, you know? <laughs> so, my mods will not hesitate to swing the ban hammer. They know how to do things here. So, um... But they're nice people. That's the thing. I don't want people to fear them. They're not mean people. Make it rain. No. Snowy battle. <laughs> Crazy Mo, thank you for the thousand biddies. Holy crap. Make it rain. You filled the bit cup. You took down Badass Gnome's minion. You have the current minion now. 960 HP. Thank you, Crazy Mo. Holy crap. And Bunny, congrats on the bit badge. We don't have an alert for that, but congrats on the new bit badge. Yes. Welcome back, Batch. Welcome back. 
You still know nothing of the game? You just enjoy watching me. Oh, thank you, Velvet. That makes me happy. Thank you. You're frozen chill, Raven? Yeah. <laughs> Those fuckers are fun to beep, yeah. Yeah, my mods know. We've seen it. We've seen all of it, I think. Yeah, we had one viewer who called Batch North Korea for some reason. <laughs> Wasn't it a viewer that called you North Korea Batch? I don't remember. That was just random. Anyway. I want to start something right now. You're breathtaking. No, you. You're breathtaking. We're all breathtaking. <laughs> yeah, they said the rules were too strict. That's right. <laughs> and that you were like North Korea. <laughs> oh. <laughs> People, I swear though, like all the chat rules we have here are literally just common sense. Common sense and common decency. If you're at least a decent person, then those chat rules are not strict. But if you're not a decent person, then it's going to feel strict and that's probably why, you know. People are like that. Yeah, people on the internet, they are something. It's like, like I said, if you don't have chill here, if you're not a chill person, you're probably not going to last long in our community. Anyway, I guess it's time to dive in, huh? Probably. You all excited? You all ready? Shall we? People need more rules in their life. Maybe they'll learn some respect. See, that's the thing, though. Rules don't necessarily mean they're going to be more respectful. If anything, they just need to get, I don't know, common decency. Which is not that common. They just need to be decent people. Respectful people. Nice people. Hey Ghost Dragon! What's up? We're in the intro. We're about to switch to gameplay. How are you? How's your life? How's, how's your week? How are things? Is there a command to measure your amount of chill? Maybe the amount of snowballs you have. If you check your snowballs. If you have a lot of snowballs, you're super chill. If you have no snowballs, you're... You're okay. You're just a, a baby. You're gonna work on it. Your chill has to grow. <laughs> Maybe rules is the wrong word. Maybe guidelines on how to not be a dick. Yeah. Yeah. Just, just be better. <laughs> be a better person, right? I don't know. I feel like people who, who, I guess, get on the internet and insult people, right? without showing their face because they just get to hide behind the anonymous an an anonymity of a username, right? They're unhappy with themselves. And that's the reason they take it out on people on the internet because it gives them a very fleeting uh, sense of, I guess, self-accomplishment, even though it's not something to feel proud about. And so, but the reason that people do that a lot of the time is because they don't, they're unhappy with who they are. Not that it justifies it, but you can tell they have issues. There's something about them they don't like about themselves. So they take it out on other people and hope that it makes them feel better. And usually it doesn't, so that's why they keep doing it. And it's, it's just unfortunate. But in the end, you can only hope that they get the help they need. And that, you know, we continue to keep our space here safe and welcoming and awesome and chill and good and keep out all the unpleasant people you know yuna thank you for that 15 month resub thanks for spending your prime sub here welcome back happy tuesday thank you yuna thank you thank you continue to enjoy your sub perks and those emotes bad you like insulting people please I feel like a lot of people are frustrated with Corona now as well. Internet's been a foul place for the past weeks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, uh, it's rough. But like I said, you know, we're going to do our best. My mods are top tier. And they do an excellent job with keeping out the unpleasant folks. So, we're going to keep going with that, you know? <laughs> keep going with that. Be excellent to each other. Exactly. Exactly. You have almost as many kicks as you do snowballs, hotshot. Damn. That's dope. See, that's what I'm saying, though. It's so much easier to earn the snowy cakes, the channel points built into Twitch, than it is to earn snowballs through Snowbot. Because that's separate. That's why I set my points so high. People are like, why does it cost 300,000 points 
to give Faith a treat. It's because people earn points so quickly. I don't want her to get a treat every single day. Eventually, tons of you are going to have hundreds of thousands of snowy cakes. And, you know, it's it's one of those, I got to make sure that Faye doesn't get fat. We don't, because, you know, when cats get overweight, it's actually really hard to get a cat to lose weight. So, like, special diet, exercise, all of that stuff. And I, I really don't want Faye to get to that level. And too many treats will do that to a cat. So... Fate only gets... Honestly, there are a lot of weeks that Fate only gets that meat stick. That's all she gets. Every week. Just once a week. And she gets nothing else usually. So, uh, sometimes she'll get stuff. She gets stuff especially when we're trimming her claws. Um, but otherwise, she doesn't get treats all the time. So, But that's why I set it so high. Because I didn't want it to happen like every single day, you know? Or multiple times a day. Every day. <laughs> Hey, Loxebe, you got a stomach bug? You're gonna go nap. Oh, enjoy your nap. Get some good rest. I hope you feel better soon. Sorry to hear that. You're good, Ghost Dragon, enjoying your second day of resting after six days of extreme workout. Nice. Yeah, get some good rest. Resting is just as important as working out. How am I doing? I'm doing okay. Doing well. Doing pretty good. Just cruising along. <laughs> We're going to be hopefully finishing Final Fantasy VII Remake today, so you're in time to see that if you're interested. Feel free to hang out with us. But rest is good. Keep working! You hope you'll be the first to give Faye a treat, Hotshot? Yeah? We'll see. Nobody's redeemed it yet. I don't even think anybody has that many cakes right now. <laughs> 52,000 point or 52.4k XO. But you love the doodles and compliments so much, doll. A fatty catty like Garfield? Yeah. Fade is, she's like average weight right now. She's about 11 pounds. So, I don't want her to get heavier than that. She's still doing good. Don't think you need to worry about us spoiling her, yeah? Yeah. Don't cats that get too fat split into two smaller cats? Hey, Blues. <laughs> I don't think it works out that way. <laughs> kind of like uh, amoebas, right? Amoebas do that, don't they? Amoebas like reproduce by just splitting themselves. Like they 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 don't need a mate. They just I think it's amoebas. I actually don't remember. Science. Forty six racer. You have two hundred seventy eight thousand cakes. Oh damn, you're getting there. <laughs> Jolo Bear, your grandma's dog is starting to look so disproportional due to her unhealthy diet. Oh, really? Hopefully, hopefully you all can uh, intervene and because when when the, when an animal gets overweight, it's hard for them. It sucks. <laughs> Gonna heat up ravioli? None of you can stop me. Enjoy your ravioli batch. That does sound good. You're getting their hot shot. Noise. Wait, what about cakes? You were doing something else? Oh, I was just talking about how it's easier and faster to earn snowy cakes. You know, the little channel point stuff. Than it is to earn snowballs. So. You're at a lurk for a bit, Garad, and busy being stuck in the mud. Why? Oh, it's SnowRunner? I was like, why are you stuck in the mud? Isn't it, like, super late over there, Garad? Why are you outside walking around in mud? I get it. You're talking about SnowRunner. Ketosis or catosis. Bring Kitty to the gym with me. I we thought about getting one of those giant cat wheels. Do y'all know what I'm talking about? Think of like a hamster wheel, but for cats. They make those, right? We were thinking about getting one for Fade, but we weren't sure if she would actually use it. Because you can't force a cat to do stuff. They they're very uh independent, you know, headstrong creatures. And they, they want to do what they want to do. So um but we never bought one, so... Yeah, some cats literally just won't do it, yeah. And those wheels aren't cheap, they're usually at least 200 bucks. And we're like... Yeah... I don't know. <laughs> so we try to play with Fate as much as we can. Do the whole laser pointer stuff, because she chases after it. Give her some exercise. Yeah, cat wheels exist. They're these, like, giant... Not giant, but they're way bigger than a hamster wheel, so... Hi, Frenzic! Welcome back! How are you? Yeah, in SnowRunner. Not in real life! I was like, why are you outside walking in the mud? <laughs> Hotshot, you want to play more SnowRunner, but you need to work on the cars while you have the motivation. Yeah. I say go for it. 
Velvet, you had a friend who tried that for their overweight cat. They had to order online. They spent like $300 on it. The cat was like, nah. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Those those wheels are usually at least 200 bucks, but they're usually like they're they're quite expensive. And um there's and the worst part is they're expensive and there's no guarantee that your cat or cats will actually use it, you know? That's the, that's the thing. Like buying anything for your cat is such a gamble, whether it's a bed or a toy or something to hopefully improve their life. There's no guarantee. It's such a gamble. Whereas with dogs, I feel like it's much easier to please a dog. It is so hard to please a cat sometimes. You know? Doing well, Frenzik? You came in at the right time. We're talking about Fade. We are! We're talking about, uh, cats in general. Why are we putting Fade on a hamster wheel? Um, we're not putting her on a hamster wheel. We're just talking about why I don't give Fade too many treats. I don't want her to get overweight slash obese. Because cats have a hard time losing weight if they get to that stage. Compared to dogs especially. Because cats just don't... They're not as active as dogs usually. So. Give Faye cardboard boxes. She definitely gets those. Might as well get a cardboard box. Yeah. Exactly. It is such a gamble. If anybody's never had a cat. That's what I've learned in my three years now of having Fade. Because today is our three, is, is three year anniversary of us bringing Fade home. That's the one thing I've learned, is that Fade can be hard to please sometimes. But she definitely loves boxes. And I think I found out when I when I finally stopped getting toys for Fade and I finally stopped buying beds for Fade. We actually had to donate a few beds to some cat shelters because Fade just wouldn't use them. So, you know, it's a learning process. It's a learning process. But hopefully some cats are using those beds we bought. We bought like two beds for Fade, and she never touched them for like three or four months, and so we just donated them to a cat shelter. <laughs> this requires more playtime with Fade. Spoil her and wake her up on her naps, yeah. She's actually under my desk right now. She's in her cave. Sweet little bean. All right, shall we dive in? I think it's time. Use catnip on a fishing pole, hold it in the wheel. I think some people do that. They hold either like a cat treat or a catnip or something and hold it within the wheel so the cat will actually kind of start chasing after it to use the wheel. That's what I've seen, but I'm not sure that actually works all the time, you know? Because I feel like if you do it once to your cat, they're going to learn and they're going to stop doing it after that first time, you know? Cats love cardboard boxes, you love cardboard boxes, <laughs> you are cat. I don't know if that's the right analogy, but... Okay. Okay. Well, we're gonna dive in, folks. It's time. It's time. Fate is using the cat computer. Yeah. She's in there. I'm surprised she's in there because it's been so warm recently. She usually goes in there when it's colder. So... She'll probably come out at some point. Alright. Oh, this tea is so nice. Time to dive in. Here we go. We're doing things. Stuff and things. Oh yeah, also shout out to Square Enix. Providing a copy, review copy of the game for me. And letting me stream it a day before it released. On April 9th. That's when we started it. So thank you Square Enix. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go! So yeah, we're at the last... Uh, what's it called? Section of the second ward. This journey's almost over, you'll feel sad. Well, today is not gonna be the last stream for Fall Faces and Remake for me. Because I wanna get the Platinum Trophy. So there's gonna be at least another week. Two weeks, maybe. Of Fall Faces and Remake for me. What am I doing? So we are the second team. Yeah, this music. Legit. Yeah, we're in the second ward. Okay, we're going forward. So we probably have to fight. Also, I upped the volume a little bit on 
um, the game. Let me know if it's too loud compared to my voice. Is the music too loud compared to my voice? Should I turn it all down a little bit? I pushed it up a little on the on my mixer for the volume. Is this too much compared to my voice? The soundtrack's really good for this game? Yeah, it's, it's amazing. You know, it's like... I want to go back and listen to the soundtrack completely after I'm done. Pushing for plat trophy? Yeah, I will be. I will be. Hooray! Oh, it's perfect! Okay. Because I, I... The reason I pushed it up in volume a little bit is because I went and checked yesterday's VOD. And I felt like at some points... Um... It was a little too low. The game. Especially during some of the dialogue, but I don't know. Then this music is kind of loud. One or two notches down is okay. Other opinions? Music's fine. Giving you hype! So much hype. I can turn it down a smidge. How about this? Did that do anything? That was a smidge. I think that might be better. Hopefully. I don't even know if there's a noticeable difference. That's fine? Okay. It's good you wear headphones? Okay. Yeah, let me know. Either way. Now's our chance to kill the bastard. Time for you to pay the piper. <laughs> they never learn. Now, must evacuate area. Commencing test. Ooh! Fast reflexes. <laughs> what? <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> Be a good boy and keep the other pets comfortable. <laughs> Shit. Looks like Red might need our help up there. Ooh! Red! Okay, we hit like nothing. Wow, oh, this is like whack a mole! God damn it! This is gonna take forever! It's basically whack a mole! We got that one. So no! Shit. Barrett, you should heal us. Heal yourself first. These things suck. This is whack-a-mole with robots. Ow! Oh god. Cure Rocket. I won't give up. Oh my god. Did I just get stopped? God damn it. Items. Uh, adrenaline? No. Is it adrenaline? Uh, maybe it is adrenaline. I'm gonna try it. Nope! <laughs> Fudge. This is fine. Oh god, everything hurts. I need to heal myself. Oh wait, Cloud's back. Hang back. Clown needs to heal himself. Ah, oh, this is the worst. Can people stop throwing me around? This is hard. Oh, now we're poisoned? What is this nonsense? Ah. Oh, poison. It's the worst. 51 antidotes. That's a lot of antidotes. Finally! Did we kill that yet? Okay, that one's dead. 
finally. Barret. Oh, he's poisoned too. We should just heal. Kira himself. Kira me. Going in. Time to get serious. Time to get serious. Ascension. Gotta get I've never seen this. This is really close. That's cool. That was really dope. Sorry. Are they all dead yet? Come on. We're, going. We're going, but we need healing. We need healing. Let's do a bunch of high potions. Okay. Yeah, those things were annoying. It's like whack-a-mole. <laughs> but the moles have hammers too. Yeah, I know. Revenge of the moles. There's a door where we went through. Just go through and sewer this whack-a-mole. What? There's different damage types in this game? Yes. Yeah, so... Um, there's poison. You can get paralyzed. You can fall asleep. You can be silenced. If you get silenced, you can't use any magic. Um... Yeah, there's a bunch of stuff. You can be blinded, so your physical attacks have a higher chance to miss. There's also the different elemental damages, like lightning, ice, fire, things like that. Oh, sewer, you said screw. Can you gift games on PSN? That's a good question. I don't think so. Can you? Does anybody know? Out of all the fights in this game, you find that fight to be the most annoying? Yeah, it was pretty, pretty WTF. WTF I guess we're going up. Welcome back, Shin! Get out of here! Get out of here! What was that thing? Where's Hojo? Sorry, he got away. Forget about him for now. Aw. We got red though. It's nice they didn't just go in with the action RPG, but added more stuff to it. Yeah. The original game actually did have, um, it did have, um, all of that. Wow, there's like so much. I don't know. Should I go this way or that way? I think it wants me to go that way. Yeah, I think it wants me to go this way. But let's check this way first. Poppy, thanks for the host! And do! What doin' Cloud say when he visited the dentist? Doink? Leave my tiff alone. <laughs> uh, thank you, and do, for the hundred bitties! Thank you for the joke as well. You did damage to Crazy Mel's minion up there. Thank you! How you doing, and do? I appreciate that. Oh, nice. Nice! You tried to give a game from PSN but never found a way to, Shen? Yeah, I don't I don't think you can. I think the way to do it would be to, I guess, gift a, a Sony PlayStation gift card instead. And tell them what to buy. Oh, we can't go down there. Okay. Alright. Hey, Scorpion. Yeah, the jokes. Wasn't that great. On Xbox, you can give friends games on there, yeah. Yeah, PSN, I don't think Sony ever really added that. Which is surprising given how I feel like so many people would 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 utilize it. It's not Wednesday, my doids. <laughs> how you doing, Poppy? Doid. Let's go. I'm going to pop a quick save or normal save. This music is jamming, isn't it good? The soundtrack is so good. Velvet, you got your Nintendo Wii U. Turns out Nintendo's a bitch. You can't transfer your account to the new console unless you have the old console. You contacted Nintendo about the matter. Oh. Really? Oh, I picked up a chain bangle? I didn't actually see. Thank you, Forensic. What's a chain bangle? Ooh. Ooh, this is fancy. 
It has four slots. We should give it to Tifa. Chain. Bangle. Which means Barrett should maybe put on the cog. We have so many cogs. Oh wait, he loses so much regular defense. Uh. We've decided. We should balance it out. We should just balance it out and he should have the cog bangle. Balance. Balance. You're so to get back into using the Wii U again? Use your favorite Nintendo console after the GameCube. Really? I never had a Wii U or a GameCube. <laughs> uh, you're working from home today, Poppy. Noise. Well, thanks for joining us. Hey, Popo, I'm past you. You're going to dip out. No problem. Thanks for being here. Take care. Take care. And do please. <laughs> Yeah, it's Happy Revenge of the Fifth. Yeah, Fate Adoption Day! Thank you, Shadow Scorpion. She was in the cave under my desk. Yeah. She's out here. Sweet bubba girl. Yeah, I ate my lunch before stream. Oh, I was just have you eaten yet? I was like, yeah, ate. No, not yet. Missed the best Nintendo consoles, did I? Yeah, I stopped after the Nintendo 64. Pretty much. So. Warding materia. Part of me feels like we should do. Elemental. So I'm going to swap this and put elemental on here. So she does some lightning damage with her. Actually, no, she has lightning defense. Wait, wait, wait. We should make it so she punches lightning. Hold on. Swap this here. Here we go. Here we go. Now we're going to do elemental. Quick, Snowy, talk about spoilers with Diz in the room. Please. <laughs> Please. That was, that was Batch. Diz just said, <laughs> let me go ban them. Harley played a thing on the Wii U. You played the normal Wii a ton more, yeah? Yeah, I never had the Wii or Wii U. Wish it, it was a bit more than just gold graphics over the typical black console, though. Oh, yeah? Had the Pikachu edition of the Nintendo 64 back in the day. Yeah. Pikachu's cheeks lit up when you turn on the console. That's cute. That's so cute. Alright, now we can save. We did some stuff. Punch lightning? Don't think she'll appreciate that. <laughs> what did lightning do to you? You never, you haven't owned a gaming console since the Sega Dreamcast? Yeah? Any reason for it? The Wii was fun, Crazy Mo. Yeah, I never got to play it. I remember when it came out. But I never got to play it. All oh, the MP! Remind me. This ain't a hospital. Test subjects don't receive treatment. They're enhanced. Or dissected. This guy's a real piece of work. I'm just looking for loot. Don't mind me. Always look for loot. Oh. Oh. What? Mysterious forces. Ah. This thing. It's like it's like a little teapot or something. 
I just got poisoned. I'm a smart cookie. Attack me! No? Maybe I should cure my poison. Antidote time. Harmless! Thank you! A very mad teapot. You see, it was, it was like lifting its lid. <laughs> Wow. They made Hojo so crusty and creepy in this game. I love it. Crusty is a great word. <laughs> Thank you, Harmless. Happy three months. Welcome back. And welcome to the Silver Snowflake Sub Badge Club. Everybody get some hype in chat. Yeah, Hojo's pretty, pretty well done. He looks super, super creepy. I'm just gonna maximum fury. Flashbang? Ooh! What did the flashbang do? Oh, what the heck? What is this? This is fucking nightmare fuel. Oh god. Oh. Freaking A. Oh, we're both stopped. Great. And we're poisoned. There's a lot going on right now. There's so much going on. Why are there so many? Oh. Uh -huh. cure that poison. This is terrible. Ow. There's a lot going on. Poison. Let's cure Barrett. We should just this poison sucks. Are we done yet? Ooh. That was nasty. That was so nasty. Alright, let's do regular cure. There we go. <laughs> that was like a teapot. Sorry, Nook, thanks for the host. Anderson, thank you, thank you. It's called a brain pod for a reason. Is that why? I don't know. That was ridiculous. Oh, mad teapot. Oh, pizza. That sounds good, Gowradin. Des went crazy developing this new mon new monster. You liked it? Yeah, that there was nothing like that that I remember in the original, for sure. Pretty creepy. What's this? Bet there's loot back here. Barrett's like, what do I do? Oh, no? No loot. That's just the way back. Oh. I got excited for a second. Okay. Nah, no, you're good, Canderson. Nothing to apologize for. Ooh-wee. Yeah, you're always welcome to pull up the sound commands, regardless of when. Don't feel bad. You're allowed to. As long as they're not being spammed. I had a half pizza with kebab, 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 Keep on keeping on. fries and tomatoes. Ugh. You know, I miss restaurant food. I miss going to a restaurant. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. I also got word that Diz is gonna be forced to work from home until at least June 1st. It got extended. So... What's this? Uh oh. Fine. One step at a time it is. I don't see any elevators around here. I'll let Tifa and Eric know. Find the others. 
There's got to be a PHS nearby. You miss Chili's and Red Lobster? I never really got to eat at either of those restaurants. But I do miss Korean barbecue. A lot. What do you know? That's the door to the fourth wall. If we want to get in, we'll need to go all the way back to the central terminal. But the door we used to get here is shut. So what now? The passages have to be connected somehow. Connected somehow? Radio! I miss paying attention to when my sub renews. Aw, nothing wrong with that. Thank you, Radio. Happy 49 months! Over four years hype. Thank you! How you doing, Radio? How you been? Welcome back, and happy Tuesday. Forced to work from home? Yeah. Well, his, his company said they're extending their work from home till June 1st. I guess is what I was saying. This music, though, isn't it good? So good. You miss hamburgers? Yeah. You miss Korean... Korean barbecue is so good. That's the thing with Korean barbecue, though. That's definitely a you have to eat it at the restaurant thing. You know? Brain pods were in the original. You're trying to remember if they were a rare enemy or just some sub boss. I don't remember them. You just got back from some eating some... Or getting some subway and buying a few comics. <laughs> I can't stop you, pandemic. Just be safe. I hope you wore a mask and everything. But yeah, thanks for popping in. So... Maybe there's a PHS somewhere. <laughs> maybe? It's so weird, you felt like for a second that June 1st was way more th or less than a month from now. Way more than less than a month from now, yeah. This year's going by really quickly now, isn't it? Badge, please. <laughs> is kimchi Korean barbecue? You genuinely don't know. Kimchi is not considered Korean barbecue, but it is served at a lot of Korean barbecue restaurants. Kimchi is fermented cabbage. Spicy ver fermented cabbage. And it's a, it's a pretty big staple in Korean cuisine in general. Uh, but Korean barbecue is basically... The concept usually is they bring raw meat to your table and there's a grill built into the table. So you grill the meat at your table and you do it yourself. And you usually have like some sauces and you get a bunch of sides and stuff like that. But yeah, it's a big thing, um, especially here in the US. And I like it. It's so good. The original save point designs on the bench. Yeah. It's really good. It's a nice little detail. Nice little detail. Please. Yeah, kimchi's a side dish. It's amazing when done right. Yeah. Doesn't I used to make it's um? Terminal. Call up Tifa. See if they can get to the central terminal. We used to make kimchi fried rice. Like Diz and I would buy some kimchi from um the Asian market. Oh. Hey. Okay Let's go there. fight! Oh shit! Gosh, we have to get to them, or they have to get to him. Rescuing Red 13. Red 13 has fallen to a lower level. You can see Red 13's HP gauge on the screen. Defeat nearby enemies and save Red before he's overcome. Oh, anxiety time. <laughs> anxiety time. Bibimbap plays and serve it too, yeah. You ate it once and then your poor Norwegian palate melted and died. Yeah, it can be pretty spicy. It's really good though. You wish the kimchi spell wasn't, smell wasn't so pungent? It's because it's uh, fermented. Like basically kind of pickled. Anything pickled or fermented is pretty strong smelling. So let's go. We have to go and um, right. On it. PHS. Tifa, you there? Is something wrong? Red fell to your level. 
Can we try to get to him? Here we go. Oh no! Come on. Let's do this. Damn it. Oh, shit. No! What is this nonsense? Oh, that hurt. Really bad. Shit. They keep moving. These things suck. Just, just go ah, I still got hit. Hold up. That's it? Oh my god. That healed like nothing. <laughs> That healed like nothing! Oof! Oh, I don't know what I'm doing. These guys suck! They move too much! Oh, nice, nice, nice. Nice! We're making it! Hey, Blaster QB! Yeah, it's like whack a mole. Sorry, I think we're in the same place as Red. We made it. Oh, so good. They give you plenty of time to get to red, this. actually. Ooh, that was cool. You okay? I am now. <sighs> nice one. <sighs> we did it. Have Cloud and Barrett found anything? Actually, they just found the entrance to the fourth ward. But to unlock it, they have to access the central terminal, which they cannot do from their position. Maybe we can get to it instead. Yeah, let's try. Let's do it! Yas! Alright, so I don't think I missed any loot yet. What's up here? Tifa's fighting moves? Dolphin blow your mind! Ayy! Well, that's the exit to the third ward. That's where we came from. I feel like they will sell Tifa shoes at some point. Oh, I'm sure there there's a bunch of like Tifa replica shoes or cosplay shoes. I'm sure there's gotta be. Okay, we've been here before. Off I go. Cloud and Barrett cannot do it from their position? Good news. More time with Tifa. Yep. I love being able to play Tifa. It's so satisfying. It's so good. Look, an elevator. Elevator. And it's not moving. Professor still has plans for us, I presume. For the record, I don't like this one bit. All that remains is the fourth ward. We must trust in Cloud and Barrett to see it through. Have we been through the first ward? I feel like we haven't been through the first ward. 
We've been through two and three. The super special edition I of Devil really May Cry 5. Oh god, hold on. Uh, it came with a replica of Dante's jacket? Really? Oh, it was so smart for me to put lightning on. For elemental damage. Wait, Aerith, you need to do things. To learn your things. She needs to- oh, ATB ward, she needs to use that. See if we can get her to use it before we kill this thing. Go on. So I feel like it's not gonna work. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't so bad. I need her to use it. It was around eight thousand dollars. Was that like after the fact and people were selling it? Is that what you mean? Yeah, we can't get to the first ward. Maybe we came from the first ward. Honestly. Yeah, I think we were. First ward training area. Yeah, we've been through there. Yeah. Never mind. So we've been through number one. Four is the last one we haven't done. Okay. So they need... Transfusion procedure complete. Commencing test of augmented research specimen. There it is. This okay. was a good idea, right? Okay. Yep. Well, let's go give the others the news. Yes. Your pizza's done. You're gonna go nom Galradin. Enjoy. Sally, Diz, and I didn't finish the leftover pizza we had from last Thursday. I had to toss it out because I wasn't sure it was still good. <laughs> that made me sad. I was planning to eat the pizza. I never got around to it. Yeah, we found an elevator on our side. Good. Glad to hear it. But we can't use it for some reason. Hojo did something. I know it. There's only one thing we can do. We need to head to the fourth ward, just like he wants. We unlocked it on our side. You should be able to get in. Thanks. Wait for it there. Alright. Here we go. That's what Capcom was asking right. for it. Now we head back to that door. Really? There was a more affordable Virgil jacket version that was 6.5 thousand or 7 thousand. Did people actually buy that though? Was it worth the, the, the cost? Because that's just really, really expensive for a jacket. So expensive for a jacket. I'm sure people did. Like the diehard Devil May Cry fans, maybe. Perhaps. Yeah, don't advertise other content creators, please. Please don't mention them unless I mention them first. That's the usual etiquette here. Please respect my stream. If you can't respect my stream, please kindly leave. Oh, that hurt. Oh. Okay. Good job. Good job. Let's go. So we just need to go upstairs. I think. Perhaps. People spend stupid amounts for collector's items. They do. That is true. Here we go. Four. Oh, let's sit down first. Here we go. Perfect. Enjoy your lurk, Galradin! You sure somebody bought it? Yeah, probably. Does Aerith have the seal evil limit break? You love using that in the original game? Um, she doesn't at the moment. All that we've seen is healing wind. So... <laughs> Wish it was less crazy expensive for Tifa's shoes, couple hundred or something. Yeah. I mean it makes sense. But at the same time We uh made Wedge wait a while to be rescued. Guess so. It's pricey. You know, he really likes you. 
Maybe. Friendly guy, but he has a hard time opening up to people. Well, that makes two of us. He's got your back, though. <laughs> makes two of us. Nice. Okay, we should go behind me. It's a dead end down here. Maybe there's loot. <gasps> I was right. Loot. Mega potions. Oh, emo only mode. <laughs> For the next five minutes, folks, you can only chat in chat using small pixelated images. But just five minutes. Enjoy. Thank you, thank you. Torment! <laughs> was it one of those, like, pop-ups where it's like, Hey, try this. Use some channel points for this. And you, you just clicked it? Yeah. Twitch tries to encourage people to use channel points. It's pretty funny. Did you know that 8,000 for a jacket was originally going to be a Resident Evil game? <laughs> Setting up production for limited run clothes is really expensive. Assuming they're worth the quality though. Oh, Shin! I can speak like this, Toe. <laughs> toe. Yeah, that is true. You can bypass Evo only mode by cheering bits. <laughs> Thank you, Shin, for the 100 bitties. You did damage to Crazy Mo's minion and splash the big cup. Oh, another five minutes on top. From Crazy Mo. Um, so Crazy Mo, thank you for redeeming that. Batch, can you can you add it? Did you add the time? So it's more like seven or eight minutes. Seven, eight, nine minutes right now of emo only mode. Enjoy, folks. Enjoy. <laughs> we haven't had emo only mode in a while, though. We had it a lot during Pokemon when I was streaming Pokemon. But we definitely haven't had it in a while, to be honest. <gasps> Crazy Mouse! My minion. Snowy battle, Your snowy battle. minion! Crazy Mo. Thank you for setting off the special alert. You splashed the bit cup and healed your minion back up. And Nintendo Geek. Gosh darn emote only mode, such torture, snowy fine. <laughs> And this Nintendo Geek, you did damage to Crazy Mo's minion. Thank you. That's another five minutes. And another five minutes. There's only a maximum of a certain number per day, by the way. So, <laughs> just to let you know, I think it's nearly maximum at this, at this rate. But thank you, Dr. Rudy with the snowy pound. Thank you all. Did we set off a hype train? All right, folks, go ahead and cheer those bits or sub or resub or gift subs. That's the only way you can talk now for the next 25 minutes. Nearly 25 minutes. 20, 25 minutes. Hype train, yeah. Uh, 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 us. Uh, 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 Thank you, JR, for the 100 bitties contributing to that hype train. And Shan with the 300 bitties. I am sorry, my less heath for you. Less health for you. Thank you, Shin. For the 300 bitties, did damage to Crazy Mel's minion. Matterade, here's your dab. Boom. Thank you. Oh, the emo only mode. I think it's like 20, 25 minutes. Ma There's a maximum, I think, of five per day. Right? So I think they've all been redeemed at this point. <laughs> all at once. There you go. But yeah, uh, you can bypass it with bits. Contribute to the hype train and stuff. Crazy Ra. Mo! Snowy battle, snowy battle. Rar indeed! You healed your minion back up, Crazy Mo. Splash the bit cup! Holy crap! This hype train, though! This must be such a weird hype train because everybody has emo only mode on right now. <laughs> but thank you for contributing to the hype train! Did we hit level 2? What? 22 minutes left of emo only mode, folks. Go ahead and cheer those biddies. Press those resub buttons to share a resub message. <laughs> uh, the only collector's edition you have on pre-order is the Command & Conquer Red Alert Remastered. Nice. Nice. I don't do collector's editions. Just because I don't collect material stuff anymore. So, not that I ever really did, but... And do... Him Slim Shady. Yes, him the real Shady. Shady. All you other Slim Shadies are just imitating. So won't the real Slim Shady please stand up? Please stand up. Please stand up. 
Stand up, shady. Thank you, Andu, for the hundred biddies. You did damage to Crazy Mo's minion. And that good old Eminem song. I remember that song. Thank you, Andu. All the hype. Where are we at on the hype train? I know that you all can't tell me, but my mods can. <laughs> Where are we at? Are we on level two? Second hype train today. That's really dope. Oh, we got to level two. Nice. Thank you all so much for the hype. Holy crap. And during emo holy mode. It's got to be awkward. But you know, I really appreciate it. It's probably like the quietest hype train. The quietest hype train. It's so funny. Why is this giant, like, room for nothing? There has to be, like, a boss fight at some point in here or something. Why would they put a giant empty room here? Guess we'll find out. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, snap! TJ! Yes! What? Everybody headbang. Everybody headbang. Are you all dancing? I hope you're dancing. TJ, thank you for the five gifted subs to the community! Holy crap, you contributed to the hype train! And gifted a new sub to El Raquiz. Butchering that name. Um, Say Saeko Kato, 15 month resub. Oh, that was a new sub. 15 month resub to X Vorpism. 8 month resub to Don Poffins. And 19 month resub to Sammy Dot. TJ, thank you. Holy crap. Thank you. So, wait, wait, where's the hype train at now? What percent? But thank you, TJ. I really appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. I haven't done a physical collector's edition in quite a while. Red Alert's one of your all-time favorites. You couldn't resist, yeah. I don't know what kind of game would would make me do a, co a collector's edition. I don't even know if there is one. Because I feel like if there were, I would have done it for Final Fantasy VII Remake. But the first class edition was something like 400 bucks. And I was like, nah, no thanks. <laughs> I mean, it, it has to be a reasonable price, you know? Hot shot! Thank you for the hundred biddies! Splash the bit cup. Did damage to Crazy Mo's minion. Thank you! And contributed to the hype train! Where's the hype train at? I actually don't know. What percent? Percent! Frenzic! Squeeze these butties in two. Squeeze these in two! Thank you, Frenzic, for the 500 biddies! Set off the special alert. Splash the bit cup. Did damage to Crazy Mo's minion. Wait, we're on level three now! <gasps> I thought we were still on level two. Holy crap, we made it to level three. Thank you all so, so much. Holy moly. Thank you. Who hype train. Hype train, Nintendo Greek. Thank you for the hundred bitters. Oh my goodness, and Sammy. <gasps> Sammy with the hundred bitters as well. I hope you're well, Sammy. Good to see you, and welcome back to the Snow Army. Oh my goodness, folks. All this hype. Thank you. Crazy Mo's minion's about to die. 60 HP. Oh snap! It's gone! It's gone! Raven, thank you for the 500 biddies. What the heck? All this hype though. Seriously appreciate it. Thank you all. You have the current minion now, Raven. 440 HP. And contributed to the hype train! This is intense. Wow, you got... What the room, heck? Room. What the heck? Well, the hype train is still going. Crazy Mo, you took down uh, Raven's minion. You have it again, 60 HP. Filled out the bit cup. I think those are some pretty heavy bits now in the bit cup. A lot of them are 100 bit bits. But thank you. Jesus, this is intense. You're all freaking amazing. How freaking fantastic. We're 65% into level three. And we'll see where this hype train goes. Plus, we're, we're in the middle of emo only mode still. Wait, how much, how much time do we have left on that? Oh, that's so funny. This is like the, uh, I think this is the first time we've had a hype train during emo only mode. I'm pretty sure. So it's probably really awkward because it's kind of quiet. 16 minutes left still. Holy moly. Well then. I look forward to hearing what you all have to say once that ends. <laughs> but seriously, thank you all. Damn. Can we hit level four? 
We're actually pretty close. We're over halfway. We are over halfway! Synthesis chamber, right? Whoops. Yes. Yes. Oh, Nero! <laughs> Don't sing it. <laughs> Thank you for the, uh, for the drink. I said we're over halfway. I didn't say we were halfway. We're over halfway. It's Batch's favorite song, folks. That one song. Who is it by again? <laughs> Who's it by again? Uh oh. Oh no! What's going on? Oh shit. What is this? What? Last second. What? No way! Did that work? Oh! What? Like my loafers? Shit. Former gophers. And that all skin my chauffeurs. But a Greyhound fur tuxedo would be best. Holy crap. Did we actually save the hype train? What the heck? Shin. Oh, thank you. My god. 5,000 booties. You splashed the bit cup. Now it's kind of empty again. Damn. We were filling it up too. And Ander with 100 booties. You did damage to Shin's minion. Shin, thank you. Holy crap. Oh, wait. We're on level 5? Oh, damn. Well, there we go. We skipped level four, like, completely. Wow, we're on the last level of the hype train, folks. I know we're in emo only mode. I know you're kind of quiet. But can we make it? Can we finish level five? Damn. You all are freaking amazing. This was our second hype train today. And this is the, this is intense. This is like, especially during emo only mode. <laughs> what? <laughs> But thank you, Shin. Thank you, Andu. Thank you all. My gosh. Damn, I can't even. Yeah, if anybody's sitting on a resub button, resub buttons count. So if you already, you don't have to go ahead and spend money like right now, you know. Like if you've been sitting on a resub button for a while, that counts towards the hype train. So if anybody's sitting on one, it can help us complete level five. Because that would be dope. Imagine the things that will be said after Emo only ends will be the first exclamations of freedom <laughs> followed by cursing. Yeah. Freedom. I need to get that sound clip. There is a, there's a freedom sound clip, isn't there? Or that from that one song. I think there's a song. Maybe. Potion. 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 Shin, you healed your minion back up. Thank you. Filled up the bit cup. Hell yeah. Hey, Rockwiz! Welcome! Welcome to the Snow Army. You got gifted! You're in the middle emo only mode. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. We have like maybe, what, 12 minutes of emo only mode left? Time goes so slow in emo only mode. Doesn't it? 13 minutes. Damn. That's impressive. That's impressive. I want to see if we can complete level 5 before we continue. I didn't know I was going to walk into a cutscene, so we started a cutscene. Looks like something dangerous is coming towards Barrett and uh, Cloud. Holy crap! Leroy! And Nintendo Geek! Whoops, now that potion meant nothing. Oh my gosh, what the heck? What? What? There's a lot going on right now. We got to triple the hype. Triple the height. We're at 76%. Well, Leroy, welcome back. Happy two months in at tier three. Hot damn. Thank you. You contributed to the hype train as well. Welcome back to the Snow Army. Nintendo Geek with the 500 biddies. You did damage to Shin's minion. TJ as well with the 1,000 biddies. Did damage to Shin's minion. Contributed to the hype train. There's so much going on right now. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my what? Mega potion. Mega potion. <laughs> snowy. Oops, oh my snowy god. Oops, snowy oops. Snowy oops. What is, what is happening? Damn! Did we complete a level five? Complete. Oh, you all came through. Look at this. It's not every day that we complete a level five hype train. So this is super precious and very very special. If you were here to witness it. If you were here to 
be a part of it. Please pat yourself on the back. It doesn't happen all the time here. This is very special. Thank you, TJ, Crazy Mo with that 21 month resub, and at tier two, Insane Man gifting us up to the community. Three months to Alpita. Thank you so much, Insane Man. I hope you're well. And Shin with the 1500 bennies. You held your minion back up. And then Bunny did damage again. <gasps> Bunny, thank you for the 200 bennies. There's so much going on in chat. I can't even. Seriously, thank you all. Wow. Wow. <laughs> thank you. You know, it's funny because it's still emo only mode. So it's, it's almost like a super quiet hype train. Because <laughs> normally people would be chatting during the hype train. <laughs> But there's just a lot of emotes right now. We're at 153%! So if anybody wants to be part of the level 5 hype train and get an emote from the level 5 thing, um, this is your chance to to get involved. Anonymous gifting a tier 2 sub to Silhouettes of Curtis. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, Anonymous. And Curtis, welcome to the Snow Army. Thank you. Thanks for joining us. And thank you, Anonymous. Oh, so much love today. I can't even words. Can't even. Mm. You choose to pat yourself on another body part? <laughs> Whatever floats your boat, Batch. <laughs> Thank you, Stranger, for gifting me a sub. Oh, Curtis, thanks for the 60 biddies. You splashed the bit cup and did damage to Shen's minion. Welcome to the snow army. Holy moly. So 153% is where we ended. So the hype train just ended. Vroom, vroom. What emote is that? Ooh, hype love. It's a very love-filled bandana wearing emote. Is that is that what everybody got? Yeah, okay, hype love. I love it. It has the same sort of style of a smile as the um the monkey we saw yesterday. Didn't you also get the monkey that has the same smile emote? I think so. Well, damn, thank you all. Like, holy shit. That was a freaking impressive hype train. <laughs> Seriously, massive love and huge thank you for that hype train. That was, uh, that was really fun. So we have maybe under 10 minutes, I think, of the, of the, <laughs> of emo only mode left. So hang in there. Hang in there, okay? I love you all. Thank you. We're unpausing now. <laughs> thank you all! Run! This doesn't look very safe. Oh, I knew it! That room was for a boss fight. Ha! Huh. What is this? We're like in a Marvel movie now. This is totally like Avengers. Or... The one with the aliens from space. Sword of Eve? What the hell is a Sword of Eve? This is such a weird... Oh. I should have counter-stanced. That would have been perfect. Ooh. Barret! You should cast regen on me! Whoops. Wait, where is it? Why is it all the way up there? Thank you! Thank you to whoever used my Humble Bundle link! Feel free to let us know if it was you. Oh shit, that hurt. What are we doing? What is this? Oh my god. There's a lot of stuff going on right now. Oh, we don't know who did the thing. Ah, yes, aliens from space as opposed to the traditional aliens from <laughs> underground. Radio, thank you. I say some of the weirdest things. We all know that. Thank you, Radio, for the 100 bitters. I mean, I believe in underground aliens. Thank you. You did damage to Shen's minion. I appreciate that. I guess nobody can tell us who did the thing. Hey, Fjord, welcome back. Do you remember this enemy? I actually don't remember this enemy in the original. <laughs> Aliens from space! Oh, I don't remember this enemy though, actually. I feel like I need to get a like a screenshot of it. Barret! You should... 
Maximum Fury. Did I even hit it? I don't think I hit it. Oh, 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 oh. Snowy aliens underground are just lizard people. I guess they are lizard people. Counter! Oh, that was really good. Thank you, Nintendo Gerg! Lizard people? Are they still aliens? This is pretty. Very flashy. Oh, God. Oh! We have to fight with this party now. Oh, this is actually really cool. Fighting with both parties. That's really cool. Come back. Oh, lightning! Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Okay, I want Aerith to use her ATB thing. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. Everything hurts. Can this not be happening? This is really bad. You'll feel better in a second. Does she not have Kiraga? Oh, that's awkward. This is fine. No need to panic. Oh, her cure is super strong. She doesn't need Kiraga. She doesn't even need Kiraga. Kira on Tifa. Oh, we saved her just in time. Oh god, this camera angle. Okay, so Tifa. I'm actually gonna have her Kiraga, Aerith. I'm gonna save Aerith's ATB for. Oh shit, not this again. Maybe it won't hit me. Or not. I think we need to go closer to the fence. Nope. Never mind. Please don't hit me! Aerith, heal. <laughs> this is so hard! Draconix, thank you for the 15 bitters! We haven't been able to ATB gauge in so long. Oh my gosh. This is so hard. This is so hard. Andu, you remember this enemy too? Thank you for the 15 bitties, you did damage to Shin's minion. I'm just gonna block. I want Aerith to ATB gauge. Or ATB ward. Wait, she has her heals. She has her healing thing. She has limit break. Go on. Okay, if we if we need to heal, we have a clutch heal with Aerith. I just want her to ATB ward. It's taking forever. Okay. Abilities. ATB ward. On me. I'm here for you guys. <laughs> Alright, this is where we're gonna have it. Oh. You're gonna feel this one. <gasps> I am halfway to Batch Club, which is my next go. Aerith, heal us! Let the wind correct you. Okay, okay, okay. I don't even know if I can hit it. It's too high. Damn it. I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. Ah, everything hurts. Thank you, Shin, for the 100 bitties. You healed your minion. Halfway to Batch Club? What's Batch Club? Okay, 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 okay. It's down here now. Let's go. Beating it up! We're just beating it up! I meant to say hot shot club snowy boots. <laughs> well thank you, Shad! Thank you all for the biddies! I had to focus there. That was a cool fight. That was a really cool fight. 
Wait, was red on it? Whoa! Red! Oh, this is really cool. You know, this is actually a really cool looking enemy. That's enough. That's it. Rest in pepperonis. Oh, did it finally end? Freedom! <laughs> Again, you triumph. <laughs> I'd be disappointed if you didn't. Freedom! Yes. I believe I look at those two. About all the bum, da, 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 da. <laughs> yeah, they were beating up the door. <laughs> I thought that was kind of weird to look at. <laughs> but thank you all so much for your patience. Email only mode is now over, which means you're allowed to type text and chat now. Thank you all for the crazy amount of hype during that. Oh my goodness, that was awesome. Thank you all. And thank you for the biddies. I feel like I missed a lot of biddies during that boss fight. So Nintendo Geek with the 100 biddies, Draconix with the 15, Andy with the 15, Shin with the 200. Thank you. Mm. Oh, Draconix, you did the Humble Bundle. Nice! Humble Bundle hype. Thank you, Draconix. What did you buy? What did you get? Thank you for using my link. Yeah, no worries, Velvet. No need to apologize. It doesn't happen all the time. So it's all good. All good. Freedom! Why is Cloud hitting the door with that sword? They were both trying to get in, I think. And <laughs> now we don't have to worry about Emma only for the rest of the stream. You're welcome. <laughs> there you go. There you go. The Sword of Pete boss is awesome. It looked actually looked really cool. It was a weird fight. But I like the fact that they made you fight fight it with both parties. That was pretty cool. <laughs> Hey, insane man, how am I doing today? I'm excellent. Excellent. We're uh, hoping to finish this today. I'm on chapter 17, but otherwise, yeah. Super enjoying the game. Hanging out with you all. It's been awesome. Best scene in the game, Cloud banging his sword at the door. Yeah, they just look really funny. <laughs> hey, Curtis. Yes, thank you. Welcome to the stream. How are you? Welcome to the Snow Army. And yeah, big love. Thank you so much again to everybody who uh, who did a little extra support in the past half an hour. Thank you. Oh, the same Bit Badge Club. Speaking of Bit Badge, where's Hot Shots? Did yours disappear? I don't see it on my screen. It might have been untoggled. Free at last. Freedom. <laughs> Your 52K from the 400K badge. Hot damn. Thank you, Hot Shot. Thank you, thank you. But yeah, I think it untoggled Hot Shot. At least I don't see it in chat. Next stage. <laughs> Next stage. Mm. Oh! Stuff's happening. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, ho. Yes, we got it to work. Or did we get it to work? I don't think we got it to work. We are being spied on right now. Where's she at? Has she finally learned it? Oh my god, 30%? I guess I've only used it like three times. Oh, we have so much stuff. We should probably do some uh, SP things. Hey, Roku. We were paused on Hojo, yeah, we were. Welcome to the stream. Welcome. Wait, what's blood sucker? Oh, we should do that. Yeah. That would be helpful. If Cloud has the Buster Sword for that scene, it's particularly bad. In Crisis Core, you learn how meaningful that sword is. Some people would roll their, their in their graves if they saw that. You know, I'm sure some people did use the Buster Sword at that point. Cloud beating at the door is similar to the chat stuck in emote mode. Yeah. <laughs> it untoggles a lot, hot shot. You sometimes don't bother putting it back on. Oh, okay, gotcha. I'm used to seeing it though. Does it really untoggle that often? Max HP. Yeah. 
He's creepy in the original game, but in this game, yeah, they did so, so well. I agree with that. Welcome to the stream, Roku. Yeah, he's got a creepy laugh. They, they did his voice perfectly. MP regen, let's do that. <laughs> Welcome back, Rastra! Freedom! Imagine working at Shinra. Oh god, I got Hojo as my secret Santa. Oh, that would be so awkward. <laughs> he probably... What would you even buy for Hojo, you know? Speed. Let's do speed plus seven. Yeah! You had the Buster Sword during that scene? Oh, really? It must have looked really funny. <laughs> at least once a week. Normally you turn it right back on after one post and sometimes you don't notice or bother. Oh. Does it end up... Un does, it, does it end up coming back by itself? Oh, we don't have enough SP. Shit. Whoops. We'll leave that. Hojo ruined casual Fridays. The main reason you've seen it untoggle is, for example, you get the bit leader badge and lose it. Oh, is that the reason? I wonder. I feel like they should totally fix that. I didn't realize that might be why. But that makes sense. Let's do max HP. You'd be more worried about whoever Hojo got for Secret Santa? Yeah. <laughs> In the original game, he was a quirky little scientist with a hunch and thin hair. He's almost used for comic relief. Yeah. He- I wouldn't- I don't think he's depicted as comedic at all, really. In, um... In this. Magic attack power plus 18. That's juicy. We should see if any of these are better than what we're currently equipped with. To be fair, no one on Shinra's executive board is wholesome except Reeve. Hojo's creepy AF, Palmer's creepy AF, Scarlet's a sadistic dominatrix. No, this is not a positive sit down chat, don't be thirsty. <laughs> Heidegger is a monster, and President Shinra encourages and enables them all and is also evil. Yeah, that's pretty accurate. Sounds about right. It's pretty, pretty rough. Poor Reeve. How did Reeve even get roped into all that, you know? Reeve deserves better. Palmer's a nightmare, yeah. Yeah. Especially that part when you see him in the um, the Honeybee Inn. I think it was the Honeybee Inn, right? Or... If it, if it, was, it, was it the Honeybee Inn? He was just really, like... Just sleazy. Just really not... Not... You know, just not good. <laughs> yeah, Reeve is the only good one. Reeve is the only good one. Honestly, Scarlet's only appeal is all the skin she shows. Beyond that, you dislike her entirely. She's definitely attractive. Magic defense plus six. There we go. Let's do that. Pennywise checks his closet for Palmer. <laughs> Reeve probably wanted to be a city planner and the job posting seemed like a good opportunity, especially given how we've seen Shinra propaganda works. Yeah. It just sucks because, like, you know, he does seem to be, like, the only one who's kind of almost out of place. Right? To me, he seems out of place. Guess we'll just do magic attack power. I'll do two of these. There we go. Oh yeah, it's break time. You're right. You're right. Let me do this real quick. You like bad girls? You wouldn't want to date one in real life, but it makes for a nice fantasy. Yeah. I can understand. Attack power. Alright. 
Let me finish Barrett's thing here and then we'll take a break. Yeah, we usually take a break, if anybody doesn't know, every two to two and a half hours of stream. Just a quick five minute break for all of us to stretch and stuff. So definitely look forward to that um, in a few minutes here. Magic defense with low HP. Where is that? There we go. There we go. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, max HP. Okay. Attack power. Yeah, I guess. Magic attack power with high HP. Let's just do magic attack power. Okay. Last one. Yeah, we're gonna take a quick five minute break. And then continue. Max MP. Oh, got around and redeemed Snowy Swalt. And a drink. Give me a second. Alright, we're done with that. Let's save. Let's save. Alrighty. So, you're bad at saving cakes. <laughs> That's okay. But thank you. Thank you all for hanging out. We're gonna take a quick five minute break here and come back and continue but thank you thank you thanks for the snowy swall and the drink and do yeah definitely stay hydrated for sure all right folks quick five minute break and then we'll continue uh, once we get back but um i encourage you to get up and stretch walk around use the restroom even if you don't need anything, like you don't need a drink or you don't need to use the restroom, uh, just get up and move around your room a little bit. Get some blood flow going on in your legs and stuff. And then come back. Um, the stream's not over. We still have four and a half hours of stream. So plenty of time to finish this game and to start our journey to the Platinum Trophy. But in the meantime, take a quick break with me. I'll leave the stream running though. I'm going to play some ads. We super appreciate it. Just turn off your ad blocker if you're running one. And I will see you all in about five minutes. Be right back.
and we're back. Thank you all for taking a break with me. I hope you all moved. If you didn't, get up now and walk. <sighs> oh, good night, Dr. Rudy. Dr. Rudy's probably gone. <laughs> Thank you, Hotshot. Thank you, Batch. Thank you, 46 Racer. Thank you, Vinius. But yeah, I hope you all had a, a nice break. Your sofa's a magnet. It's refusing to let you get up, Noctgar. You should. Anyway, we just had our first break of the stream. Like I said, we take it every two to two and a half hours of stream. So we'll have another one before the end of stream. But let's do things. That was a cool boss fight. I really enjoyed it. Thank you, Galradin. Thank you, Nintendo Geek. Thank you, Cassie. Thank you all. Thank you, thank you. All right. Here we go. We just did all our upgrading and stuff. Um. Whoops. Oh, we're at 7 out of 12. Okay. Okay. So. The elevator's open. Should we talk to... No, they're not over there. Never mind. I think we're good. This seems like a great idea. Could this be a trap? Totally. Don't worry. The elevators are safe. Uh-huh. <laughs> Shin, right. thank you. If you say so. The elevators are safe? I don't know. I don't trust that. Huh? Are we there already? No. Something tells me that we aren't. Call it a hunch. I hear something. This seems like a brilliant idea. The source of the sound. Oh, it's... Oh, the sound? It's probably Barrett and Cloud banging on the door. <laughs> That's probably what it is. Doesn't it sound like what Cloud's doing? Mm. Hey, Nexus! How are you? Yeah, doesn't he look great? Oh, so we, we got to see Red. We were introduced to Red 13 yesterday. And um, I, I was so happy. So Red 13 is my second favorite character in the original. Tifa is my, my favorite. And Red was my second favorite, so my main party was Cloud, Red 13, and Tifa. And I was so happy when they introduced Red 13 yesterday when we got to that part. Because uh, I was looking forward to it. And he does look great. And his voice is great. And his moments so far have been really good. So, how you doing? Welcome. Are we there yet? Yeah, I, feel, I think that banging is actually Barrett and Cloud. It has to be. We don't have all day, yeah, I was right. I think it might be locked from this side. Should we open it up then? Well. <laughs> Ooh, reflexes. Hey, you guys. <laughs> uh, <hey>. <laughs> <laughs> Awkward. Band's back together. Past time we got out of here and made our way to the roof. There's an elevator just over there. Hmm? But it will move only at Hojo's discretion. Oh, we can choose now. <gasps> this is the first time we get to choose between all four. Right? Guess I'll just keep it like this. Yeah. <laughs> Sup, <laughs> right? Aerith nearly killed them, right? Baron Cloud's banging, you say? Yeah, and please. You're good, uh, Nexus? You're keen for the finale. Yeah, we're gonna finish it today. That's what I've been told. Has Barrett done the victory fanfare sound yet? Yes. No, we haven't gotten the sound bite yet. But he's done it in the game. Just I just haven't been able to get a, a nice, clear recording of it. Eventually, I'm sure we'll get it, but you know. But yeah. I, I enjoy when he does victory fanfare. I think we're going this way. The elevator. Elevator! That nope was in regards to my question. 
What was my question? <laughs> what was my question? You'll have to remind me. Didn't notice you could choose there? Was already happy having Tifa and Aerith. Yeah. I think you can choose because it said that Barrett, Aerith, and Tifa joined the party. She can't choose, can she? I think so. Do, can we not? Toggle page. No? I thought you could because it said they all joined the party. Can you not? Maybe you can't. Maybe I lied. Just kidding! But it said all three of them joined the party. Why would the game lie to me? Why would the game lie to me? Oh well. You assume not, but if you find a way. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't know. The game said that all three of them joined the party. We haven't actually had a chance to switch anybody out like in the original game before. You could switch people out, you know? But this game's all like, no, you get who you get. And that's it. Red's in the way. Elevator. Well, okay then. Looks like the elevator is working. It appears Hojo's done having his fun. <laughs> Glad to hear he enjoyed the show. Mm. PSA, in case anyone wants the Tifa theme, you saw an article saying you get it for free from the Japanese PSN store. Back. Just have to make a Japanese Again. account. Yeah. What? Hey. But then how do you transfer it to your North American account? Frying corned beef hash. Ooh, that sounds good. Enjoy, Raven. You get what you get. So we're here now. Has it been shown what the ghost thingies are yet, or is that still a mystery? We got some clarification on it when we were playing yesterday. So as far as we know, um, Red 13 called them whispers. And they basically interfere anytime um, you're trying to change the course of destiny. So think of it like... Uh, I'm sure there's characters like that. I'm trying to think in like other TV shows and stuff, but but yeah, they they Red Thirteen apparently told us about it because Aerith touched him and kind of soothed him and calmed him down, and that little like communion link whatever made Red kind of understand this from the planet's perspective. I don't know how to really explain it. But he was like, yeah, they're called whispers and they interfere anytime, you know, these characters try to change the course of destiny and to alter what's supposed to happen. They kind of try to, you know. So that's basically, um, yes, the flash. Okay, yeah, new blitz. I was trying to, I was like, I this is a familiar, you know, thing. But I'm like, where have I, heard of something like that before. Yes, The Flash. I watched The Flash TV show with uh, Grant Gustin or whatever his name is for like the first like three seasons. Um, yes. So anytime you change past or try to change the past in The Flash, there's those, those time wraiths come out and they, they hunt down, you know, whoever's doing it. So it's kind of like that. Except, um, yeah, they're in this. <laughs> I was like, I, I know what it is because I've seen it in something before. But yeah, if, you ever, if you're familiar with The Flash, uh, the DC character, um, the DC superhero, you know, The Flash can run so fast that he can time travel, right? And whenever he goes back in time, if he tries to alter the past, then these time wraiths will try to hunt him down. And it's a, it's a very dangerous thing. Um, you know the whole thing? Anytime there's time travel, right, or any kind of time-related thing, there's always that whole saying of if you alter the past, you'll have consequences and stuff. You're not supposed to change the past. The past is what it is, you know. And here, if you, it's kind of like the opposite. If you try to change what's supposed to happen in the future, these little Dementor-looking things called Whispers will try to interfere. And um, it's very interesting, isn't it? <clears throat> yeah, plot device. Oh, it's just something on your PS4 at that point, Blues, really? Huh, interesting. Well, that's good to know. 
I bought all my Butterfingers and Crunch Bars. <laughs> hey, Sidewinder, how you doing? The Flash had similar things. They took Zoom away at the end of season two for trying to alter time. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I've seen the first three seasons. I think I started season four, but I never finished it. I really enjoyed The Flash. That was a really good show. You don't watch The Flash, but it sounds interesting. Yeah, if you ever get time, it's pretty good. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Aerith's idle animation is what you would do if you were waiting for something. Oh, really? What is her idle animation? <laughs> I wasn't looking. Flashpoint, yeah. Are they using these whispers to explain why the remake is different from the original? Um, kind of? Uh, I don't really know. I don't really know yet. But... I don't know. <laughs> I, I want to answer your question and give my opinion, but at the same time I don't know how to articulate it. <laughs> she taps her boots and is moving around. You tend not to be able to sit still. Well, she is kind of just... She's standing there. I'm waiting for her to idle. I'm just gonna awkwardly stare at Aerith. Yeah, I guess we'll find out together. Yeah. I still think it's a cool thing, though, that they introduced because... I don't know. I like it. Hey, Yuki, that's the theory you read. They try to push the story back to what it was in the original Final Fantasy VII. Yeah, right? I mean, you get some semblance of choice and stuff in the remake. And that it's just trying to follow the original Final Fantasy VII story. I think this close to the end, it would be best not to speculate or lead too much. Yeah, that's true. Good point, Blues. What the hell's going on? What's going on? Who would Oh, that's we where Genova was. Okay. Let's go. That's where Genova was. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. Mm, mm, mm. Look at all this purple Genova blood. Oh, snap. Grape jelly. This floor? The president's office, and then the roof. Wait. Once we get in that elevator, there's no turning back. We're ready. Right? Her. The elevator back there can take us down to the central terminal again. Now's the time for any unfinished business. I love how the game's like, this is it. Finish any side quests. But I think I think we were pretty thorough. We got everything. So, to my knowledge. I believe. And plus, if we miss anything, we can always go back once the game's over to look for stuff. The plot thickens. DC did an animation with the Flash called Flashpoint Paradox. Something about the past staying in the past. Oh, well, that's cool. ESRB, Genova blood. You gotta love how Genova's blood is purple and sparkly and apparently bioluminescent. Yeah. <laughs> there, it's not reading the script. Their footfalls change if you run on it. Yeah, I heard that. It was like a squishy sound. Here we go. I'm ready to do this. Let's go. Squish, squish. Squish. You know why it's purple? Because it's the best color, obviously. Okay. What are we doing? So we're here. We're on floor number 69. Nice. So squishy. To think somebody had to record the sound of the, the squishiness. What did they do to record this sound? I would like to imagine they got some like actual like 
jelly or jam and just mushed it between their hands to record this sound. There are people that go and record sounds for games, you know. I'm transfixed. I'm like distracted. Okay, let's go. Step on grapes? Oh, that sounds good too. That music. Blues, you love the concept of Genova. Both Chrono Trigger and Xenogears on PS1 has similar antagonists. I believe Genova is supposed to be like, whoops, an alien, some sort of alien entity. Guess we can't go that way. Sound effects for movies and video games are made by Foley artists. That's what they're called. Okay. Yeah. Probably a wet mop. Who's gonna clean this carpet now? Might as well throw it out and buy a new one. Wilhelm screams? Who's Wilhelm? The blood is like alive. Is there any loot? Can I even go this way? No. The dude that screamed. Oh, the Star Wars scream. <laughs> I forgot again. Oh, the yelling sound effect is Star Wars. Oh, I didn't know. Do y'all expect me to remember that? Blues, you wouldn't go anywhere near that blood without a Samus level protective suit. Yeah. I mean, it's moving. Blood's not supposed to move. Unless you're Genova! I'm looking for loot. So squishy. There has to be some loot down here somewhere. This looks like the perfect place to put a treasure chest. I'm just gonna point that out. Perfect place for a treasure chest. Everything looks so fancy up here. Yeah, the uh, the depiction of the Shinra headquarters looks really good. It looks so sleek compared to how it was depicted in the original. In the original it was pretty... Uh, I don't know how to describe it. It didn't have this kind of feeling, you know? So. You don't think you expect me to remember anything anymore, Hotshot? It's hard to keep track of things. <laughs> it really is. Maybe we should have followed the actual blood trail. Let's go to the other side. This is like the scene in a horror movie. Obviously, it's a good idea to follow the blood trail. It always leads to good things. Yeah, it plumes like lava. It's like living blood. Where the hell is that bastard hide? And Sephiroth? Wait, I can hear something. Help! Is anybody there? Oh. Uh oh. Help me. Is there any loot? Why doesn't the president's office have any loot? Oh, somebody's car alarm is going off. Do y'all hear that? We have our window open. Hey, Zeratul, to be fair, it's also speculation that it's even blood. Remember in the middle of the fluid was there as well. Could just be the containment gel or the effect Genova has when it walks. Oh, that's true. That's true, Zeratul. You heard it faintly, yeah. Somebody's car alarm went off. We have some windows open in our apartments. <laughs> You can find the best meals at the end of blood trails. I mean, what? I need help, but is there loot? That's the important question, Nexus. I always look for loot. That's how I find things. <laughs> Maybe there's loot behind the president's desk. Help 
No? This looks like the most uncomfortable ass chair in the world. What the hell? This chair looks terrible. There's no back support. It's like super straight up and down. That's not gonna support your back. It's probably really hard to sit on. <laughs> I'll help you if you tell me where the loot is. Looking for loot in all the wrong places. This is like the right place to look for loot. Help me. I guess we should go to this person. <laughs> How are you supposed to sit comfortably in those things? That chair looked really uncomfortable though. All right, I guess we should- <gasps> The window's shattered. Please help me. Has he been like hanging? Hey. We can't go out the window? I feel like we should be able to go out there. Okay. Oh, there's a door. Maybe I should use that. <laughs> this man needs your help. You hear loot crying out for help? <laughs> Taking our sweet ass time. I wish you go shopping. This is it. We got some stuff on discount. Oh. This is good. This is good. Sweet. Like we got everything that we need. Yeah. All right, now we can sit down. <laughs> this is important. Would be unsafe to cross the shattered window. Remember the movie Ghost. Oh yeah. That idea went out the window. Cloud learned about broken glass safety by watching a VHS tape the first day of soldier training. Yeah. He knows not to go out an open window that's been shattered. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you need help. Have you seen these prizes? <laughs> Discount. I mean, I'm just saying. When stuff goes on sale, that's like the best. Is anyone it's, a, out there? it's a bargain. Hey! We're, we're coming. Hold your horses. Hey! Please help me! Oh, he was hanging. Help me! Please! Is there any loot? Hey! I want to check the other me. side. Damn it! I can't go any further? Help me! <laughs> well, well, well. Pull me up! I'll give you all the money you want! I have killed plenty of it. Oh, Tifa. Ooh. Thing is, I don't want your money. Please. Oh, snap. Just let me live. Everything you want can be yours. I'm a man of modest dreams. Dropping you from 70 stories up would get me damn near to good. But not all the way. You want something more, don't you? More than this right here? Talk to me again like you know me. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. How terrifying. Barrett, stop it. Oh! Oh! Oh, this is tense. You're gonna get on TV and tell them. Tell them what you did to Sector 7. That it was you who killed all those people. Then, you're gonna tell them the truth about Avalanche. That Avalanche ain't Wu Tai or anybody's puppet. That Avalanche fights for the people, the planet, that we fight to hold Shinra to account for its crimes. That is Avalanche, the filthy sewer rats who brought down a Goliath. You tell them that. Is that really all you want? For your names to be cleared? 
that is what matters most to you? More than shutting down the reactors? Than the future of the planet itself? Huh? Damn. You're lying to yourself even now. All the, the truth, golden gun! Justice, honor, freedom. Vain indulgences everyone. Picture it. Picture a world without Shinra. Without Mako energy. A stagnant, impotent world. Now picture a natural disaster. Who would help the people? Help them recover and rebuild. You? With their old world ruined, will they thank you for the new? I'm going to give you a chance. <sighs> One last opportunity to consider what your principles are truly worth. But bear in mind that time is of the essence. And what about you, Mr. President? What are your vaunted principles? What principles? Did you understand even a single word of what I told you? I know what I want, and I take it. I take advantage of whatever I can, and discard that which I cannot. There is no room for sentiment or guilt. <clears throat> oh, I saw this coming. Like in the original. Except we actually see it here. Because in the original, you don't see this. I knew it! What? Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, wait. What is this? That's a plot twist. You fucking kidding me, you? That's a fucking twist. That's right. Change it. Change it. Undo. Control Z. Control Z. Undo that shit. These whispers are here to control Z this shit. That's creepy. Wow. Wow, that's creepy. This is... The source of everything. <laughs> oh, what the heck? Oh gosh. Um, this was fast. Oh, Genova, that's right. I forgot you fight Genova at this part in the original game. Okay, I need to react real quick. Control Z, that's why they didn't put Baird in the party. Motherfucking game. I was excited because they were all like, Tifa joined your party, Aerith joined your party, Barrett joined your party, and I thought you could switch. That's why they didn't let you have Barrett. Because they were going to fucking do that. Oh my god. So, okay, in the original, if you're wondering, in the original game, President Shinra does die by Sephiroth, but you don't see it. Sephiroth. I put that in quotes because it's not actually Sephiroth. But you don't see it. You only walk into it after the fact. But what? That was a lot of stuff. Wait, you don't? You don't fight Jinova till Junon originally. Is my memory that bad? I thought we did. Anyway, whatever. We're fighting, we're fighting Jinova now. But shit, I, that was... Okay, I, I'm gonna... Cloud, do stuff. Triple slash, go. Just punch! Punch that tentacle! Go for the other one. Oh, I'm... T really? Me to Isuna. Tifa, are you, are you, are you back? Tifa's turn. back. Okay. Aerith, Cloud, triple slash. Oh, no, you should probably do... I don't know, counter stance? Come on. Aerith! Oh, you need two ATBs. What is cast aside? I don't like that. I'll show me what 
you can do. What's going on? Woo! What was that? Wait, wait. Oh, that hurt. Cloud, heal me. One more shot. Vengeance. Don't know what's going on. Cloud. Um, blade burst. Oh, there's more tentacles again. Oh no, I'm stopped again. That's annoying. I'm just gonna wait. Just beat up the tentacles. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm about to die. Holy shit. Other tentacle. Cloud is stopped. Beat up the tent or not. Wow, this is annoying. Chop it off! Just chop it off! Go, 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 go. Cloud. Wait, that's the wrong one. Wait, we can summon! Do we want Ifrit? I'm gonna summon Ifrit. We're gonna do it. Last time I kept You're summoning up. summons that would heal the enemy. <laughs> <laughs> we got this! Well, I was gonna do that. We can do a summon ability. Crimson Dive. Go. Ow! Stop it! I'm getting, like, bitch slapped. Pretty hard. What is this rejection? Or not. I swear. It's like a it's like a trap. It like it tries to draw you in and shit. Summon ability. Crimson dive. Go. Should probably back off a little. Actually. Actually, we're gonna regen this. Magnify region, let's go! I don't really know how to get in there. Do I go in this way? Do we just punch it? Oh gosh! That's a scary face. Tentacles! Oh, they're coming out of the ground! Oh god, beat up the tentacles! Can we target the tentacles? How does this even work? Target tentacles! Punch these things! Where are all the tentacles at? Tentacles! Yeah, this music's really good. Oh, this is the Genova song, Slow Down? A lot of fire! See you soon. Go on. Wait, did that even do anything? Tentacles! Okay, Cloud, Aerith. Aerith, I want you to... Um, shield yourself. And Cloud... Cloud can blade burst. Get some tentacles up in here. Beat up these tentacles! They're weak to lightning! Or maybe they're just weak in general, I don't know. Why are there so many tentacles? This has to be it. Alright, let's go! Beat it up! It's immune to all of that. Hmm. Oh, tentacles! That's the one! Okay, now we can beat it up, right? No, it's still immune. Tentacles! What the fuck? They're back! Alright, triple slash all the tentacles. Go. Go, Cloud. No! You've gotta be kidding me. Just beat up all the tentacles. Are we serious? Just. Aerith, heal me! I really don't wanna, don't wanna switch off the Tifa. Cause we're gonna just punch all the tentacles. There's so many tentacles, god damn it! We're gonna go through the entire alphabet and tentacles. We got up to Q. Was there a tentacle R? <laughs> Kira, Aerith. Tentacle P, tentacle L. This is ridiculous. I feel like these tentacles are respawning. Bring it. I'm waiting. There. Get him. 
Are you finally... How many tentacles are there? I think we've gone through the entire alphabet. Tentacle M. Destroy it. Destroy it. Why are you all taking so long? Oh my god. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. Beat it up. Beat it up! That's what I'm talking about. Punch the shit out of this thing. Uh-oh. Oh, acid? It's like acidic. Oh no. Oh no. Bring it. Aerith, I want you to regen me. Oh, clouds. Okay. Oh, we shouldn't be this close. That hurts. That really hurts. Holy moly. Oh, there's so many tentacles. Triple slash. Tentacles. We gotta go for the tentacles. We're back at the beginning of the alphabet. Left tentacle, left tentacle, let's go. Beat up all the tentacles, god damn it! Aerith. Wait, Aerith can. Uh, she can actually do something now. Maybe Thunder. Thundaga. Wait, did that just hurt all of us? <laughs> what? Aerith, you should heal. Hold up. Something happened. Alrighty then. I don't know what just happened there, but that kind of hurt. Okay. We have more tentacles to beat up. This acid rain, though. So I don't really know the strategy. I'm just going around beating up tentacles. I feel like that's the right thing to do. Cloud. Blade burst. Woo, back up. No. We're all stopped. Oof. Oof. Cura. Actually, just cure. All these tentacles keep growing back. Why do they all keep growing back? Cloud, you should blade burst the tentacles. It's almost dead! Punch it! Wait, what? Oh, potato sacks! All the potato sacks. That's right. That was a cool fight. Mm -mm. This is Cloud's nightmare fuel. Reinforcements are coming. Look at him defying gravity. I call hacks. But Barrett! Wait! The whispers saved Barrett. Yes! Barrett! Are you hurt? Oh, I'm so glad. Don't think so. <sighs> this death was not the one ordained for you by fate. <sighs> Red explaining plot things. 
things. Look at all our little Dementor friends. Hmm. Control Z OP! That was intense. Oh, we can't go back? Well, that was really cool. Do we need to upgrade? No. Just need to save? Okay. Hmm. Phew. Yeah, I'm glad. I'm glad Barrett's okay. That was definitely a plot twist. <laughs> I was like, no. There's 187 tracks in the soundtrack, Secret Boss. Damn. Red's a good lion dog thing. Yeah, I love Red. Hey, Dr. Wing, welcome back! I can catch up on chat after that fight. Ooh! Poor tentacles, they've done nothing wrong! Yeah, that music was dope! Freakazoid, good to see you, welcome back! Car Dr. Carlson, welcome to the stream. Thank you all. Yeah, that music is so good. So good! That fight was cool! Lots of tentacles, I didn't really know what I was doing. <laughs> I was just spamming. Basically spamming Tifa stuff. Seriously, there's no way any other game soundtrack should come close to this one when the awards come around. Yeah, for this year. It's so good. They did really well with all of it. Um, I was so close I didn't see the attack that was, that was stopping me. It was some sort of like dark cloud thing. <laughs> I eventually noticed it. How did I like that fight, Nintendo Geek? It was pretty cool. Um, I thought we fought it in the original at that time, but maybe we didn't. I thought we fought one version of Genova. Because you fight Genova several times in the original game, but I don't remember, I guess, the first time. But it was really cool. That was really cool. That was exhilarating. Yeah, it was. Yeah, the Genova fight's your favorite fight in the game. You usually don't like boss battles, yeah? I think my favorite boss so far... It's probably, honestly, the uh, Sortipede was pretty cool. That's probably my favorite. <laughs> As amazing and hyptastic the Phase 3 theme is, the first two phases are also very good and underrated. You felt bad seeing so many people online go, they ruined Genova's theme. Oh, wait, really? Yeah, that definitely did happen to Baird in the original. I was definitely caught off guard there. <laughs> the updated Genova's theme is, uh... <laughs> Fap worthy to you, Batch, you know? Never one called Dreamweaver. Ah, okay. But yeah, I remember we, we you do fight Genova multiple times. Ooh, a bench. Let's sit down. <laughs> Snowman Slushy, thanks for the raid. Thanks for the holes. Welcome. Welcome, welcome. Guess we have to go face. Kind of Sephiroth. Maybe? <laughs> yeah. There's a bench and a vending machine on either side. Is there anything at this one? Ooh, this one's got some sails too. Nice. Yeah, it happens off screen. I remember that, Dr. Wing. But yeah. Hey, Jedi cats. Welcome to the stream. Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going up. This is it. This is a long ass ladder. Holy shit. Okay. Oh gosh. Sephiroth! Oh, they're stopping him from going up. 
This is not... Wait! Yeah, it's one of the, um, potato sacks. It's not Sephiroth, it's a potato sack. A Genova control potato sack. <laughs> wow, that was a fast descent down the ladder. That's cool, we just got to see it in a cutscene. Huh. Genova's body's so creepy looking. I mean, that's how it was supposed to be, I feel. It was really good. No problem, Batch. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, the Sephiroth clones, the failed clones. I call them potato sacks in the original because the polygons for them look like little potato sacks that were just kind of throbbing and chanting reunion over and over. That's my little inside joke. I call them potato sacks. Oh, no need Everyone to apologize. Okay? You're good, Jedi. I'm doing well. I hope hey, you are too. Get your man. He got away. Huh. About time we made our escape too. Hmm. Oh! <sighs> Shit! Of course. Is it the Turks? Is it Reno? Shit. Or is it just Shemra? <laughs> sure you want to do this personally, boss? <laughs> yeah, it's Reno. Rufus! Oh! <laughs> forgot about Rufus. I completely forgot about Rufus. <laughs> I'll admit, I completely forgot about him. <laughs> Shinra, heir to the throne himself. Yep. Oh, he looks good. His 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 jacket looks really good. Cause in the original it was like two like thick polygons every time he walked. So his his actual his coat looks actually really good. His coat Stop. and pants. <laughs> the hell I will. We can finish off the family here and now. Take Aerith and get out of here. I'll buy you guys some time. I can stay here. Back you up. Barrett. I'm asking you. Please. Oh, fine. Have it your way then. But you better be right behind us. Wait, Rufus's coat says designed by Nomura? Really? I want to see that. Oh gosh. We're solo now. Bam! You're a soldier, aren't you? Which, of course, would mean that I own you. <laughs> Ex-soldier. I quit. Secure the others. This looks so good. <laughs> Just the two of us. Oh god, we have to fight Rufus? That's right, you do fight Rufus. I forgot. Well, maybe three. Oh Let's shit, yo! Don't say. Not bad. Okay, where were we? I see you. Try to kill his little dog thing first. Oh, stop shooting me! Steady. Come on. Attack! Well, I was hoping they would attack. God damn it. Here we go. I wanna take out his dog thing, but at the same time. Where were we? Ah. Uh. Woo! Juicy. Understood. Did y'all see me Did use counter stance? Not at all. You're making me sweat. 
good thing I can't bear. Flip a coin! Rufus is actually really cool here. Whoa, that's cheating. What the heck is that? That's a new trick. You like it? All that smoke! Oh shit. Okay, that really hurts. All right, first up, first up. Just so I can not deal with that. Ready. Ready. Okay, I <laughs> so much smoke. <laughs> Oof. 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 Ow. God damn. <laughs> Dark Star defeated. I guess this now is phase two. two of us. Can you stop with the coins, dude? Though Rufus is actually really cool here. Let's he wasn't this cool in the original. It's on for real now? Yeah. You should be on the Ow! How dare! Can you not? He keeps doing this fancy counter thing. Get ready. So ready. Keep it up. Can you not right now? I'm waiting. Oops, that obviously doesn't work. He keeps countering. Oh, this guy, I swear. What is this bullshit? Bring it. He's such a butt. I'm gonna try to cast some magic. Do I have anything? No. Nope. Okay. First off, I'm just gonna cast Mana Wall on myself. Bring it. Where were we? <laughs> Real quick. Can you not? You'll like it too soon. This guy sucks. I see. Whoops, I hit the wrong button. Of course. I did the wrong attack. This guy. Because I'm stopping him from doing his giant lasers. Alright. I think we can really only hit him when he's reloading. That's what I figured out. Well, that was going to be the case. This guy is so annoying. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. <sighs> yeah, we can really only hit him when he's reloading. So I'm gonna try to wait for that. This is a patient fight. We have to be patient. Fuck! This guy, I swear. Him and his fucking coins. I mean, he's pretty cool, but he's such a butt. Why did I unblock? <laughs> Just face tanked it. Ready? 
Rufus is such a butt. Hitting him when he reloads. What an ass. Spam it. Steady. Rufus is such a butt. That's why he has no friends. Reload. You're literally just gonna block and hit him when he reloads. Except when he does that. Because that kind of hurts. Damn it! I thought he was gonna reload. Combat load? I don't know what that is. Oops. Laser. Reload? Damn it. This guy sucks. Oh, reload? I want him to reload. <laughs> there he goes. Damn it. Why is he such a butt? Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna cast regen on myself. I wonder if I can do this. Yolo. Nothing personal. Well, this is awkward. Do we hit him? I don't think we hit him. Well, this is awkward. Rufus is too fast for Cloud. Rufus is too fast for Cloud. So we can have nice things. Oh god damn it. I missed my chance. Oh shit. I want him to reload, you know? Pew pew pew! Oh shit. Stick around. I'm waiting. This guy is such a butt. I think it wouldn't be so bad if I if I had magic, offensive magic equipped, but I actually don't. Cloud, I didn't use Cloud as a magic user, so I have like nothing on him. <laughs> oh. Damn it! At least he's less than half HP. Even after that, you would think that he wouldn't be able to, like, hit you. This is fine. So he always reloads after guns akimbo. Really? He was reloading. So if he does guns akimbo, we can definitely 
reload there. He reloads after that too, but this is fine. Whatever. Shit. Well, that's just awkward. Such a long fight. Figured it's about time. I'll just go ahead and cast regen on myself again. All good. Okay. Very long fight. Even though Rufus is really cool, I actually do wish that they had a little more um, diversity with his fight here because he counters everything Cloud does. I haven't tried magic, but this is such a tedious fight as a result. <laughs> For me, anyway. I'm sure there's more creative ways to actually beat him, but to me, this is hella tedious. We can get creative. Mr. Cuddlesworth, go! Heads up. I'm waiting. Ha! Ha ha ha! You want another one? Teddy bear time. Go! Oh shit, he dodged. Next time he does that tread softly, I'm gonna throw a teddy bear at him. Whatever. That's what we're gonna do. <laughs> Bring it. Okay. Teddy bear time. Cuddlesworth, go. <laughs> oh, we could have thrown another one. Think fast. Fuzzy wuzzy. Yeah, that's right. Not again. You'll like it. So he always reloads after after bright lights as well. You're welcome. Fuzzy wuzzy. Want another one? Fuzzy wuzzy. Heads up. Bring it. Reload. He's totally reloading. God damn it. You'll like. Is that it? Where were we? He's so flashy. Fuzzy wuzzy was a bear. I think Mr. Cuddlesworth was a bear. Stick around. I remember buying a few. <laughs> From Come the Colosseum. Alright. Molotov cocktail. Oh shit! I actually got hit by it. I was too close. Okay. No! Rude. Rufus is so fancy. Too close for that. At least we get some nice music for this fight. Steady. Steady. We're almost there, folks. Oh, we're too close. We're too close. Molotov, go. You're welcome. <laughs> That actually did a few things on him. Nice. Whoops. Oh, I should have let him do that. Ow! 
I'm just gonna regen again. Can I do this? Get wrecked, son! That took a while. Oh. I could end this, here and now. No, not quite. Tonight marks a new day. For sure. Oh, what a flashy escape. Did he do that in the original? He did do that in the original, right? Hey, hey, Wind Dancer, welcome back. Yeah, I couldn't remember. So that was a tedious ass fight. I'm sure I could have done better, but <laughs> that was the snowy way. Go! Oh, Tifa's so cool. Holy shit. Now we just gotta like swing him up. You gotta be better than this if you're gonna play the hero. <sighs> yes! Hey, Hamir. Welcome to the stream. I hope you're all well. Think they can manage on their own? You've seen them both in action. You know they can. Besides, <gasps> what was that? Uh oh. I, I hope so. Damn it. Hey, screw it. We gotta go pay. Hey. What, man? Oh God. Oh God. <laughs> Hmm, this is so action-packed. Jupiter, happy four months! We're 64th cool. floor. Everything's cool. <laughs> oh gosh. Baron! <laughs> yeah, you remember that boss? Yeah, from the original. I guess he's not supposed to go over there. You can't stop me! For Biggs! For Jesse! Tifa! And Barrett too! I'm sorry, Cloud. Just tell me that, that I made a difference. Did they knock him out? Through the window? Please, no. Huh. Jupiter, happy four Still months. In one piece. Yeah, somehow. Hmm. All great. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. That's pretty scary. The shield! Ah, oh, so annoying. Oh, it's gonna suck. Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Here we go! But uh, thank you Jupiter! Happy four months and welcome back! Thank you, thank you! Aerith Barrett. No rest for the wicked. There's a lot of action. Yeah, there's a lot of action. 
We gotta shoot the drones. Those drones have so much. Holy shit. for her to have a couple ATV gauges. Actually, she should probably just do Arcane Lord. Okay, I'm gonna have Barret. Maximum Fury! These drones, man! Okay, first off... Going behind the barrier, god damn it. Just a little shot. That was close. Oh. Too bright. One more. Regen on Aerith. Why can't I? Okay, homing laser. I don't know what this homing laser does. Oh, it actually goes through the pillar. Fucking cheater. Okay, I need to recast my arcane ward somewhere nicer. Fucking god. <laughs> we just tanked the shit out of that. Barret. Cura. Too bright. A bonus. Try to block the shit. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh shit, I'm out of MP. Fuck. Okay, this is fine. I don't have my thing yet. Lend me your strength. Shit, man. Oh my god. Huh? Oh, this is gonna hurt. Stop it! Face tank! Like a boss. God, this is really gonna hurt. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. Let the wind mm. caress you. Just gonna go ahead. Barret. Mana wall Aerith. Stay back. Hey. Alright. Spells. Thundaga. You jittery? One more. <laughs> oh. Face tank. One more barrier. Let's go the other way. We're gonna cast it over here. Let's On get this serious. side. Just, just go away. This side. Bam, 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 bam. That kind of hurts. Go on. Man, that thing is actually like way over there. Can't seem to get to that drone. I'm gonna try though. I'm gonna try. Uh, I'm gonna have him cast region. Region on Aerith! This is gonna hurt! I shouldn't face tank it, but I'm gonna face tank it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Thundaga. 
You jittery? Why didn't it cast twice? Huh? The fuck? Yeah. I want a refund. I should have cast that twice. Barret, um, oh, Barret should mana wall Aerith again. Spells, oh, I don't have anything again. Turbo Ether, let's go. Spells, Gundaga. Even though we can't really see it, it's kind of back there. All right, let's kill it now. Oh no, it's gonna get physical now. Great. Oh, we can go for the wheels. Hit the wheels. Go on. Needs more magic. Needs more magic. Don't shoot me, please. Why is it coming this close? All right. All right, Thundog of the Wheels. Barret, you should go and punch it. Need another ether. Huh, this is hard. We're gonna run out of turbo ethers. I think I gotta do that. Try using it. You'll see. That'll do. These wheels are like beefy as fuck. Why are these wheels so beefy? Okay, well, I guess I'm just gonna have him cure himself. <laughs> these wheels are so beefy. Just gonna aim for it instead of its How wheels. About that? Ow! Fuck. That could have been so much better. Let's put it here. That hurt. Get off my arcane ward! Oh my god. Barret! Oh, he really needs MP. This is like the weirdest place to be right now. You did it? That wasn't nice. Oh, that sucks. Oof! I won't let you down. Oof. Bless them with oh, your love. This and is hard. Praise. That's what you say when you see a tractor. <laughs> Why are these wheels so beefy? Alright, get back on my arcane ward. Thundaga. Oh, we can summon! Why don't I have a thunder summon? That would be dope if I had a thunder summon. But I guess we'll do this. Chocobo Moogle! Let's go! Barret summon ability! Did it once. Go on. Oh, I ran out. Shit. Summon ability. Chocobo kick. 
that we should probably have... One more shot. Barret, Ether... Firewall. I don't know what firewall is. Oh, that's what it is. Okay. Threat level critical. Oof. Oof. It's destroying things. Oh, great. <laughs> Oh, oh. Hey! Please don't hurt me. Try using it. Oh, oh gosh. Should have seen that. It's on my arcane ward. <laughs> it's on my arcane ward! That feel when you just want to use your arcane ward, but you know, enemies are on it. Oh, it's weak to it. Wait, is it weak to win? Oh shit, is it weak to wind? Oh damn, I probably should have scanned it. Maybe it is weak to wind. Barret! Maximum Fury! Oh shit! Thundara's fine. Let's go. You jittery? Hide. Don't shoot through this, please. I hope it doesn't shoot through this. Oh! Okay, okay, okay. Barret, give me an ether. Let's get serious. Oh, this is intense. Shit! I should have moved. <laughs> Kiraga. Actually, haste. Aerith. Kiraga. Aerith. I'll show you what I can do. Oh, that kind of hurts. Oh my God. Okay. Good thing I healed right there. Look, I should have blocked. That's awkward, I didn't block there. Stay back. Okay, 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 okay. This is fine. Pulse cannon. Uh, I'm gonna hold off. Pulse cannon, we gotta hide. We gotta hide. Woo. Might as well healing wind. Let the wind correct you. Might as well. Is it done shooting? Oh gosh, it destroyed the pulse cannon. Okay. All right, this is fine. This is fine. We're fine. This is good. Barret, maximum fury. Actually, um, can't man a wall. Regen, regen. Regen, Aerith. Just try it. Well, that interrupted me. Of course. That was weird. Block, block, block. God, that hurt. Well, so much for that. Shit. Barret. Oh, it's my last turbo ether. Thundaga. Go, 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 go. Too bright. Oh, God. What the hell? This thing has no chill. This thing this definitely has no good. chill. Any ideas? Take 
Finish this quick. Finish this quick. Oh, it's not moving anymore. The wheels are gone. Not this again. We can't hide. Barrett. Stop its attack. Barrett, maximum fury. Get him. Oh gosh. That was a that was an intense fight. Damn. Does it feel good to be alive? <laughs> that was an intense fight. We can still die. GG! Thank you all. This is I'm so absorbed in the game right now. Thank you, thank you. Quickly. You're right. Let's go. Ooh, first try. That Kiraga was well timed, wasn't it? That was intense. Welcome back, Cassie. Welcome back. We just defeated the, the thing with Aerith and Barrett. Happy Fate Adoptiversary. Thank you, Andu. Yeah, today's uh, the three year anniversary of bringing Fade home. Thank you, thank you. Did Red just sniff around? With his little nose. This place again. All we gotta do now is find the others. <laughs> Oh gosh. Here we go again. Yeah, this music. I love the soundtrack. It's so good. Oh, it's the Turks, I think. Or not? Oh, it's Heidegger. I forgot about him too. <laughs> we have them surrounded, sir. Yes, I can see that. It was only a matter of time. Here we are. <laughs> so then, what is this ragtag group of misfits I see before me? Avalanche! Local florist! <laughs> Lab rat dog. <laughs> Lab rat dog. And where are the rest of you? Up your ass. <laughs> <laughs> Charming, though not what I would have chosen as my last words. Secure the ancient. <laughs> But feel free to kill both the idiot and the dog. <sighs> Eric, you saved my Marlene. Now, it's time I return the favor. Wait! <sighs> What's going on? Oh shit! Nice! All the music's giving me goosebumps! That was like, wasn't that the world map music? Just now the music, wasn't that the world map music? Oh this is so cool! Cloud. He's so Oh this car! Oh my Everyone god! Can. It's this car! Oh shit! Oh that's the car in the in the original game. Oh for the motorcycle part in the original game. I don't know why it didn't occur to me. Damn, that's cool. Oh! Oh, so fucking badass. Let's roll. I think I just 
totally got pregnant. Totally. Cloud just impregnated me with that. Oh my god. So this is in the original. Okay, okay, okay. I'm pretty sure we see that car. Pretty sure we see that car in the museum, but it never occurred to me that's the car for the original mini game. Yo! Yo! I'm just saying. Just saying right there, okay? That was so cool. Why is Cloud so cool? Ugh. I've been all about Tifa this whole time. But now Cloud's like, he's up there again. That was so badass. Oh, bam! Oh, bam! There's so much cool. I can't take it. <gasps> Do we actually get to, to play? Is this the mini game? Do we... Sploosh. Hey, Dark Reject. How you doing? I'm just saying. <laughs> Emerging from chaos. Oh, that was such a cool fight. Why can't we take the screenshot? Home free, Red. I wouldn't celebrate just yet. Man, you need to lighten up. Hell, you might even try smiling. <laughs> 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 On second thought, maybe frowning suits you better. Oh no! Man, don't frown. No, I Look. think Red should smile. I love that. That was really cute. Chapter 18, Destiny's Crossroads. That was so cute. Oh, oh, oh. Are you guys seeing this? This is ominous. Did Heidegger do the Matrix dodge? He didn't dodge it, he was just standing there. He didn't dodge it, Cloud just timed it really well. This is intense. Wasn't that adorable? Red is so cute. What is all this? Are they careless whispers? So that's how babies are made. Yeah, Andu. This is an educational stream. Talk about Five Faces and Remake. There's spoilers you might want to put on your headphones. I actually really like Rufus's outfit. It didn't look this cool in the original. Something wrong, sir. <laughs> oh, Rufus can see them and Sun cannot. Oh, that makes sense. Look at all those belts. I don't think the original had that many belts. I see. Very good. The men are on standby, sir. Your orders. Bring them in. <laughs> Badge, please. It's like the whole damn building's made of them. Yeah. I don't understand. What are they doing? Who knows? Wedge! You don't think he got caught up in it, do you? Wedge... If he did, I hope he's okay. <sighs> They're coming. Who? 
Oh god, here we go, here we go. Oh, uh, this, this is it, this is it. Time to go. This music. Time to be badass. Round two. Oh, this is so good. I'm like speechless. Ugh. Here we go. Let's do it. Let's kick some butt. Unless it's just all cutscene. Which I'm okay with. It's time for a hug. That was cool. Oh, we don't get to do the mini game? Or do we? Mini game! Okay, okay, okay. For anybody who doesn't know, in the original, this was the first motorcycle mini game not the part that was earlier in the game so this is why it's so like making me grin so hard because the moment i saw okay the moment i saw that that truck the the car that team was in i was like oh because it had a very unique look and i'm pretty sure we actually saw it in the museum originally when we were climbing all the lights and stuff but it never occurred to me that that was the, the car for this. Like, it, I didn't make the connection till now, so... <laughs> Xenosaga had a lot of cutscenes. It's still one of your favorites, yeah. Oh, this is so good. So good! Hamir, your girl loved this game. You got to play it again soon. You should. Breathe! I'm, I'm just so happy! Like, oh, I'm so happy. Oh, Frenzic, thank you for the drink! You hated this part in the original, Cassie? You didn't like it any better in this? Oh. Yeah, I, I think this is uh, this is already my game of the year, Hamir, as well. But I haven't even finished it. Why are we so close to Cloud's butt? We're so close to Cloud's butt. Oh, okay. This is why. Come back! No! No! Go, 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 go! Whoops, I'm like... Ow. I forgot how to do things. <laughs> forgot how to do things. Oh, God! Let's go, let's go, let's go! Come on. Were they shooting me? Oh, good thing I'm guarding. Keep up the pressure, okay? Go, go, go! Fuck. Careful. Stay out of the line of fire. Go, 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 go! Get in there. Oh my god. Woo! Cloud's taking a shitload of damage. You're still doing okay, right? Whoops. Oh, that's way too close. Done. Ooh. Hopefully. We got down to like half HP on Cloud. Oh, 
snap. Nice. Nice. And let that be a lesson to you. Okay, we got more. We got more. Heads up. That chopper is all mine. I'll bring it down real quick. Bring it. I don't know what it's doing. Oh, they healed me. Nice. Spoil the celebration. There's more. What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing. Oh, of course. Of course. Of course. Let's pick up the pace. Where are the other ones at? can do it! So long. All right. Think we're good? Uh, what the? Where are they at? What's up? Oh, it's, what the heck? That thing? You gotta be kidding me. We're kinda in a hurry. Oh, great. Oh, that hurt. <laughs> I just face tanked that. Jesus. Painful. Fuck. Oh, ah! Where is it? Come back! Don't give up. God, that thing is so fast. I'm trying to accelerate up there. Keeps like running off. Don't give up now, you guys. Oh, those little droid things are back. I have alerts muted. Thank you! You healed your minion! Thank you, Shin! Really appreciate that. Thank you for cheering me on! Thank you, thank you! Oh, those are bombs! Oh, shit. Wait, they're interfering. Oh, maybe they were keeping it from dropping. This music's amazing! We got Did you know Kings of Leon composed the entire soundtrack? The As expected. Wait, wait, wait. What? Ow, ow, ow! Fire! Targeting vehicle clear! Ow. 
shit. So low on HP. Ah, oh, this is rough. Oh, my goodness. We can do this. Hopefully, we should take down the um. Thing. We can do that? I didn't know I could target it. We should hit. Oh. Oh. oh, this is awesome. Ah. Ah. Oh shit. Nice. Yeah, the whispers are like living plot armor. Yeah. You good? Now what? Cloud, There's more? You okay? Oh gosh, here we go. So now, they're on our side. The whispers intervene, not to defend us, but to preserve the flow of destiny. Destiny! Oh shit. Oh shit, really? Really? What is that bullshit? What? You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh god. Come on. Knock out these tires. Knock him out! Other side! Other side! Show me what you can do! Like, just tank it. 
HP, like holy shit. You can do it. Okay, that really hurts. That was a lot of fire. Man, calm down already. No time for you. Ah, uh, Cloud has like half HP. Cloud has like half HP. This is hard. We gotta be careful. Oh shit! Can avoid that one. Knock out these tires again. Let's pick up the pace. I keep switching. Shit. Woo! That's not good. Hey, fight's not over yet. Go for it. You show me what you can do. I was gonna die. Actually. <laughs> That's not good. Cloud's gonna die. Shit. Okay, that's... Hopefully it starts us at, like, the... Last phase instead of at the very, very beginning. A lot of people hated this fight. Once you know what to do, it's not that bad. Hey, kind dude guy. How you doing? This part was so frustrating, Cassie. You made it through the whole game on normal, but you finally had to switch to easy here because you could just not do it. Oh, yeah. It's okay. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Way to step in on that one, whispers. <laughs> uh, this boss fight's actually fun on hard mode, yeah. It took you three tries to get this thing down. Second time it had next to nothing left for life. It got you just before you finished it. Oh shit, that's frustrating. Hey fish, I'm the first streamer you've seen that's picked up the controls for this part relatively quickly. Everyone else you watched was on the struggle bus trying to figure out how to move around. Oh really? It's the same as all the other motorcycle minigame stuff. Chapter 18 is a block section of the game. No recording. That's why no screenshot, by the way. Oh... Start you from the beginning. Well, we just gotta get good. Kylie, thanks for joining us. How you doing? We're on the motorcycle part, Pickleberry. Don't blame the whispers. This is fine. This is fine. I believe. Oh, it really just throws you in.
Gets a little nasty. Wheels are back. gears up like that, I need to not be there. I took too much there. I should have backed off really hard on that fire part. Five hundred. That's intense. Every little bit helps. Oh. Oh. Okay. You can do it. What's it doing now? What's it doing? Oh, what is that giant one? Okay. Oh god. This should make you stronger. I gotta watch it. I'm waiting. Oh god, there's so many. Still got fight in you. This is ridiculous. No turning back. Is that it, maybe? No? I need to catch up to it. I'm waiting. Don't give up. Second to get that. fight actually I can see why it's frustrating but it was a really cool fight uh, it's so cool we sent red in there explosive yeah. <gasps> but he's not there. 
Yeah, it's super fun once you learn it. I don't. I can see why it's frustrating though. I can see why people didn't like it, but I I quite enjoyed that fight. Hey, Vaya, welcome to the stream. Got them skills. You just gotta see when it's like charging up that giant laser and then slam on your brakes so you can get to the other side. Cause oh my god, that thing hurts the giant laser. Who would have thought? Mama Bear Savage! I have alerts muted because we had a lot of intense stuff going on. <laughs> but thank you, Mama Bear Savage. Happy four months! How are you doing? Ooh, welcome back. Thank you. I hope you're well. Take out each wheel in its easy mode. Yeah, you take out the wheels whenever it like rears up on one, one side. You had to back away before it slams down because it'll do damage there. And then when it's charging up its laser, slam on the brake so you can get to the other side. And then whenever you, whenever it comes back from being staggered, it does the fire thing. So you just got to back up or hit the brakes. You're aware of brakes existing on vehicles? I know. What a surprise, right? But the actually braking there was, was super useful. If you don't brake, you kind of tank a lot of um, damage. Hey, Mama Bear, I missed you too. How you been? How's life? First time you forgot you could block. Yeah, it helps. It does help. You're going to skip it on hard modes on Jupiter? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what's my favorite chapter so far? Uh, nine. Nine was really good. Uh, but I also really enjoyed... So far, I've really enjoyed 17. So, 17 and 9 are my favorites so far. Cassie! Sorry, the alerts are still muted. <laughs> Sorry, they're still muted. But thank you. This button just appeared, but I wonder what it does. Happy 21 months, Cassie. Continue to enjoy your sub perks and those emotes. Yeah, ominous music. That fight was awesome. You don't know why your interwebs wants to be a booty right now. No. You can try resetting your router. We're going to take a quick break. It gives you a chance to restart your internet. But yeah, it is break time. Thank you all so much. That was so intense. Don't worry. We're not going to stop here. We're going to be back after five minutes. Uh, but we're going to continue. We usually take a break every two to two and a half hours of stream. And it's been about just over two hours since we had our last break. So let's do it. Let's let's do things. Yeah, you got to go pee. Yeah, good idea. You nearly forgot about blocking in your first playthrough of the bike portion. It helps. Blocking in general in this game helps a lot. I started doing it more once I realized that you could actually mitigate a bunch of damage by blocking. So... Anyway, quick break, folks. Uh, five minutes. Get up and stretch. Use the restroom. You know, whatever you need to do. Get some, some food, a drink. Uh, and then come back. Leave the stream running, though. I'm going to play some ads. So if you uh, have an ad blocker, please consider turning that off. But we are going to take that quick break. See you in five minutes, okay? Thanks for being here. This was so much fun. This has been really cool. I'm super happy with it. But anyway, I'll see you all in five minutes. Have a good break. Be right back. And thanks for hanging out.
Whoops. I didn't put the BRB screen up. Whoops. <laughs> Whatever. You could tell I wasn't here anyway. Oh, hey, Plexomatic. How's it going? <laughs> uh, thank you, Hotshot. Thank you, Batch. Thank you, 46 Racer. Thank you, Andu. Thank you, Shin. Thank you, Vinius. Thank you, uh, Shadow Scorpion. Thank you, Garad. And thank you, JR. Thank you, Frenzic. Thank you, Draconix. All the welcome backs. You're all amazing. Thank you, Freakazoid. Thought the wolf took over. <laughs> Uh, when is Faye gonna grace us, Frenzic? Oh, she actually just woke up and, like, when I started the break, that's who I was talking to. She was under, she came out of her cave under my desk. Then she followed me around when I was, um, taking my break. And then she went into Diz's room. So, she's currently in Diz's PC room. And he shut the door because he doesn't want to be spoiled. <laughs> Thank you, Raven. So you, she actually did pop up here though earlier in the stream. So you, she did actually show up today, but she, uh, she's currently probably not going to show up for the rest of the, the stream today. Thank you, Rastra. But she did jump up here earlier. You have to check the vod if you want to see her. I'm sure she'll be back. All right, so here we are. Um, if anybody just now joined us, uh, we just took our second break and. We're on chapter 18, things are intense and so good, and I've been like super absorbed in the game, so I might have missed a few people's messages. If I did, feel free to repeat them. But yeah, I was um, super into it. Thank you, Nintendo Geek. Is Fade being a butt again? No. She's actually been good today. She's been good overall. So. You're so excited. Need to say thanks. Gonna go ahead and make popcorn for the rest of this playthrough. That's a good idea. I should have done that. This was when the Midgar section ended in the original game. Yeah. 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 I feel like the next part's gonna be pretty much whatever, whatever's after Midgar. So. All the stuff after Midgar. Okay. We're gonna dive back in. If anybody's brand new, by the way, hi, I hope you're enjoying the stream. I'm Snowlit. People call me Snow or Snowy. Some people call me Circe. C-I-R-C-E. But I stream five days a week. I do a lot of action-adventure RPGs and story-driven games. As you can see, I'm on my first playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Remake. Um, yes, I did play the original as a kid on the PlayStation 1, and then about seven months ago on stream uh, as a replay just to refresh my memory. And we did everything. I think. We did both the weapons, Gold and Chocobo. We even did the Lucky Sevens, which I didn't even know about as a kid. So yeah, it was really cool. Um, so yes, I'm familiar with the original story, but there's still a lot of new content in the remake, so please don't spoil any of that. I don't even know where this game ends relative to the original story, so don't tell me, please. But otherwise, I hope you're enjoying the playthrough. and. Um, Welcome! I'm also working on my first playthrough currently of Assassin's Creed Syndicate as well as Tomorrow I'm gonna be starting some um, Animal Crossing on stream, so that should be interesting. But yes, that's the uh, that's what I do. We're all about chill vibes and good vibes and chill streams So feel free to hang out and hit that follow button. Hey Shomari, welcome! I hope I said your name right. Feel free to correct me. Rufus was a butt, so Faye told herself, I'll let him be the butt for today. You know, Rufus was a butt. And I'm sure there's a faster way to defeat him, but he kept parrying me. I'll have to ask you all for advice on the Rufus fight. Okay, once we get back to it again in hard mode. I guess we're just gonna go forward. Hey, there's a bench! There we go. Stuff on sale. Hell yeah. I love buying things on sale. Mosey time. Hell yeah. The Arsenal fight was annoying, but you love the music. All for the, the fight we just did. It was I actually enjoyed the fight. To be honest. I really enjoyed the fight. Because Oh, there is an elixir. I really enjoyed the fight because, um, 
it was different. But also just really fun once you got the hang of it, you know? Bench for the win! The Rufus fight's one of your favorites? I found it tedious. But that was just because I was fighting it in my style. <laughs> you know, you got your ice honey green tea! Cassie, you're ready! That sounds good. I'm a little jelly. Took you two hours to beat that? Oh, the arsenal thing that we just fought? Yeah, a lot of people were saying that a lot of people found it really annoying and frustrating. Do we need to do any of this? Let's see! Oh, we still haven't had Aerith learn this ability yet. Magic attack power. Actually, we should give her MP. She ran out way too fast that one time. Alright. Arsenal is the bear and Aerith fight? Oh, Arsenal was buried in Aerith, not the motorcycle fight. Oh, that was Motorball just now. I didn't actually pay attention to the name of the boss. Oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it was it was okay. I didn't I don't think I've had a boss fight that I found so annoying that it left a bad taste in my mouth, you know? Like I didn't have any bad vibes boss fights so far. Some were a little frustrating in some respects, but I haven't really I guess I don't really hate any of the bosses so far. Because I managed to get through all of them. Whoops, wrong button. I hit the wrong one. <laughs> Is the only way to beat Rufus to limit break him? That's what I did at the end because I got tired of smacking him every time he reloaded. That's how you did it, kind dude guy. You couldn't figure him out. Ended up getting a limit break and it took like all of his health. Oh yeah? Yeah, I got a limit break at the end. It probably would have ended sooner if I didn't get it that far in. Max HP! You never guard, Cassie? You didn't know how to parry, so the Rufus fight was also tedious. Yeah, pretty tedious. Even, even with the guarding. Though I guess I could have parried. I didn't actually use parry. Hey Max! Hell House? Yeah, Hell House was, uh, was a little annoying. But overall it didn't make me feel like negative. I didn't feel negative about it. There haven't been any enemies I felt that way about. Hell House, yeah, was a little annoying, but I managed. Motorballs from Battle Angel Elite are really? Really? Let's do magic attack power. Hell House was the most annoying, yeah. If you brave around Rufus, it staggers him super hard. Yeah, but he wouldn't stay still. That was the problem. He wouldn't stay still for me. Which is, I mean, I think I tried to do something. And he wouldn't stay still. And I got pissed off. Well, not pissed off, but I was like, whatever. We're at 70%. We'll eventually learn this. Alright, um. What else is next? Is that all I needed? Wait. Oh, let's double check, make sure nobody has a stronger weapon. Oh! Wait. Since we already learned this, maybe we should switch off. Back to hard edge. A lot of stuff goes down, though. Uh, we could do iron blade, actually. Iron Blade seems like the best all around for us to use right now. Everything else kind of goes down. He loses a shitload of HP. Switching to Buster Sword. Okay, I think we're gonna do this. Go back to this, because we already learned Counter Stance. Even though it looks really cool, and it has all the links, we really only need the first link, so... Okay. Just gonna do it. 10,000 HP? You have all the characters max level. He's only like 6k HP. I don't have 10,000. What are you talking about? <laughs> I think you're looking at the XP for Cloud. See? Cloud has... That's his XP bar you're looking at. Not his health. <laughs> I was like, what are you talking about? <laughs> you weren't... You weren't talking to me, Canderson? Oh. Wait, what, what? Who are you talking to? What? You can think of one side mission that frustrated you, Erekin, yeah? The one boss you were expecting to stomp was Hell House. She breezed past it. Remember a bunch of us were like, Nani? Oh! Oh, you thought Hell House was going to give me trouble. Did I do it first try? I don't remember. 
I don't know. I'm going to do Iron Blade. Just because we get more HP with it. <laughs> Didn't like it at first, Pickleberry. Became one of your favorite fights when you played hard mode. It made, it made you change your tactics, yeah? Still Big Bertha. Wait, wait, wait. These are higher. Oh, but they're melee, of course. We're going to stay off the melee. Yeah, metal knuckles are still the best there. She still needs to learn that thing. Okay, I think we're good. That was a really cool looking sword, but... Oh well. You actually went back to the Buster Sword for this? It just felt right, yeah? Rufus is young and rich and has places to be! Yeah, he was moving too fast. So... That's why you went with Buster Sword? It has a good balance between physical and magic. Yeah, but I don't have Cloud use magic much. So. It's okay. Yeah, that's XP. Yeah. Oh, I did first try. It was glorious. I think I've only died twice and gotten game over maybe twice. At most three times in this game, but I think twice. So many manual saves. I save a lot. That's just one of my habits. Some of you watching the stream probably notice you're like, she takes 10 steps and saves. That's just what I do. I do it in every single game and I make multiple save files. It's just a weird habit. I don't think it's a bad habit. I think it's a good habit, actually. But anyway. End of the road. Okay, well, I guess we're going in. Boopity boop. Plus, you get that cutscene continuity. Yeah. Hey, fry pan. Cutscene. Use Buster Sword at this point for the lore. Do you think that's what we should do? <laughs> now I'm like second guessing myself. I don't have enough slots. I need more holes. Slots. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. Okay. I mean, you know what? I'm just I'm just gonna leave it. I don't know. I'm gonna lose all my materia. What do we have equipped? Hold on, hold on, hold on. What do we have equipped? What do we have equipped? Steel and parry. Oh, that's fine. Okay, let's go back to, to Buster Sword. Here we go. At least we keep these. Okay. I'm just saying. God damn it. We only ever use one save slot. It's strange to see that. The reason I do so many save files is because um, I've had experience with save files getting corrupted. And then you lose your progress, so. This music's scary, it's ominous. Hey, Fate Breaker. The Chronic Saver, yeah, Vio, I save a lot. GG on saves, you saved after every major choice, like stairs or elevator, yeah. I saved any time I changed anything, so. Andy, I'll be proud of you. The other day, you thought you lost 30 minutes of progress in the game you were playing, then you went back and reloaded it. You popped a save without even thinking about it three minutes prior. Hell yeah! That's what I'm talking about. My buster sword has bad magic? What does that mean? What do you mean bad magic? What bad magic? I haven't used the buster sword in a while. Oh, low magic. Yeah, I hadn't used it in a while. And I don't have enough uh, materia slots. Yeah, play your way. Exactly. This is fine. This is one of the more iconic scenes, isn't it? Usually there's a sunset. Did we miss the sunset? I think we missed the sunset. I'm just gonna point that out. I must suspect it different. Yeah, probably. Nostalgia Buster Sword. Yeah, I don't use much magic in battle. The only one that really uses magic is Aerith. For me, everybody else just punches or shoots. What's everybody staring at? Okay, here we go then. Why is the camera twitching? <laughs> I think that was me. Wait! Do we have to fight?
Okay, asshole, let Don't. And you, you're wrong. Hmm. Those who look with clouded eyes see nothing but shadows. Everything about you is wrong. All born are bound to her. Should this world be unmade, so too shall her children. The world won't end today. For you. You will. Well, bye. Oh, gosh. Listen. Destiny comes. What's happening? Ooh, what? Wait. Are we in another timeline? What is... What is he doing here? We drag our asses all this way. And this is the welcome we get. What? What? Something's going on. What? Boy, oh boy. The price of freedom is steep. I don't believe this. Some, some, I think we just jumped timelines or something. What? Embrace your dreams. And whatever happens, protect your honor as a soldier. This is it's freaking Zack Fair. I don't get it. That has to have been a different timeline. Except he saw this from the outside. I don't get it. This is so good. Oh, this is so good. I'm getting goosebumps again. Zack! Yeah, he's really cool, but that's the thing. I never played Crisis Core. I never got a chance to. But you don't really see Zack in the original Final Fantasy VII. Not much, anyway. Other than through cutscenes. This is the point of no return. Destiny's Crossroads. Then why did you stop me? I'm not really sure. What will we find on the other side? Freedom. Freedom! Boundless. Terrifying freedom. Like a great, never-ending sky. What you heard just now were the voices of the planet. 
those born into this world, who lived and who died, who returned, are howling in pain. Because of him, Sephiroth? They... their words... they don't reach him. All these moments and memories, precious and fleeting, they're like rain rolling off his back. And when they're gone, he won't cry or shout or anything. He'd tell you that he only cares about the planet, that he'd do everything in his power to protect and preserve it. But this isn't the way it's supposed to be. There's no greater threat to the planet than him. Sephiroth has to be stopped. He has to be. And that's why... I'm asking you to help me. I know that together, we can do this. But if we do... We'll be changing more than fate itself. If we succeed, if we win, we'll be changing ourselves. I guess... Maybe... That's why I hesitated. Oh! 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 Hey, Penguin. All oh, the music's so good, isn't it? Don't laugh! I was absorbed in the moment, goddammit. You said it yourself. He has to be stopped. And frankly, I've heard enough howling for a lifetime. We going in? Oh, we're going in! Destiny's Crossroads. When you cross the barrier of whispers, strange and terrible things may be waiting on the other side. Before making the leap, make sure that your party is well rested and well stocked with equipment and materia. The vending machine back on the expressway will have everything you need. Let's go double check. Doesn't hurt to double check. Double checking time! Don't mind me! Yes. Oh, that's cool. Time to buy things. Uh, I'm gonna buy a lot of these. I feel like we're gonna need a lot. Cause I'm gonna run out of mana. I'm gonna run out of MP, like all the time. We have 56 Phoenix Downs, all right. Might as well buy a few remedies. Just in case. Buy some remedies. Got enough Phoenix Downs. I think we need more ethers. That's weird only that you buy so much at a time. Alright. We got enough mega potions. This should be enough. Alright. Vending machines are the real heroes. Yeah, pretty much. I think we're good. Mm -mm -mm. Plot jump square, jump square, <laughs> jump scare. <laughs> How does she know this? That's the question. I feel like with Aerith's connection to the planet, she ends up hearing a lot and knowing a lot, you know? All right, this is it. Is there loot? I know, right? <laughs> How did I end up in front of this vending machine? They're the real heroes. Thank you. We got this. We got this! Take care, Plexomatic! Thank you all! Thank you all so much! Here we go! Oh, we should talk to everybody. Cloud, we should go. Do I get to choose my party? Nobody's in my party! So if we go through that thing, there's no coming back. Into the very anus of the world! Is it our destiny? Defy destiny? It's an interesting question. That's super meta. Thank you, Cloud. Whatever happens, 
We'll be okay, as long as we stick together. Thank you, Cloud. The Hollywood has more than one line. If we wait any longer, I don't know. Cloud, we should go. I gotta see everybody's second line. I don't know what kind of freedom we're buying, but I know it'll cost us. Okay. Will there be whispers on the other side? Maybe. Is it our destiny to defy destiny? It's an interesting question. I really like red. Okay, let's go. Let's do things. I'm walking in. Ready? Yes. Did I save already? I mean, I guess I should. Then I get to sit on the bench. I'll save here. <laughs> I'll save here. Is it our destiny to play Destiny? Is it our destiny to listen to Destiny's Child? Just want to say you're happy you found the stream over five years ago, Galradin. It's given you so much and made your life a lot better. Aww. Thank you, Galradin. We're, we're so happy to have you. Thank you, thank you. We love you too. Ray got an A plus in philosophy. <laughs> Ready? All right, we're going in. Yes. Never tried to challenge destiny. This could well be her last line of defense. It won't be easy. Let's go. Let's go. This is such a cool shot. Of all five of them walking in. Is Barrett not going? Wouldn't be the first time I spit in Destiny's eye. Whether you can see the scenes or you can't, doesn't change that she's always trying to have it her way. The music! Daddy's coming home real soon, honey. Aww. He's thinking of Marlene. Singularity. Do it for Marlene. <laughs> Don't know about you, but looks normal to me. Or does it? Totally not normal. like a a twister like a tornado maybe oh gosh oh gosh what will our heroes do air is red everybody's flying oh gosh gonna fight in a tornado? That'd be pretty cool. Oh, there's like no gravity. What? 
We're in space! Oh, that's a really cool shot of Midgar. This is totally normal. Typical Tuesday, let me tell you. Just a typical Tuesday in Midgar. Oh, that's a hand. Oh, gosh. What is this? This was not in the original game. It's, it's so cool looking, though. And it's purple. It's probably made out of Genova's jelly. It's made out of Genova's grape jelly. Oh. Well, this doesn't look good. Huh? I don't think this is normal. I don't get how we're supposed to stop such a giant thing. <laughs> Oh, okay. Sure. Let's go. Bring it. Whoops. Ooh. Ow. Oh, this is actually really cool. This is so cool. Reunited. Let's go. No way, Looks really? Looks a lot more like an arbiter of fate than the others. We can beat them. Interesting. Oh gosh. It's like little versions of it. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's like, there's three of them. Orange, orange, uh, green, and uh. red? Okay. Keep it together. Tifa! There we go. Okay, Cloud should triple slash. Ow! Cloud should triple slash again. Barret! Maximum Fury! Take out the red one. Oh, that's not the red one. Wait, what is this? Ooh, something's going on. Where's the red one? Whatever. Let's we'll just take out this one. Cloud, give me regen. Ooh. Wait, 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 did we already kill the other one? This is the only one left? Really? Barret, maximum fury. Oh, there's two left. What is this? Correction. Stop it. Oh, what is going on? Do we block? Oof. Come on, that ain't oh, it's what? Okay, now we're. Is there any loot? Go. Okay, okay. <laughs> well, fine, fine. Just go. Just, just my, you know, stream of consciousness. Let's go. <laughs> well, I just, I'm just saying there could have been loot. Okay. <laughs> stream of consciousness. That's what I think about. This is, this is what it's like in my head when I play video games. You know. All right. Are oh, we gonna fight them again? Here we go. Ow! Whoa! That's really not cool. 
Triple slash. Let's go to Tifa. Ow, everybody and their lasers. What's what? Why does everybody have a laser? I think that hits all of them. I think it's the yellow one that has a laser, actually. Ow! Cloud, you should cast regen on me. I probably should have ATB boosted. Ow! Ow, everything hurts. Spells, cure, cloud. Where is it? What? Oh. Oh no! Can I block? Maybe. Ah, oh, we got this again. We gotta get out of here now. I'm just helping. I'm just helping. This is kind of kind of insane. Oh shit! Oh shit! That's like its hand, I think. Yeah! Oh, that's really cool. Oh, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. This is stressful. Alright. Let's do this again. Don't overdo it. I got it. We can do better. Hang in there. Oh shit. Barret, you should honestly mana wall me. Oh, I should have true strike. Staggered. Oh, nice. We did some damage. Not bad. Cloud. Uh. Blade burst. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. Oh, did it lose its arm? Oh, shit. That was cool. All right. Did we do it? Just the arm. Hey. Uh oh. that scene it's that scene what the hell did I just see the future oh <gasps> did we just we fail here today oh <gasps> if you played the original you know what that scenes from and when it occurs yo the heck Did it just grow it back? That's cheating. Our enemy's a hacker. Oh, these guys just don't give up, do they? <laughs> they really don't give up. Damn. How do we stop these things? Well, the big one is way over there. However, these guys are right here. Destroy them. Tifa left the party. But why? Ow. Regen. All right. Please. No, I was gonna brave her. God damn it. Focus shot. 
Go, go, go. Stop shooting me in the back! Yo, 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 yo! Not bad, not bad. Barret! Focus shot! Okay, we defeated another one. Nice. Lose the other arm? Oh, that's a giant laser. I knew that was coming. Oh, 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 cool! I really like Braver. Can you not right now? Can you just... Finally. Barret, focus shot. Yes. Oh, this thing is so cool, though. Did I just hear my cat? Did I just? Yeah. Did I just hear my cat? I just heard my cat. Where she went. <laughs> uh oh. Oh. This can't be our future. <gasps> the future is always a blank page. Or is it? You're kind of in all right now, Batch. Right? This is like super, super exceeding my expectations. I say we split up. Take them down at the same time. In that case, Ultra Big Boy is all mine. Bring it on, bitch. Ooh, we just called you a bitch. What you gonna do? It's kind of weird hearing Cloud say bitch, though. Just gonna, just gonna point that out. Oh, we gotta go to Tifa. Okay, okay, okay. Cloud, Cloud, you should uh, triple slash. Oh, gosh. I can't see what's going on. Did I just get punted? There's a lot going on right now. I'm not even sure. I think we should go... What are they doing? What are they doing? Did they just become one? What? Oh, wow! Oh, that looks really cool! Whoa! They all became a dragon! Whisper Bahamut? Wait! This is a version of Bahamut? Oh, God. Can you not? Right now, can you just... Can you just not? Do we want Shiva? YOLO. YOLO. Oh, hi there. Oh, hi there. Yeah. When two become one. Are you doing Spice Girls? That was totally Spice Girls. Summon ability. Icicles. Icicles. This Bahamut has no chill. I'm just trying to do things. You don't Mega Flare. You do not Mega Flare up in this joint. This is not the time. Oh my god. I'm holding block. Whoa! That was hella juicy. Okay, Cloud, it is your turn to heal me. Ow! I can't even just. I can't even. Can't even. Can you stop? Bahamut's such a bully! Why is Bahamut such a bully? Okay, Aerith, um, it would be cool if she had her limit break, but we're just gonna regen myself. Okay. Can you just not 
Bahamut is such a fucking bully. I'm not sure. So okay, we might have to do this. Instead. Tifa cure herself. Or Tifa cure. Okay, Cloud cure her, whatever. Magnify cure on Aerith. This is scary. This is scary. Go, 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 go. Need more magic. Why don't you lead the way? Oh, yeah. Please, please, please. Kick its butt! Oh! That's what I'm talking about! God, I love Tifa. Oh, they're back! We split them up! Alright, Aerith. Um, she needs to regen. Regen herself. And Cloud can triple slash. Why is everybody hurt? Why is everybody gotta be mean like this? Oh my god, I just can't even. I like how I gave Aerith the arcane ward and then I didn't actually. Use it. This is fine! Well, I was going to do some star shower. Um, She should shield herself. Go, Aerith! That's the wrong direction, but good try. Good try. Yes. Yes. True strike. Go, go, go. Go, 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 go. Cloud, you should um, focus thrust. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah, come back. Okay, we defeated one. Stardust Ray! Oh, fire in the hole! That's so cool! They did their limit breaks! Oh, that scene! Oh, this is like making me so happy right now. The heck? The heck? Right. Wait, is it actually... No, no, they're not dead yet. Aerith, you should actually heal. Cure Cloud. Oh, oh that's, that's terrible. Okay, this one should die. Right, nice, nice. Oh no! Go, 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 go! Can you not? Can you not? Ah. Go, 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 go! Oh, this is so cool! Every time we defeat one, they shoot the big thing. Nice! Oh no! That scene. <gasps> they don't know what that scene's about. It sucks when the player knows, but they don't know. Think so. It totally sucks when the player knows and they and you don't. You know, when you know something the characters don't. That shit's the worst, man. Go 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 go. Oh, this is so cool. Oh no! Why would they do that? Oh! That just made me tear up. No! Why would they show them that? They have no idea. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go. Let's go. Go on. Can we even get up there? I don't think we can get up there. Oh shit, man! I'm gonna just like throw thunder at it. Maybe this will work. Oh, it's coming over. It's coming over. There we go. 
Cloud! Do I don't even know if this is gonna hit it, but we can try. Is this gonna hit it? I actually don't know. Yeah, Star Shower barely hits it. <laughs> what was up with here dancing right under it? It had like one HP. Uh, I'm hella impressed by that, by the way. Like, super impressed. <sighs> this cutscene, though, ultra high quality. Where are we? Squall looks like Titus. <laughs> I'm just gonna point that out. Squall, not Squall, <laughs> did I say Squall? Cloud looks like Titus. A little bit. His face. I'm waiting. Cloud. Huh? Yeah, names are hard. Everybody looks so good. What the hell is this? This is. like so many goosebumps right now. Tell me we're actually fighting. Are we actually fighting? Let's finish this. Ah! Oh god, here we go. Here we go. Fate is not to be taken lightly, Cloud. Shut up. Oh. He's immune. is cheating wait hell yes hell yes please join my party yeah Don't know about me. I'm glad you asked oh, I'm so excited you know it come on fuck fuck well that's awkward 
gonna face tank that. Uh... Oh god, that's all good. Don't mind me just healing myself in the middle of this. I'm gonna have her cast regen again on Cloud. Just to refresh it. Never mind, it's already on him. Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? Are you gonna do it? I dare you. Yo! Get wrecked, son. Wait, wait, he kinda hit me too. I see you. Oh, it hit me. How dare. No holding back. Here we go. This music doll. Okay. Try me. Do you dream of me? Uh... He's so close to being staggered. Oh my god, he's so close to being staggered. Let me break! Let me live it break! <sighs> We're almost there. We're almost there. He needs to stop cheating! Sephiroth, please! You're getting so many goosebumps. Oh my god. So many goosebumps right now. Oh, the what is this? I haven't even started. Hold on, hold on. I gotta do this. Can you not? Did he just interrupt my fucking limit break? He interrupted my fucking limit break. That is fucking bullshit. Oh, this is why you have no friends. Oh my god. I am miffed. I am miffed. Mattis, thank you for the four month resume! Um, we're in the middle of a boss fight. He interrupted class limit break! <sighs> Happy four months, though. This is why he has no friends! God damn it! Can you just. Can you just not right now? You need to go heal, like, really bad. Kira. Thank you for taking care of you. Spam it again. Spam it again. Cloud. I want you to heal, actually. Aerith, you should, um, Thundaga him. Oh my god, we're just tanking all these hits. Enjoy. Everything hurts. Everything hurts. We need some ATBs up in this joint. Oh shit. Cloud, can you like heal me now? Please. Aerith. Oh, this is intense. Okay. Um, Regen. Tifa. God, this is hard. Okay. Face taking so much damage. Holy shit. 
Dead yet? This is such a cool rendition of One Winged Angel, by the way. Time has gone by quick matters. Thank you! Happy four months. I'm super absorbed in the game because this is the uh the final boss. <laughs> Cloud, please heal me. Aerith, summon the chocobo and the moogle! Time to Sorry, break some immersion you know and bring some cuteness. <laughs> this final boss fight could use some cute. It's a chocobo butt. That's a chocobo butt. Do y'all see the chocobo butt? Oh gosh. Come here! Stop it! Oh! Oh my god. Here goes. Ah. Just had to switch characters and Welcome back. Welcome back. Phase like 10? I don't even know what phase we're on. We can do this. We can. We can change it. Make it right. Is he just throwing them at us? How does he control them? Oh, this is so cool! It's like a montage. Montage? Kind of? With all the characters? Max, thank you for the 500 birdies! Holy shit! Thank you! Oh, it's bright. Avengers assemble! <laughs> that bit timing. Don't worry, you didn't miss anything there. It was just a far away shot. The falling in space? lies ahead does not yet exist batch <laughs> get out will become a part of it one day but I will not end nor will I have you end this is The edge of creation. Cloud, lend me your strength. Let us defy destiny together. I'm getting so many goosebumps. <laughs> Never. Final phase. Oh, this is so good. Oh, this is so good. So many goosebumps. Why are we so fast? I'm so glad we switched to the Buster Sword, actually. Not yet. <gasps> Seven seconds till the end. Time enough for you, perhaps. Lips. But what will you do with it? 
Let's see. You could almost kiss. That was really cool. Oh. Got so many goosebumps. I'm in goosebump land. Rufus and all his belts. Mr. Vice President. Did I notice the music? What was the music? <laughs> Mr. President. Oh, yes. Forgotten Capital? <laughs> really? Forgotten yeah. City stuff. Yo! It's been a while since I heard the Forgotten City music, though. So it didn't immediately ring a bell. I feel like I have to rewatch my VOD. <laughs> Just to rewatch all of this. <laughs> Just like his dad. His dad did that pose. Oh, I forgot about Hojo, actually. And all that excitement! I forgot about Hojo. I also just went ahead and paused alerts. So even if they go through, they won't show up until I unpause them later, just to let you all know. Zach! Okay, this is what confuses me the most. Wait. Was that all of them? This has to be like a past timeline. I'm missing a lot of comments, Cassie. I'm sorry. Did you see that? I'll, I'll catch up in a second. Keep getting goosebumps. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I've never gotten goosebumps this like frequently in a, such a short amount of time. Oh. Here. Thank you. An angel. Yeah, goosebumps. I have so many goosebumps. Does this mean Zach lives? I think we'll have to find out. I don't know. There's there's so much. There's so much. Wait. What? Ooh, what? Wait. What about Jesse? What? 
Marlene. Coming. I keep getting goosebumps. Oh my god. Oh my god. Daddy? This is so bad. I get, I get so many goosebumps right now. Marlene! Baird has such pretty eyes. I'll come back. So, what now? Oh, that was Jesse's glove on the table. So they're actually alive? This changes so many things. Sephiroth. As long as he's still out there, I... I thought you beat him! We can. We will. Count me in. Everybody looks so good. If it's to be a hunt, you could use a nose like mine. He's so fluffy. Red is so fluffy. I'm in too. Bastard wants to destroy the whole planet, doesn't he? An enemy of hers is an enemy of Avalanche. <sighs> oh, I keep getting goosebumps. This is terrible. And awesome at the same time. It feels weird, but it's so awesome. Okay, so that's totally part of the past. This is part of the past. Almost there, Cloud. We're almost there. Okay, so it is the past. Oh, I just got goosebumps again. Ah. I miss it. The steel sky. I would be alone. Zach used to be Aerith's boyfriend for anybody who doesn't get why. The unknown journey will continue. Time after time. <sighs> so many goosebumps. And there you be. <laughs> I didn't think I could have this many goosebumps. Oh my god. I have, there's, that was a lot of awesome to take in within the span of like an hour and a half or two. Frenzik! Oh, sorry, hold on. I had the alerts paused. There it goes. I had them muted there. This is the only, only gonna get better going forward. Thank you! Yeah, I have the alerts. They were paused for a second. But oh my god! This is, ah. Uh, I have a lot to say. What if they meet again? Thank you all. I need to catch up on chat. Mm. Thank you, Cassie. Oh, this was so good. I have a lot to talk about. We're gonna talk about it. We're gonna talk about that. I really, okay, so they definitely changed a lot of things, but it was so well done, right? And I, I do like the, the twist about the whispers. And what, what they're there for, because, you know, all along we don't know what they're doing until, you know, the later chapters. And then we had to basically fight Destiny itself. There's, there's a very big element or focus on Destiny and what's supposed to happen versus, you know, the will of the different characters. And I feel like that's a really cool twist to add to the original because they didn't really focus on anything like that in the original Final Fantasy VII. So I think that that's a really cool new aspect that I really like about what they did with the remake. But uh, that last fight was so good. Um, 
I mean, honestly, I was excited even from the moment they like introduced the familiar motorcycle mini game because that that's exactly the one we did at the very end was what was in the original Final Fantasy VII, you know. And so that that got me super excited, and then it just kept snowballing into more and more awesome, and I'm I'm just like, what? Uh, first off, Wedge better not be fucking dead. We don't know what happened to Wedge. It sounded like he got thrown out of, I think he was on floor number like 59 or 60 of the Shinra Tower. And it seemed like when he was trying to resist, glass shattered and it presumably he fell through the window. And that makes me very concerned. So I have that concern about Wedge. Uh, Biggs and Jesse are not dead. That makes me really happy because all along you, you assume they're dead, right? So that's really cool to find out. Really cool plot twist there. Um, Barrett getting impaled by Sephiroth. Okay, that that got me going, what the fuck, when it happened. Uh, I'm so glad that the Whispers decided to undo that. GG to the Whispers. Um, what else was there? The Rufus fight was pretty tedious, but he looks cool. And he has really, a really cool jacket, so I, I guess I'll give him an, an okay there. A pass there. Um... Seeing Zack was something that I did not expect at all because he, in the original game you only saw Zack through flashbacks. And I guess that was maybe a flashback, but at the same time it's not super clear. So, yeah, there's a lot to process in that entire last segment. Oh, hey Reggie, how you doing? Hey Elpita, thank you. What's my favorite chapter now? Okay, if we, if we exclude chapter 18, it's still chapter 9. But if we include chapter 18, then 18 is definitely my favorite. Because there was a lot of feelings there. And I had so many goosebumps. Oh, that was intense. And so awesome. You did play the original Final Fantasy VII? This changes everything. Yeah, there's a lot different with the remake. Do I understand why the Whispers were there to begin with? Yes. I mean, they're, they were... Red 13 told us that they're there to um, try not to change um, or try to prevent destiny or not prevent destiny. I'm trying to word this right. The whispers are there to intervene if something's about to change from how it's supposed to be. Like if, if something's supposed to happen or not happen according to destiny slash fate, then the whispers intervene if something's going to change that. So that's what that's what we found out. But I don't know if there was more to it. Did I notice the three whispers I fought before Sephiroth? I mean, they were red, orange, and green. <laughs> Am I supposed to notice something else? You hope they follow that theme going forward, Ardent Angel? Argent Angel? Yeah, I hope so too. It's really good. Leading man never dies. Yeah, Freakazoid. Ooh, I have a lot to talk about. I'll catch up on chat. Is that it for credits? I thought it'd be a lot longer. Oh, here we go. Oh. And then I really loved the soundtrack the entire way. That was such a solid... Oh, the soundtrack was so good. Am I going to play hard mode, El Raquins? Yes, I want to get Platinum Trophy. So I'm not done streaming this game because I want to get Platinum. I'm going to be working on it um, on stream. So, And one of the trophies is to defeat the game in hard mode. But thank you. They had planned for there to be a relationship between Sephiroth and Aerith, Nintendo Geek? Really? Really? Yeah, this entire final chapter was insane, Cassie. I've been... I can't stop grinning. <laughs> um, but yeah. I'm getting goosebumps again. Going forward, Cassie, we're going to see a lot of familiar characters and places, but enti in entirely different ways. Well, what's already immediately different is that Biggs and presumably Jesse and Wedge maybe survived. In the original game, they didn't last long at all. You you basically, as the gamer, developed no attachment to those characters. Period. And so that's already the immediately different thing that is going to change everything going forward because they're going to be there. So. What if this new version, Aerith gets with Zack, Jesse gets with Cloud, and then kill off Tifa? Please. <laughs> That's not going to happen. Hotshot, it's implied that by defeating Destiny, the Whispers weren't able to stop Zack from getting to Midgar. What? 
we were seeing one of two things. We were either seeing an alternate timeline where Zack lives, or we're seeing a new past, which will have unknown changes going forward. Just knowing that. Oh, that just gave me goosebumps again, just knowing that and considering that. What? I hadn't even thought about that. By defeating destiny, Zack maybe lived. This kind of seems to rewrite things for Final Fantasy VII. Looks like anything can happen now, yeah. The three whispers you fought in the fight before Sephiroth was featured Cloud Baird and Tifa trying to stop you. Wait, really? Thank you, Knights of G! I still had it muted. Thank you! You did 100 damage to Shin's minion. Thank you for the biddies! How are you? Those were not Biggs' gloves. Those gloves had armor on them. Only Jesse's gloves had that. So it's Jesse's gloves. I'm catching up on chat real quick. Hold up. To make sure this game plays out the same as the original. Yeah, that's what the whispers were for. But now... Anything can happen. The whispers are fans who get angry when the remake changes things. One whisper had a sword, one had a gun, the other uses its fist. I didn't actually realize that. Huh. Final Fantasy music is always good. I love the soundtrack. I feel like I just want to buy it and have it on repeat for the next, like, month. <laughs> You have a question for everyone, Pickleberry? What if the ability to save someone means losing someone? I don't know. There's a lot that seems to be changing for this through this remake. I hadn't even considered that about what Hotshot said, that defeating Destiny implies that maybe the past changed. Maybe Zack lives. And I think the possibilities... I don't know. It's just, it's just very exciting to think about because, you know, at least... I've, I've never played Crisis Core, and I know that Crisis Core is highly recommended, especially because it dives deeper into Cloud and Zack's relationship, and and just seeing what they went through together. Uh, I never got to play, but I've always been interested in knowing more about Zack. And and if, and I know some people might be turned off by the fact that this kind of implies that things could be different in the subsequent remake parts because, you know, destiny's changed, they defeated it, anything could happen, whatever. But I, I, I'm really excited if Zack, like, lived and that he, you know, I don't know. There, it's just very exciting. And, but I will say, though, the, I, so there's a lot of parts that are definitely going to be unchanged. Just the fact that, like, as we were fighting through destiny and stuff, we kept getting those, like, glimpses of the future, right? We saw some really important scenes. We saw the scene where older Red is running along the canyon after everything is over hundreds of years later. We saw that moment that, um, you know, that one moment at the end of disc one in Final Fantasy VII. We saw that. We saw what happened after that, right? Uh, with Cloud and putting her into the live stream and stuff. And then we saw, uh, what else did we see? I don't know, just all these glimpses of the future. So we know, I feel like, I feel like the game is such a tease because those moments we know happened in the original Final Fantasy VII, but the whole idea of them possibly defeating Destiny and changing the course of, of their fate is also a very plausible thing now. So maybe those future things as we know it may not play out. I don't know. I don't know. Um, I just think it's very uh, exciting to, to think about. I'm a little behind on chat, sorry. <laughs> Let me catch up. But I, I am curious what you all think. Um, the reason you say Biggs is, ba is it Baltier? I don't know how to say his name. It's because they both share the same English voice actor. Oh, I didn't know that. Uh, Door Jeep, welcome to the stream. Thank you, Shun! That was amazing. Oh, I can't wait to, like, replay this on hard. There's a theory that the Whispers are us, like Classy. We're basically breaking the fourth wall. Oh, yeah? Every Sephiroth we saw in spots, not in the original game, was post-Avent Children's Sephiroth. He somehow traveled back in time to alter events that led to his demise. The scene at the very start with Aerith praying in the alley plays a very slow version of One-Winged Angel in the background. As soon as he started altering events, the planet sent the Whispers to try and contain the damage. Ah, I didn't even think about that. Draconix, you want to see Diz's reaction to this? I really want to, too. Like, I really want to know. Ah. Yeah, nice of G, we finished. Thank you again for the 100 bits. The three Whispers are avid children villains. Kadaj, Yazoo, and... 
God, what's his name? I forgot the other guy's name. Are they, though? I don't know. People speculate who the Three Whispers are. You don't think they're future versions of the Protags? They have weapon styles similar to three other characters. People wouldn't guess unless they watch Advent Children. Wait. You mean Kadaj? Law is it Laws and Yazoo? Really? I need to rewatch Advent Children. Huh. The three whispers you fight, Max, are the three Advent Children. Looks like their weapons, their moves, how they summon Bahamut, and read their assess descriptions. I never got to assess them. That would have probably helped. Actually. Tifa is Bay. You could say this was a <gasps> remake. I see what you did there, Sidewinder. <laughs> Sorry, I'm super behind on chat, but I want to read everybody's comments, so give me a bit here. Smike, it reminds you of Radiant Historia, a game that has a Destiny theme. True history? Yeah, never heard of it, actually. You really want to start playing the original now? Cassie, do it! The original's so good. Now you see what the remake in the title means. It now It's now what we all thought it was. I'm, I'm excited for it. I can imagine there's a lot of fans who are unhappy with the idea that the story could change from the original. So, I don't know. Boundless freedom. Your earlier comment from a while back, Cassie, was, I hope we get to see Rufus sing at some point. He could really, you think he could really belt it out. I see what you did there. You think someone else is going to die, Sun Jupiter? What's interesting is that characters you thought were dead are not dead. That's what's really interesting about this. Nintendo Geek, you're really scared they would kill off Tifa. You feel like if they did, there would be a lot of fan backlash. Yeah. Oh, for sure. There's a lot of conversations and theories about that makes the next game more exciting. Yeah. Aerith did say that by doing this, they may be changing more than fate. They may be changing themselves. It's a lot to, to read into there, isn't it? And do this rando NPC in your Pokemon games complaining about how hard, how hard it is to plan meals day after day. And you're like, girl, have you tried meal prep? <laughs> Yeah, the unknown journey is exciting, Pickleberry. I'm catching up slowly. I'm almost there. Kind dude guy, a lot of people are waiting for the Aerith death, but you think they'll try to switch it to Tifa to make it heartbreaking again? They better fucking not. At some point, Yuna, do I think I'll play Crisis Core? Uh, I would like to, but I have no way to do so. Unfortunately. Argent Angel, maybe the whole portal thing at the end started a second timeline? Two different scenarios, maybe? Maybe. Because what's interesting is that in this game, right, you get you do get some choice, right? And some, depending on your choices you make in certain parts of the game, cutscenes you see later are different, right? I mean, like, some of the stuff changes. Some of the conversations and stuff change. So I feel like they may try to keep to that kind of some things can be different thing throughout the rest of the, the parts because it wouldn't make sense for them to take away that whole you know, feature. Because some cutscenes you missed if you, you know, didn't make certain choices and things like that. So. Uh, fan base revolted over Tifa's breast size. Can you imagine what would happen if they killed her? Yeah. It's more exciting now because we don't know. Exactly, Argent. Exactly. Someone would straight up try to burn down Square Enix's office buildings if they killed Tifa. I, yeah. <laughs> I could sadly see that. Mage, uh, Red said those flashes were what would happen if they fail. Ooh! Good catch there. I didn't actually think about that till now. And those flashbacks are in the original game. Huh? Maybe? I don't know. Oh god, this, this gives me a lot of, uh, food for thought here. Hey, Logzebi, yeah, Cloud... Cloud definitely gave me babies at the at one part earlier today. <laughs> Changing the course of your fate cannot come without sacrifices. But what shall we sacrifice moving forward? Mm. Yeah, I'm going to do a hard mode run because I want to get platinum. And that's one of the trophies. Just have to wait for the next installment of the remake. Yeah. God, I'm so excited. 26 years ago, Shen, you played Final Fantasy VI. Even if you were too young to understand English, it became your favorite Final Fantasy of all time. Confirm when you replayed the game in the early 2000s. Today, for the first time in 26 years, your favorite Final Fantasy game changed. It became 7! Obviously, the remake being so amazing made it a reality, but also the way I played the original and the remake. You had a blast. Oh, Shin! That's such a kind message! Oh! Thank you. I'm so happy. 7 is so good. And honestly, 
I I loved Seven to begin with, but now I love it even more. And I feel like I feel like it's gonna replace Ten as my favorite. Ten's actually my favorite, but up to this point, the remake is definitely changing my opinion. Cassie, you never saw Advent Children. You should watch it. It's uh, it was really good when it first came out. It was like super exciting to see everybody in HD. Wind Dancer, the credits are still going? Yeah, I expect the credits to be super long. It gives me a chance to talk about what happened with you all, you know? Kaza, you're in the middle of so many games! Well, you should still play it. <sighs> you don't know if you can truly call this a remake? Wait, why not? It's totally a remake. You watch the VOD of the talk of the ending later. Sounds good! Take care, JR. I don't know if you're still here. Thank you, thank you. Fighting across the multiverse is the game theme, yeah. There's a series of short stories by Nojima called Livestream White and Livestream Black that explain what Sephiroth and Aerith did while inside the livestream between Final Fantasy VII and Advent Children. They're super short, but provide a lot of context to how those two characters behave. Huh, interesting. Sephiroth gathered all the Infinity Stones! <laughs> Have I watched Advent Children? Yes. I watched it when it first came out. Several times. I haven't watched it in a while, and I, I plan to rewatch it uh, again at some point. So, but yeah, I did see Evan Children. I did. Still want those materia infused coins. Yeah. Really hope we see Cisne in part two. Who's Cisne? How many more games do you think they'll make for this? So, there was a recent article um, where basically they, Square Enix said that originally. A lot of people were thinking they were going to make three parts to correspond to the three discs, but they decided, it, honestly, it could be any amount, any number of parts. Um, what they want to do is try to focus on smaller parts, uh, especially because they, they really fleshed out and added so much more depth to so many parts of the original game that if they decided to, you know, wait and to try to squeeze it down to three parts, it would just take forever for the next part to come out. So... Uh, apparently Square Enix said that they're going to put out smaller parts so they can get them out quicker rather than um, uh, wait to do like three parts or whatever. So I think it'll honestly be way more than three parts. I, f I feel like it might be even like five or six parts. So, oh yeah, Roche. I forgot about Roche Pickleberry. Uh, honestly, don't think that even Cy Cyberpunk 2077 will be able to unseat this game as your game of the year. Yeah, this is already my game of the year. I don't even have to play any other games. I'm super excited for Cyberpunk and The Last of Us Part 2 and um, Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Like, I'm excited for all of these other games, but <laughs> this is, like, up there already. Ooh, if they kill Tifa, it'll spur you to write fanfiction where that didn't happen. All the warm fuzzies. You got to duck out for the evening. Take care, Scorpio. Thanks for being here. I'm slowly catching up. Hold up. Um, Reggie, remember in the original, you learned that the planet's actually a living being trying to defend itself. Yes. Yeah. Oh, God, Shin! Game of the year for you, too. Holy shit! Shin! Hot damn, those bitties, though! Shit! Thank you. Yeah, I should probably unmute alerts now. I've had them muted for forever. <laughs> Good night, Badge. Take care. Thanks for being here. But oh my god, thank you, Shin. You healed your minion back to full health and you splashed the bit cup. Game of the year. Yes. Oh my god. That was it's been a while. I mean, I've I've loved all the games I've streamed, but this has really like blown everything out of the water for everything that I've played recently. Hot shot I should say before doing anything else. Okay, gotcha. I'm still trying to uh catch up. <laughs> You feel like Syndicate's never going to end? You're getting burnt out? Wait, really, Cassie? Oh, that sucks to hear. But, uh, I mean, if you if you need to, drop it for a bit and come back to it later, you know? Go play Final Fantasy VII, the original. Correction, the Final Fantasy VII remake producer wants to put out many smaller parts, but it's not confirmed yet. Oh, good clarification. Big ups to the entire Square Enix team, Vio, and those who gave us such an amazing, memorable, memorable experience. Mm-hmm. That was so good. Ah, oh, Sephiroth couldn't alter history without the Whisper stopping him. He fed the party images of deaths and meteor and goaded them into defeating the Whispers for him. 
Now that they're gone, they can't stop him. That which lies ahead does not yet exist. Bonus point. Post-Advent children Sephiroth had already died to an Omni-Slash in the original Final Fantasy VII. In this game, Cloud tried to Omni-Slash him in the end. He easily parried the whole thing Sekiro style. He had seen it before. Whoa, that's deep. <clears throat> huh. Okay. They want to make a Final Fantasy VII universe? The fact that they don't know the exact amount scares you? I don't think it's something to be scared about. I look forward to each part, because you know they're going to do a good job, you know? I haven't played Crisis Core? No, I have not. I have not. As long as they don't cost 60 plus bucks each, they probably will. <laughs> I feel like this is, if they're going to be up to this quality and depth, I feel like it's worth 60 bucks. But I can understand that, you know, not all gamers can afford... You know, and that it's 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 tough. It's tough to be a gamer nowadays, especially with costs. But at the same time, I don't expect Square Enix to make it cheaper than sixty bucks. They're gonna be full fledged games, triple A titles every time. Triple A releases. Crisis Core is playable through emulator. If that if that was an issue, I don't really like to do emulators because, especially if I don't own the game, I prefer not to. It's a very gray area. Um. You'll reserve judgment until you see Cyberpunk Raven, yeah. For all we know, I feel like um, it may get delayed, but who knows. Now you're full of anxiety, Nintendo Geek, right? Uh, there's a lot. I don't know. I, I hadn't considered all these possibilities till some of you mentioned them about how things could change. And I think that makes it so exciting because everybody knows, at least those that played it, knows the story of the original and like for 23 years everybody's known the story and the possibility of it being different is both I think for many fans exciting and terrifying because it is such a much loved you know installment in the Final Fantasy franchise and I feel like I don't know I'm, I'm more excited than terrified but I feel like a lot of people I can see some people being very unhappy with the idea that things could be very different and that they could basically rewrite Final Fantasy VII with the way they kind of made things go at the end of this game. So, I don't know. I, I'm still very excited. But it is, a, I can see it's a lot of anxiety. I, I can kind of feel that too. So, this game deserves to be game of the year. Yeah. Wish you had a PlayStation 4 to play this, Reggie, but you don't. Well, you can always get it at another time. Save up, the, save up your money and get a, a PS5 or something. This game's a, a apparently also coming to PC, I think, at some point. Cisne should definitely make an appearance in Final Fantasy VII Remake. It would be the best time to integrate her into the main story. I don't even know who she is. <laughs> Hi, Richard. Welcome to the stream. You're worried that we have no idea how many games there will be, Cassie? How many years it will take or if it will ever even be finished? Oh, they'll finish it. I don't think, with, with how popular this went, I don't think they're going to stop. You know, this this has been overwhelmingly popular and did really, really well. So you feel like if they're this quality, it'll be two to three years between games. Yeah, I think so, too. Definitely worth 180 for an entire expansion. Yeah. Yeah, this game is totally worth 60 bucks to me. Um, but I can understand people's concerns. Um, It really is like you want to see what. It really is like you want to see what you want to see. I think you said want to see twice. <laughs> okay, <laughs> what happens? But you're also terrified because certain characters may not have main character safety. Yeah. 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 If the pre-orders were available for the next part, you would already have ordered it. That's how ready you are for the next part. Right? Right? That's why the ending was so meta. Aerith said on the other side of the whisper wall was terrifying freedom. Freedom for the writers to make something new. Terrifying for the fans that hope they don't ruin it. Yeah. Sparkles! Oh my goodness! 26 months feels what? totally surreal. Snowy having your friendship for Aww. so long has been such a blessing in disguise. I will never stop loving your face and will always look forward to hitting this button. Oh. You are the absolute best. No, you, you're the best. Sparkles, thank you for 26 months in a tier three. Holy crap, how you been? 
So much love to you too. I love your face. How you doing, Sparkles? I hope you've been well. Thank you for your friendship as well. I will never stop loving your face too. But how are you? We're discussing Final Fantasy VII, so I just finished the game. So just a warning, Sparkles. I don't know if you're if you're okay with spoilers, but there are gonna be spoilers here because I just finished the main story and we're like dissecting it. But it's good to see you, Sparkles. Thank you. PC is April 2021, is it? Did they actually confirm that? Uh, that's why the ending was so meta. Aerith said on the other side, yeah. Terrifying freedom, yeah. You hope they're super bold and go crazy with it, Angel? I'm excited either way. Because this was such a great experience. And even with all the new things, I really enjoyed it. And I, I'm looking forward to seeing how things change. I'm okay to change. Um... Of course, I really still love the original Final Fantasy VII, but I don't think it'll be a bad thing to see something different here with the remake. Kind dude guy, you get why people were scared for the future for this game, but at the same time, you can still play the original. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, that's true. Something that we have to keep in mind, Shin, is that if they do more parts, it would mean that the weight between each games would be less. That's true. Exactly. Freakazole, you're curious to see if Elena will make an appearance in the second part. Yeah, she didn't show up here, did she? Uh, Shomari, you're an OG Final Fantasy VII fan. You're good with this ending and possible future changes, but you only dislike was the KH copy boss fight. Mm, I didn't think the, the KH copy... I don't think it was really a KH copy boss fight. You mean, you mean like all boss fights? I mean, that it kind of made sense with the spamming of Square, but at the same time, there was some adequate variety. I know some people... I think one of the biggest complaints about this is the repetitive combat. I was okay with it because it just felt like I was kicking ass, which is always a good feeling. And there were plenty of people who told me that they struggle with certain fights and vice versa, where I struggle with certain fights that other people didn't and vice versa. So I think, I think uh, combat can be repetitive, but you can also be creative about it. If that's what you mean by the KH copy pasta boss fights. Draconics, you think the characterization of the characters are on point for this game, Draconics? You really loved how they did the characters. Me too. Me too. Cassie, you meant more that we don't know what the future holds. Any long-term project runs the risk of not being completed due to unforeseen circumstances. Well, yeah, but I don't think that's something you should hold on to as like your primary concern, you know? Like there's a very, very high, super high, overwhelmingly high chance that they will finish this considering just how well this first installment alone did so wasn't the original Aerith a uh, memorable scene about seven seconds long mage didn't Sephiroth mention seven seconds maybe he did mention seven seconds I was curious about that though huh first three days this game sold 3.5 million copies you're sure they'll finish it yeah they made so much money off of this <laughs> So they can do it. They can do it. Hotshot, your thinking is they're still going to keep close to the original story because part of what made this game so great was the throwbacks to the original that were spread throughout. Yeah, I think so too. I don't think it's going to change completely, but there will there will probably be some things that are different. So positive touch. You're just super excited. Your dude Zach is back. Or is he? We don't know for sure yet, really. Saget, one of the reasons they decided to start the remake now was that the original dev team is getting old. Hopefully they're all with the company till the end of the games. Yeah, I agree. As long as they don't kill Tifa, right? Oh, it's on the cover box. Time exclusive expires April 2021. Okay. GG, Vio, you're excited to see my hard mode playthrough. Yes, we're going to do it once I catch up on chat. But this has been really good discussion because I really wanted to chat about it. So... Uh, Cisne was a Turk in Crisis Core. Probably one of the f your favorite characters from the game. Oh, okay. All right. You wonder how they put the other characters that join your party in the next game? We weren't able to switch characters at all. Like we did in the original. So, be cool to see that. Sparkles, you had a really rough week last week and a half. Work stress has been worse than it's ever been. Oh, shit. Haven't been talking to anybody. You've been avoiding social interaction. Easy enough with social distancing happening. You really just needed to be around people you love tonight. You don't care about spoilers. Oh, we love you, Sparkles. I'm sorry. Hopefully, we can uh, cheer you up a bit. We love you. 
And hopefully work gets better. That's rough. Uh, you're all for the changes, Pickleberry. This game is becoming its own thing. The original is story hold. The original story holds a place in your heart, but the unknown is OMG. Knowing you have new experiences, yeah. Will you be able to play as Red Thirteen in the next game, or will he always be a side character now? I think so. the The reason they didn't let you play him as a character and control him is because he was introduced so late into the game that it wasn't. It didn't make sense for them to like do that just for the last section, you know? So I think he'll be playable in future parts. But they didn't uh, flesh out. Oh my gosh! They didn't completely flesh out his, um, I guess, mechanics for this part. I'm sure they're working on it. But you can see some of the stuff he does. Like, he does aerial attacks and things, so I'm sure they're going to implement it. Sparkles! <clears throat> Holy moly! Hot damn! Everybody get some hype in chat! I'm never catching up on chat. <laughs> but thank you, Sparkles. You gifted 10 subs! What the heck? Gifted a new sub to Dave's Retro Basement, Tortacular, Neo Fit, Sparkwood, uh, Cinzia, 2 month resub to Last Dragoon, new subs for Crazed Fool, T uh, 18 month resub for TPG, new sub for Max Priority, and a 3 month resub to Reggie. If you just got gifted, give Sparkles a big thank you. Holy shit. Sparkles, thank you. And thank you for the host. You were the best. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, I'm so behind. Hold up. <laughs> um, as for Zach Blues, the with the whispers gone, he survived his death. However, they show a bag of chips floating in the air. What? What chips? Like potato chips? Wait, what? What? And Stamp the mascot dog was a different breed. Wait, where was Stamp shown? People have suggested this confirms that Zack is alive, but in his own alternate timeline. I need to rewatch this. Stamp? Stamp was shown? During Zack's thing? When the hell was that? I miss so many things during those, those cutscenes. What? Shomari 3 plus 1 big whisper boss fight. You loved Advent Children Easter Egg. See, I didn't make the connection that it was Advent Children. I'm going to have to like go back and rewatch my VOD for today just to see all this. <laughs> uh, Yeah, what, what Hotshot said. Yeah, Red was introduced late in the game. The chapter select says the 7 seconds refers to how long it will take for a meteor to hit. Oh, not, not in reference to Aerith. Okay. I should watch some theories podcasts to help me understand Draconics, yeah. I'm sure there's a lot of like theory dissection discussions about this. It's really cool to hear about though. Is there an option in the game to change the battle system to turn based like the original? There is a classic mode, Reggie, but it forces the game to become easy. Like the easy difficulty. If you have it set to normal, it automatically switches it to easy mode. So there is a classic mode, but it's not necessarily the same as what it was in the original but it's closer to how it was in the original there's nothing wrong with the the combat though you learn really quickly don't forget to go get barrett's weapon yeah we'll get that we will pickleberry i just i'm just trying to catch up <laughs> in terms of playability freakazole you think the same thing will happen with sid kate sith vincent and yuffie yeah yeah were you even able to change characters during the midgar part of the original Probably not, Hush. I don't remember at this point. There's a turn-based option. How would that work? So classic mode, from what I understand, I actually haven't played it, but it basically it lets the ATB gauge fill up before you can tell that character to do anything. And you don't have to move the characters around. They move kind of on their own, from what I've gathered. I could be wrong. I haven't tried classic mode. Urza, is anyone excited to play as Vincent? I never used Vincent in my original game, so I don't have a strong uh, uh, strong feeling about him right now. <laughs> but this, the remake definitely, because of how the remake did all the characterization for all the characters, um, I ended up liking all of the characters more. Like in the original, I never really thought too much about Barrett, for example. But I love, 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 love Barrett in this. So I don't know. It could change. I never used Vincent, though, in the original. Hasha, you thought that was a thing that started when I got into the wider world. Yeah, maybe. You're, you might be right, actually. Party! I'm catching up! Oh, I'm pretty much caught up. Uh, let's see. 
hopefully in the second part, Freakazoid, aside from Red 13, we get to see him play as Sid, Kate Sith, Vincent, and Yuffie. Well, we did see Kate Sith. We just didn't get to interact or meet him formally. So, also saw what you assume is Red 13's limit break when he and Best Dad Barrett shot at that big whisper. Yeah, it was uh, Stardust Ray. That's, a, that's one of his limit breaks in the original. He was on the chip bag. What? Right where the Zack scene started. It's pretty easy to miss. I was not paying attention. I didn't see that. What? I feel like I have to rewatch all this. Uh, for you, Nintendo Geek, who went to classic mode, you were used to the new system. You couldn't sit still and let the AI attack. Yeah. When you play classic, you literally just sit there and wait for your ATB gauge to fill. Apparently. <laughs> so... Play that, but it basically make a classic mode makes the game easy. Yeah, it forces the game difficulty to be to to easy mode, and there's no way to change it to normal. I don't think so. So classic mode makes the game easy, but you'll be able to give characters commands, right? Yeah, like the old older like ATB way. Cause in this game, there's still an ATB gauge that fills up and slowly fills up in battle, and you can speed it up by attacking or taking damage or whatever. And then you can input stuff. Once you have a full gauge, you can input stuff like uh, have them cast a spell or use an ability or use an item or summon. So. You're excited to play all the characters, Pickleberry? Even characters you didn't care for. Yeah. Yeah. Barry getting killed. You wonder if that was Square Enix's way of saying we don't know what's going to happen to anyone. That was definitely a plot twist, Nintendo Geek. And I... I was like, mm -mm, when that happened. But um, yeah, who knows? It's, it's very exciting to me because I didn't know that the game was going to take this direction. Like up to that point, before you got to chapter 18, honestly, before you got to chapter 18, you didn't really think that things would be that drastically and possibly potentially different from the original, right? As somebody who's played the original, right? So... That to me just kind of opens up the world, opens up the possibility so much more and really just changes the entire game for me. I don't know if you all felt that way too, that it, you didn't really like feel that, that possibility or all the potential until you finished chapter 18 and really sat back and reflected on it and thought about it. Like it, it changes everything. It really does. And I think it's, it's exciting. It's super exciting. 60 hours and 52 minutes for my playthrough. One whole hour. I mean, not hour. <laughs> I was like, 60? That's 60 minutes in an hour. Oh, whatever. I can't think anymore. Spartan playing as Yuffie is going to be hype. Yeah, I'm curious how they're going to portray her. A lot of people were concerned that Kyrie was going to be like Yuffie. Kyrie, the, uh, the chick who was all spreading fake news and stuff. I don't know. I should try classic. I don't really want to. I like the the new system. I mean, I enjoyed it. I played classic in the original. The last boss fight was so cool. You want to play that part over and over? You could, couldn't you? Blues, there's a fun Easter egg. Uh, not sure if it's canon or not. There's a character in either 10 or 10-2 called Shinra. If you looked at the old picture of the original employees of Shinra in the museum at Shinra headquarters, you see this character from Final Fantasy X sitting with them. Oh, really? Yeah, there is a character named Shinra. In Final Fantasy X. Yeah, I was flabbergasted. Zack distracted me. I didn't see the bag. So, you want to see classic mode? Oh, I wish I could show you, but I don't want to. I don't want to do it. <laughs> Basically, it's a sequel to Advent Children. You mean this is? Cassie, you hadn't heard specifics. You heard that the ending was insane. You kept wondering what was going to happen. I didn't even hear that the ending was going to be insane. I had no idea because I somehow managed to avoid everything up until I started playing this and we were all we were pretty adamant about people not mentioning anything about the end and so I I'm blown away by it honestly chapter 18 that makes you happy happy used to have a lot of time play time left oh yeah sparkles yeah my my playthrough I mean I'm pretty slow but my playthrough was nearly 61 hours with a lot of pausing but you know <laughs> You didn't realize until we started talking about it, you're interested to see where they take the story, right? Right, Nintendo Geek? You might still be in Walmart. That's a really fun segment, though, Sparkles. Speedrun! It's stupid late at night, you gotta go to bed. Galrata! Sweet dreams! Thanks for being here. Thank you for being awesome. I hope you feel better. I mean, not feel better. 
Well, anyway, I hope you feel good and go to sleep and stuff. Get some good rest. <laughs> I can't talk anymore. <laughs> I wish I could show you, but I don't want to. I'm just saying. Honestly, the new battle system is really not that bad at all. I really enjoyed it. They definitely upped it from the kind of action-y kind of combat system that they introduced in Final Fantasy XV. From the way you know of Yafi, she's mischievous like Kyrie, but she isn't a jerk. You know she cares for people. Yeah, she is a thief, though. And Kyrie was a thief. Hotshot, you have an Easter egg in the back of 7th Heaven. There's a picture on the wall of the interior of the original PS1 7th Heaven. What? We should go look at it. Yeah, but our mods were on top of that. Snowy mods are the best. They came out and said that they're still going to have all the iconic scenes and plot points, but they may happen differently. You're excited for the next part, Spartan? That's super exciting. I'm so excited now. Oh, I got so many goosebumps in that last part. You have 280 plus hours in Animal Crossing. Hot damn, Sparkles. I'm so glad you're enjoying it. I'm starting it. I'm streaming it tomorrow. Uh, people wanted me to. I've only I've only created my island. That's all I've done so far. <laughs> I haven't played since. So, incidentally, it was when you found out the ending to this, Andu, that you started your "I'm not going to spoil you" bitty donation meme. Oh, thanks, Andu. You love it, Hamir. Oh, this has been so good. You have to look up classic mode on YouTube. Yeah, I'm sorry, Reggie. I would show you, but I just I don't want to. I have to play the game on hard mode now because it's one of the trophies, and I want to get platinum. In a few months after you finish Final Fantasy XII, Shen, you'll play this game for the first time. You'll play it in Japanese. It will feel like a new game. Yes! Yes, I'm curious to hear your experience when you get to that, Shin. Blues, you just want to reiterate how mind-blowingly insightful live stream White and Black are. It helps you understand why Cloud matters so much to Sephiroth, why he told Cloud to run away at the start of the game, and why people became friendly to Aerith when she touched them like Marlene and Red. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. I'll keep that in mind, Blues. Um, your only hope for Yuffie Pickleberry is that they don't make her like a certain character in Borderlands 3 I didn't play Borderlands 3 I'm sure it'll be okay tomorrow yes Mike we're doing Animal Crossing on stream tomorrow you think you have about 160 hours in Animal Crossing Cassie that's without time traveling and without leaving your game on when you're not actively playing nice I'm glad so many people are enjoying it I've heard such good things I'm new to it so Please be nice. <laughs> be nice to me. Kind dude guy, you just got Final Fantasy X for PS4 in the mail. You're debating if you want to play that. Or OG Final Fantasy VII. You've beat them both before. Um, I don't know. It's up to you. I feel like coming off of the, the high of this game, I would replay Final Fantasy VII. You know who I'm curious to see in the remake? I mentioned it yesterday when we, were, when we first met Red. I want to see Bugenhagen. So in the original Final Fantasy VII, Bugenhagen is basically the one who raised Red. Um, or is kind of like a father figure to Red. And he floats around on his like... I don't even know what it is. It's like he... he I don't think he's sitting on anything, but he floats. And he's, he's, he reminds me of like a little bit in appearance like Master Roshi from Dragon Ball or Dragon Ball Z. Like, he, he just floats around, and he has, like, a little um, telescope thing, and he's, he's in Cosmo Canyon, right? And so he's, he's a very interesting character, and I've always enjoyed Bugenhagen in general. Um, so I'm curious to see how he's going to be depicted here. Um, so he's someone I really want to see. I also want to see, of course, the main characters, right? Yuffie, Vincent, Kate Sith, um, Sid. Is that, who, is that all? That's all, right? Yeah. Um, and who else? Who else do I want to see that we meet? I'm not even sure who else there is. Oh, I want to see the Tifa and Scarlet bitch slapping fight on the Junon cannon. I don't know if they're going to include that because that was pretty ridiculous. It was a mini game where you had to slap Scarlet as Tifa. <laughs> So uh, I don't know if they're going to include that, but I want to see something that's maybe at least a nod to that ridiculousness. Because honestly, if you play the original Final Fantasy VII, there's a lot of really goofy comedic moments in that game. And I don't know how well that's going to translate to, you know, a more serious dressing up of the game here in the remake. Uh, but I really want to see that with Scarlet and Tifa. Because um, <laughs> that was hilarious. 
I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Oh, yeah, red in the sailor suit. Yes, when they had to disguise themselves. Yes. I also want to do the, the marching mini game when we were in Junon. Oh, you all should have seen me do the marching mini game in the original Final Fantasy VII like seven months ago. It was so funny. I kept messing up. I also want to see the snowboarding. Um, yeah, the parade. I sucked ass at the parade. <laughs> I kept missing the queue. It was so bad. Uh, you hope he's still a little flying man. I hope so too. Tomorrow you'll see you t playing tons of SnowRunner during the storm. Yes. Sounds good, Hotshot. Reggie, you're playing Final Fantasy XII on your Xbox One X? I never got to play twelve, actually. Kat Sith. How do you say that name? Oh, it's Kate Sith. I've always said Kate. Like Caitlin. You've seen Bugenhagen in art? Oh, that shows that he's sitting on a big ball with his legs crossed. You don't know if that's official. Is it? Is it a big ball? I don't know. He floats on a big arrow materia. Yeah. They went all out with the honeybee in. You can see them doing the slap fight. I think that would be so funny. I want to do this. I want to see the slap fight. They will absolutely have a nod to that. They had a nod to the robot hand in the slums, for goodness sake. That's true. Good point, Andu. You want to play a Sephiroth in the Nibelheim flashback. That's right. At one point, you do play. I mean, you're in the same party as him in one of the flashbacks. So it'd be weird to have him in our party fighting, wouldn't it? Hey, awesome, epic gamer boy. We're still discussing the ending of this game, if you're all wondering. I just finished the story, so we've been super enjoying our speculations and stuff but welcome spoiler alert for the end of the game even though the game's been out for like a month <laughs> oh yeah i want to fight the weapons that's true that's true shin you cannot wait for a sale for the previous games you want to play them all oh for snow runner gotcha can you imagine if and let me dream here but can you imagine if zach makes a sudden appearance and joins the party how amazing would that be first off i feel like Cloud would have like a breakdown before that would happen. Because Zack, from what I've gathered, I haven't played Crisis Core, but Zack was a very important person to Cloud, right? And I feel like up to this point, Cloud is, is assuming that Zack's dead, but if things are different and Zack's actually alive, Cloud's going to be, he's going to break down. He's, he's got to break down because, you know, um... But yeah, that would be really cool. <laughs> that would be really cool. Bet Yuffie steals all our shit early on. That's how they reset our stuff for the next game. <gasps> There's an idea. I mean, you meet Yuffie fairly early, or you can, if you go in that one forest where she appears. And she, she kind of pretends to be heard, and then you approach her and she runs off. Or she can run off. Like, so she, you, yeah, you could get Yuffie pretty early, I remember. So Maybe. We might meet Yuffie pretty early. I still pronounce her name Yuffie. I refuse to say Yuffie. It's always Yuffie to me. Uh, you want to throw your PS4 controller for uh, Hell House on hard mode is bonkers. Oh, no. Take a break. If you take a break and come back to it, you'll beat it. That's what I believe. Zach's going to come in and steal all the women. Final Fantasy XII was good. Yeah. I've heard good things. I have the uh, Zodiac Age version, so... Welcome to hard mode. Thank you, Pickleberry. Blues, what do I think alternate timeline Cloud will be up to? The one that returned with Zack to Midgar. I don't know. I don't know. Because the whole thing is that Cloud, I don't know if it's because, was it because Cloud was so devastated that he ended up taking on Zack's identity? Is that what happened? I can't remember what exactly compelled him to take on Zack's identity and Zack's memories. But, um, I don't know. He's going to be a completely different person because he, the trauma makes him take on Zack's memories and Zack's identity and life and everything, right? Yeah, that's pretty much what happened, right? So if Zack doesn't die, then Cloud is his own person. Maybe <laughs> he could be different. I don't know. They could do two timelines in the game. You play OG's story timeline, but there's also a timeline with the new story. That'd be pretty complicated, though, wouldn't it? The four weapons, you remember the feeding them in the original 20 years ago, yeah. The revival earring is godsend for hard mode, yeah. Yeah. I think it was a combination of the Mako poisoning and the trauma of watching Zack die, yeah. 
Yeah, so like if he if Zach doesn't die, then maybe he just becomes himself, who he was originally meant to be, right? And that alternate timeline, Cloud's going to be a delivery boy. <laughs> Genova cells made Cloud take Zack's persona when Zack died. So it was a mixture, yeah, of, of the Mako poisoning and Genova cell stuff. Cloud becomes a burlesque dancer at the Honey Bee Inn in a new timeline. I could totally see that. He, he busted out some moves, though, in that one chapter. I was impressed. Cloud is wedge in the new timeline. And the time would converge because of Sephiroth. They could do something like Laguna Squall where you play two timelines in parallel. That's actually true. Did people like that? I was okay with it, but I, I enjoyed 8, which a lot of people didn't. So, I don't know. Mm. But all of this is super interesting. Like, I, I'm so excited and super looking forward to the next part because I, I guess when I was playing through it, I was so absorbed and how pretty everything was and how I kept getting goosebumps repeatedly. It was so good that I didn't think about what this means for potential, you know, the next parts. And the fact that so much could change makes me really excited. You love the dancing minigame too. Yeah, that was so good. I loved it. It's possible that Cloud would still be a mercenary as he was in rough shape. So Zack probably would have taken him to a new place and helped him recover while working as a mercenary like he wanted to be. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Who knows? There's a lot of things that could happen. Pickle Bear, you have a theory on why Cloud likes Aerith, since Cloud subconsciously thinks he's Zack, and Zack was Aerith's first boyfriend. Yeah, maybe. And all along, he's just blinded to the fact that Tifa was beside him all along. Glad they gave us stuff to theorize about. Yeah, I, I'm super excited. This is super exciting. Ooh, so good. This is a minor and unimportant cause. Wait. Oh, wait. What, what's the cause? Dirge of Cerberus is a terrible game, but the labs under Sector 7 where you find Wedge were featured heavily in that game. So that whole section is a callback to that awful, awful game. Really? Yeah, I never played that one either. Makes her call him Zack in the bedroom. <laughs> That's terrible. All right, so we got chapter selection now. Open the main menu, access system, chapter selection to replay any chapter from the beginning using your current characters, weapons, and materia. So we're going to try to get what trophies we can before we do our hard mode playthrough. This is a great way to tackle uncompleted quests, find story elements you missed, and more thoroughly explore Midgar. Hard difficulty. Hard difficulty is now unlocked and can be selected by going to chapter selection and playing one of the chapters. Wait. Do you not have to play the whole Do you not have to play the whole thing from the beginning? You can just do each chapter on hard mode separately? Is that how that works? Yeah, I'm going to save, don't worry. I'll save. Is that what I'm understanding? In this difficulty, items cannot be used and only HP is restored at rest spots. However, certain manuscripts are only available in this difficulty setting. Correct. Oh, you can pick and choose. Oh, okay, so you don't have to go all the way from the beginning. That's cool. Huh. Dirge of Cerberus was hilarious because it was, all, it was all about how Vincent's girlfriend chose Hojo instead. Wait, who was Vincent's girlfriend? <laughs> Chapter Select is awesome in this game. Yeah. You can play in reverse if you really wanted. Take note that only HP is restored. Yeah, no MP restore. That sucks. You can hop around, pick one, and pick and choose what to complete. Gotcha. We don't have to play them in order. Lucretia, that was her name. Thank you, Spartan. Lucretia, I forgot about that. Sephiroth's birth mother. Totally forgot. Huh. Okay. Huh. Play log. A record of your adventure can be viewed. The log contains information from battle records to story branches. Other new features. Bonus XP AP. You will now earn twice as much XP. Three times as much AP. Yo. New combat simulator. Accessible from Hojo's lab. Test it out. Select chapter 17. Skipping the mini bike. I mean the, the mini bike. The bike mini game can be skipped. Okay. Let's save. I'm just going to create a brand new save actually. 
because reasons. Vincent is Sephiroth's stepdad. That's kind of weird to think about, isn't it? <laughs> Harmo seems like it's going to be a challenge. Yeah, I think so, too. I think so, too. Okay, so we saved. Uh, I guess we leveled up a bunch. We should probably, like, change some of this stuff. Oh, we should go back to... Oh, I will say I'm super glad I changed back to the Buster Sword for the final bits because... I had no idea how... I feel like it wouldn't have the same effect if he, was, if he wasn't using a Buster Sword. Now that you finished the game, would you like to know how to finish that battle intel for maxing all the magic types? Yeah. Yeah. If you play a drinking game on how many times Vincent says Lucretia in that game, it will send you to the hospital? Really? Well, what made Dirge of Cerberus so bad? Critical hit boost. Hmm. Now that you finished the game, would you? I already read that. Uh, mini bike. Is this when Cloud gets affected by the spell Mini and turns into a frog? A bike small enough for a frog to ride? That would be pretty cute, though. That would be hella cute, actually. Let's do the limit break boost. The best part of beating the game is the double XP gain and the X3 AP gain. Yeah, that's so nice. So, Gact? What about Gact? I know who Gact is. But what about him? <laughs> Wasn't it like a Devil May Cry clone? Who? What? What were we talking about? You mean Dirge of Cerberus? I don't know. Was it? I only heard about it, but I never actually uh, knew about it. Dirge was super bland to you, Positive Touch. It felt like a plain action game. Is that what they were going for? Oops. Maybe that's what they were going for. Play the beginning of Chapter 16, battling the soldiers till you get through the parking garage. It's the best place to get AP hella quick. When you get through the garage, restart the chapter. Oh, really? So it, does it end up saving even if you quit the chapter? And you just proceed from there? That's actually really cool that it does that. Gact was a character in Crisis Core and Dirge. Really? You save and... Oh, you save and restart chapter. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Genesis is based off of Gact. He plays him in live-action cutscenes in Dirge. What? Really? When Dirge came out, they said they had a few spin-off games they were planning. But... Dirge did bad, so they canceled it. Oh. Half-Life was a big inspiration, weirdly enough. I never played Half-Life. Oh, I don't want that. I'll save those points. I'll save those points. You maxed out all the types of magic materia before you went to Shinra headquarters. I mean, that's smart. That's really smart, Cassie. Elemental damage boost. Let's do that. You don't remember many head crabs? What are head crabs? You need to do chapter 16 anyways. You need to get Barrett's last gun. That's right. We totally missed Barrett's weapon because I decided to say no to the librarian dude. <laughs> I thought it wouldn't matter, but apparently it did. I didn't give him 10,000 gil. Sad face. I got weapons that you never found, Cassie? Really? Which ones did you not find? You missed that gun too? Yeah, I said no to the guy, because I was like, 10,000 gil? That's expensive. And it turns out he gives you a weapon. <laughs> of course. Miss the weapon you steal for Aerith and the Barret weapon. Gotcha. Was I able to get Shiva? Yes. Yes, I got Shiva. She looks really cool, Reggie. All the summons look really good. Really, really good. And I highly recommend enjoying how they look because oh, they're so good. I like how they did summons in this game. At least you talked to him, you ignored him on your playthrough, Hasha. It's okay. <laughs> I'm glad we can go back and just, uh, you know, talk to, you know, replay that bit. They're from Half-Life? I need to play Half-Life 2? It's so good, Dr. Wing, really? I, I know about it, but never, never played it. So, physical damage reduction. Let's do that. 
You didn't get the pretty purple gloves or the bladed staff. Oh, you should go back and replay and get them. You can't imagine what it's going to be like summoning Alexander. A lot of people were wondering about Knights of the Round. The way I think Knights of the Round is going to be is it's going to summon one knight that will do its thing on the battlefield. And then the, the departing animation, the last like big thing it does before it leaves the battlefield, is going to be summoning all 13. That's what I think it's going to be. That makes the most sense. Because if you think about it, having all 13 of them on the battlefield at once is going to be really fucking crowded. So it just makes sense for them to do that versus, um, you know, overcomplicating things. Oh, we don't have enough SP. So I feel like that's what's going to happen. But Alexander would be so awesome. It's like a giant castle thing. <laughs> This game was so packed with references, it's hard to keep up. At the start of the game, when Heidegger tells President Shinra that Avalanche might be the ones responsible for the attempt on his life, that's from Before Crisis, a mobile game set before Crisis Core that focused on the Turks. It explains the true origins of Avalanche. Really? That's cool. From 16 years ago. No, I've heard of it. I've heard of, um... What's it called? I've heard of, uh... Half-Life. Just never played it. Yeah, it's already the end of stream. We spent a lot of time talking, though. And I'm really glad we did because I would not have caught a lot of stuff that you all mentioned until, you know, we talked about it. Glad you got her as a summon. She's one of your favorites. Yeah, she was awesome. I don't know if I have a... Actually, no, I do have a favorite summon. My favorite summon ever is Bahamut. And I know in Final Fantasy VII, you get three Bahamuts. Um, I want to say... Was it Bahamut Zero? Was that the one that I liked? You get you get three Bahamuts in the original Final Fantasy VII. So, but Bahamut in general is my favorite summon across all Final Fantasies. I think Bahamut Zero was my favorite of the of all the Bahamuts because that's the one I summon the most. So, <laughs> when we get a golden chocobo, I want a golden chocobo. Final Fantasy XIV had Knights of the Round as a boss. Positive touch. Took turns coming out. Whooping your ass. That would be pretty cool. Alright. I'm going to save again because I just set the leader. <laughs> Did I finish the game, Dr. Wing? Yes. I finished the story. Yeah, I'm done with the story. We're going to do hard mode. Because I need to get all the trophies. We have so many trophies to get. Now that we've finished it. So, let me see. Let's see, that's platinum. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Fourteen more trophies. Pride and joy. The fuck? Wait, we never fought a Marlboro? Uh huh. How did this not? How did this not count with the with the thing on the motorbike? The 300% one? Oh shit, we never did the whole Johnny quest line? Whoops. <laughs> we never did the whole Johnny quest line. Shit. That boss fight doesn't count? Damn. Yeah, this is awesome, Nintendo Geek. Thank you. Yeah, Final Fantasy X's Bahama is really good too. You like Neo Bahamut, Bob Marley? Nice. Yeah, it looked really good in uh, Final Fantasy X, Dr. Wing. Draconix, you're speculating that Sephiroth already has the Black Materia when showed the vision of the meteor. Probably. He seemed to know a lot more than anyone else at the time. Give up on the Hell House on hard mode, Fjorm. Time to relax. Yeah, give yourself a break. Give yourself a break. So we need to, we need to next time get that, that trophy. I mean, that uh, Barrett weapon. The Zack ending is confusing. It is. It is. But I, I'm excited for what it could mean, you know. Is there anything I had to... Is there any way to do it other than heart sparkles? <laughs> what did I think of the ending? Oh, it was so good. I got so many goosebumps during chapter 18. Repeatedly. Like, it was so good. Completely blew my expectations out of the water. I had no idea it would be anything as amazing as it was. 
So I, I really like the ending. I know it means that a lot of things could be different from here on out, but I'm, I'm super excited for it and I look forward to it. Blues, you like that the Bahamut that elevated you to a patch of land, his blast would pulverize it. It was a fun effect to see 23 years ago. Yeah, right? Got to get good on chapter four bike ride. Yeah. <sighs> it was a guarantee to go over 300%. You had to do it with a regular boss, a regular enemy. Oh, damn it. Have to do it in a fight, not on a bike. Damn it. Thank you, Hasha. Oh, this was so good. So exciting. So. We still have a lot of things to do, apparently. Wait, we're missing two weapon abilities. Oh, that's because one of them is ATV Ward. I never learned ATV Ward. The other one's Barrett. Okay. All right, only 11 manuscripts? What? There's 56 total. I missed one music disc. The hell? Chapter 14 resolutions witnessed? Only one? Huh. Okay. Malboro can be fought in Chapter 17 in Hojo's lab. Okay. Yeah, whenever we continue and do our... um hard mode fight and platinum trophy quest conquest i will ask you all for hints and advice for that usually when i work on platinum platinuming platting a game um, i'm more open to backseating and advice for that <clears throat> you love where they're taking the story you can get down with a little change huh Mir? yeah right that's what i'm saying that's what i'm saying so good the manuscripts and last disc are on hard mode only. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah, I'll beat the game of the year. It blew your socks off too, Dr. Wing. It's so good. Saget, you thought Hell House on hard mode was hard till you met a different boss later on, yeah? So good. Zach being alive blew your mind, yeah. Or maybe being alive. We don't know for sure, but just seeing him was very exciting. I agree. There's only four enemy skills to learn. Oh, there's only four? I only I have like two or three of them, I think. Right? Thank you, Sparkles! Thank you for the love. You don't know how much it meant to you tonight. Aww. I'm so happy we were able to share some love with you. Keep your chin up. I know it's hard right now, but it was really good to hear from you. And you're not alone. You are never alone. Please come say hello, even for five minutes, you know. Take a break when you need to. Get a breather. Glad I went Buster Sword in the end. The whole sequence of Sephiroth pairing the Omni Slash is way better with the right swords involved. Yeah, I'm glad I went that too. I was a little hesitant at first, but I think, I think it was the right choice. <laughs> yeah. You did the bike on easy? Got back to, chapter, to play chapter four on hard Jupiter, yeah. Era's chapter 14 resolution is super interesting. We'll find out then. I miss a lot of stuff. Yeah, so whenever I continue this, we're gonna I'm still gonna stream more Final Fantasy 7 remake, but not until next week. I know. Everybody's like, but it's only Tuesday. I do a variety of games if anybody's curious. A lot of folks here are brand new to the channel, but I usually stream two to three games concurrently, like I'm working on them at the same time throughout the week, and I play them, you know, so it's not the exact same thing every single day. Because uh, a lot of people in my community have been avoiding my Final Fantasy VII Remake streams because of spoilers and stuff because they haven't played it yet. So I like to give people a little bit of variety to pick and choose and not avoid the stream for weeks and weeks. Um, but yeah, more Final Fantasy VII Remake will be next week. And we're going to continue playing it because I want to get the Platinum Trophy. So that should be interesting. And you're allowed to come in backseat and give advice during that time because uh, that's usually what I do for when I'm going for achievement hunting like this. So... You could definitely use a manicure sparkles. Do it. Oh, yeah, I guess you can. But whenever you can. <laughs> guess you understand when you were started chapter 18, you were like, time to make popcorn. Yeah. Yeah, that was... I, I feel like I need to go back and rewatch my stream from tonight just to see some of those parts. He is alive. We don't know where or when. Yeah, that's true. That's true. The only enemy skill you remember is Shadow Flare. Oh, some of the best enemy skills in the original Final Fantasy VII. White Wind... Um, mat Matro Missiles? No. Shit, what was it called? Something... Ma Matro Missiles? My I don't remember what it was. 
Shit, somebody, somebody knows what I'm talking about. It's where you shoot a lot of missiles out of your butt. Yeah, Big Guard. Big Guard is so good. Um, Big Guard is the one I use the most. White Wind's really good too. Matra Missile. I think that's what it is. <laughs> it's the one where you shoot it out of your butt. They come out of Cloud's butt. Um, those three for sure. And then there was one more. There was quite a few more. There was uh, the one that was like a purple... Oh shit, what was it called? Ah, oh, there were like two more that were offensive. And they were really good, and I can't remember what they are now. That I used a lot at the end. Matra Magic? Maybe it was Magic. Maybe that was it. Yeah, Freakazoid. Yeah, Big Guard's really good. You Googled it, and do. Thanks for being my Google. There was a couple more. There's one where it's like a purple effect. And I can't remember. But yeah, I don't know if those are in this. There were the, the couple of enemy skills I did learn in this remake were not ones that I remember seeing in the original game. So beta, that's the one. Yeah, beta. That's right, Dr. Wing. That was a good one. And then there was like one more. And I forget what it was. Next week, I'm going to get the Platinum Trophy. That would be awesome. Thank you, El Raquiz. This theme is awesome. Tifa's my favorite character, so... It only made sense. So, when do you get enemy skill? Is it from Chally? It might be from Chally. You can find one as well later, I think. No, I lied. Maybe you don't. You only get one. In the original game, you get multiple enemy skills. Materia. Will we see Final Fantasy or Fallout 76 on the roster next week? Oh, uh, yeah. I need to update it still, but yeah, that's my plan to kind of alternate until The Last of Us Part 2 comes out. So. You had red shooting missiles? I had enemy skill on Cloud, so he, I would always have him sing, like shoot it out. So They're going to expand enemy skill in the next part. This was a tease, yeah. Hey, Citrine, I'm doing well. We actually just finished. Uh, we're going to be wrapping up here, but we were talking about... Final Fantasy VII Remake! I finished the story! It was really good! And we had a really long discussion and speculation about everything, and it was so good. But how are you, Citrine? You got here at the end of the stream, but I hope you're well, and that you had a good day. Pandora's Box, Frog Song, Magic Hammer, Death Sentence, Roulette. I remember learning Death Sentence by accident. But I actually did, I didn't get all the enemy skills, Freakazoid. I ended up getting the most important ones, which to me, Big Guard is probably the most important. I also learned Matra Magic and then uh, White Wind and a few of the others. Oh, Aqualung! That's the one! I was I, I actually used that quite a bit. Dr. Wing, Aqualung I used a bit. Quite a bit. That was the other one I was trying to think of besides Beta. Good night, Nintendo Geek! I love you too! Sweet dreams! Thanks for being here. I love your face. Get some good rest and I'll see you soon. That makes you happy, Hotshot? You're excited for me to go back to Appalachia? I'm excited to see what's new. It's been so long. It's been years, hasn't it? So. Yes. Mattress magic. <laughs> You've been told you know that move, Sparkles. Not gonna lie, Hamir. Hell House gave you problems. Once you figured out his gimmick, you burned the house down. Yeah, I gotta relearn that fight. But I'm excited to try hard mode for everything and stuff. So, Platinum Trophy Hunt next week. Uh, anyway, we're gonna wrap up the stream here, though. Oh, I remember trying. That's right. I forgot about trying. Um, tomorrow I'll be back though. 1 p.m. Pacific time. We're not going to be doing Final Fantasy VII Remake. We'll continue that next week. But I'm going to be streaming some Animal Crossing New Horizons. My first Animal Crossing game. Uh, I originally wasn't planning to play it yet. I was going to wait for the game to go on sale eventually. But Crazy Mo, who is a generous, generous member of our community, got me the game and wanted me to play it just like a, a lot of other people did too so here we are I'm gonna stream it tomorrow um, so it should be exciting and you're welcome to come back seat and stuff because I don't know anything about Animal Crossing um, and then Thursday I'll be off and then Friday and Saturday will be Assassin's Creed Syndicate so don't miss out okay thank you Freakazoid you gotta watch all my Final Fantasy 7 VODs you should they're all archived in my videos tab I have a separate collection uh, from start to finish so I, I, I archive all my uh, playthroughs, but yeah, we'll definitely we're not done with Final Fantasy VII Remake yet. We gotta get plat trophies. So, but thank you all for the tremendous support. I freaking love all of you. This was so much fun. Thank you for having this um, experience with me, because I super love this. I'm so happy with this. This was so good. Like, 
I, I dare say my feelings about this game surpasses like all my previous games of the year. Games of the year from like the last, pretty much since I started streaming, I feel like. This has been like such a defining game in all my like gaming career, I feel, you know? So it's very, very, very good. I can't even articulate how good it is. It's, you know. Anyway, thank you, Brian. Thank you, Mango. Thank you all so much. Um, but yeah, if you all have five minutes to spare, stick around. I'm going to play some ads during the ending screen. If anybody out there is brand new and you still haven't yet for some reason, hit that follow button. I will continue my Platinum Trophy journey for Final Fantasy VII Remake on stream. So don't miss out. But otherwise, I hope to see you here even if I'm not doing Final Fantasy. We have a lot of fun. We're, we're all awesome people here and I hope you join us, you know, and come back and stuff. But don't forget to follow on Twitter, Instagram, all the things. And thank you for the tremendous support today and for just being awesome. I had so much fun. This was so good. But yeah, I'll be back tomorrow. Okay? Get some good rest. Stay indoors. Wash your hands. Be safe. All that good stuff. Whoops. I'm like, where's my music? Here it is. <laughs> Alrighty, folks. I will see you all tomorrow for Animal Crossing goodness. Uh, be safe and uh, take care. Have a good night, everybody. Bye.